Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and welcome to Splatoon. This is Splatfest Live, our third Splatfest. Marshmallows over there with Callie versus Team Ooh, Hot Dogs over here in the green with Marie. We are on Team Marshmallows, and I am ready to try out those two new weapons that we just got in the big 2.0 update in some turf wars. So. After a quick look at all these little inklings dancing around, look at that one, sweet power boots there. <laughs> I saw someone, yeah, there's a uh, a night vision helmet that's a new piece of gear. Everybody's looking fresh. There's some squid girl hats over on this side. Okay, let's jump into battle. I'm gonna make sure I got my, my gamepad in the right direction here. And let's jump in. Judd is awake, which is always great to see, and he's dancing as well. So the three maps this time, I'm really happy with the maps that we have. Black Belly Skate Park, Camp Triggerfish, and Moray Towers are some of my favorites. And we haven't, I don't think we've played any of these, maybe Black Belly in one of the, uh, the other the Splatfest before. But these should be good. Tons of turf to ink. And we have a lot of levels to gain because we're still, I think, level 20 or 21. There we go, 21. And we now have 50 levels that we can gain, so... Lots of uh, room for, for turfing and getting some experience and plenty of gold, hopefully. And if we can win this, if Team Marshmallow can pull this off, we're going to get some uh, Super Sea Snails. Uh, either way, we're going to get 18 if we can become a, uh, a king of confections, a <laughs> roasted piece of royalty. The Marshmallow King is what I'm, I'm aiming for. So we're going to be going in the long haul. If you guys want to hang out and uh, join in, keep me company while we play Splatfest all the way up to the top rank. That's my goal, as with the other Splatfests that we've done in the past. It's going to take a while, but it should be fun. We've got our team set here. Danny's a little low level, but that you know that doesn't mean he's going to be less skilled. It's just maybe he's uh, a little <laughs> played a little less. Here we go. The hot dogs are ready. They're ready to, uh, to roast. Ooh, look at this. Moray Towers. I have not seen this at night before, except in the one trailer. Here we go, guys. Oh, somebody's got that bamboo hat. I want that. I want that. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, I'm starting with the slosher, as you guys can see, sloshing it up. And I gotta remember, this is Turf Wars, so we need to be inking as much as possible. The slosher, a lot of people have said aim up with the slosher, because it can kind of fly a little farther than uh, most weapons. Most weapons, you kind of want to aim just straight ahead, and it'll it'll, you know, get its max distance, but the slosher apparently has some better range if you can aim it up. I'm gonna slosh over there on that route that they're trying to go to, and let's ink strike. Gotta be careful, they could be coming up this wall here. There we go. Oh, there's a Kraken on the way. I'll slosh my way down. Yeah, these these pink and green neon colors look great together, and ooh, we got someone right there. There we go. Sloshed him in time. Now the slosher, if you guys haven't checked out the 2.0 update stuff, the slosher is this new bucket weapon, and it takes, oh jeez, it takes running into an ink strike to die. It takes two sloshes, two big hits with the slosher to take out an enemy inkling, so you gotta be quick with it. It's not quite as fast flicking as the, the ink brushes I'm used to, but it is a bit faster than the roller it seems. Rollers can one-hit KO, so it's kind of in the middle. Almost reminds me of the carbon roller, but I like that you can slosh over walls and, uh, and there we go, and get your opponents. I gotta look out because I know that guy's right there, but I'm hiding on the wall where he can't really hit me too well. He's got a splatling. I think he thinks that I'm gone. All right, let me see if I can get over here and oops, somebody's jumping right in. Can I slosh them when they come through? Where did they go? There they are. Whoa, <laughs> it's a squid girl. I got one person there at least. I don't know where the other one went. There they are. Get them, get them, get them. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, there we go. That was a carbon roller and they still got me. The rollers are still very devastating from close up. Got to be extra careful with those. And if you are just, you know, careless, then you're going to get flicked by any of the rollers and destroyed. Someone's got an Inkazooka. I think we're okay. All right, gotta look out. The Splatling is the other new weapon, and we're gonna have a hard time surviving against it if we are uh, letting it charge up, though, so we should be careful. Ooh, somebody's here. I want that bamboo hat. Give me that bamboo hat. Get a little bit more, and I can... Here we go. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Ink Strike right about here, so if he hears it, he might back up and, uh, and fall right into it. Oh, somebody was jumping in anyway, so I got them. Let's be careful now and try to slosh. Oh, he moved in, so having a hard time. Get him, get him, get him, slosh him! <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, the, so the Splatling Gun, we'll use that in a little bit as well. That's kind of a combination charger shooter weapon, 
And if you can get around and, you know, get close up, then... Jeez, that was like the shortest life I've ever had. Then, uh... <laughs> If you can get close up to them, then they're, they're going to be having a tough time. Not as much as a Charger, though, because Chargers are a little bit more vulnerable. My team's not doing so hot. We only have 10 seconds to bring this back. I don't know if we're going to do it. Let's see if I can get a little bit more ink here. Everybody's going the same way. That's not going to do it. Go, go, go. Bail us out. Oh, man. Oh, we ink striked, but I still think green covered more distance. That Splatling user, uh, Jorge, or whatever his name was, George, it, uh, <laughs> I think it's Jorge was doing a good job of locking down the center. And Moray Towers, this is a map that's kind of tough to get through if someone's, you know, protecting that really well. We threw our buckets and hit ourselves in the head. Not a great start, but we still did okay for our team. And we got points. We're going to get points no matter what. It's just we get a little bit more with the win. And the way Splatfest works is kind of the way leveling works now. You get a certain amount of points for winning. It's not crazy big numbers like it was before. I'm going to jump out and jump into another one, see if we can get a new team mix up here. A lot of people like Splatfest because you can stay on the same uh, team together, but sometimes if you don't have a good team mesh, then it might be better to jump out and jump back in. There we go. Got some people around my level. And uh, how are you guys doing tonight? You ready for the long haul with the Splatfest? You don't have to stay the whole time. If you do feel like bailing out or you, you come in you know, a little later, then you can always check out the video version. Ooh. So this is a good sign that Team Marshmallow might win the popularity. We are automatically, within the first two matches, paired up with an entirely Marshmallow battle here. So, yeah, usually the team that has more players is going to be matched up against each other. We got the pink lemonade colors. So we'll still get points for these matches, but they don't count towards the overall win percentage. So the uh, when you're fighting the same team, you got to... You gotta still fight for those points, but look at this yellow, it's almost like blinding. <laughs> it's so cool, neon. Alright, but yeah, so this is this is people on the same team fighting each other. Let me see if I can get up here and uh, I don't think I can reach the center that well, but if I do jump, I can probably get him. Whoa, almost. I'm gonna ink strike, and oh jeez. That's what happens when you're looking at your touch screen, trying to ink strike. Hopefully that helped my friends out. So yeah, we're still earning points in these friendly fire matches, but still have to be careful here. Someone was just there. So I saw it. They're using their burst bombs really well, whoever that is. This is crazy. This is really making me want some lemonade, though. I know that. It's it's the summer, the, one of the last of the summer Splatfests, I think. So this is, uh, ooh, jeez. Ah, I got him, but got taken out. That roller went over the wall. That was crazy. But yeah, there's a, there's a big summer theme to this, obviously, with the roasting marshmallows and hot dogs. But then on top of it, it's like a nice glass of lemonade. Makes me th think of the summer as well. Okay, we're really going to have to push in here. If we're going to win, we've been controlling the center of the map. Which, pretty much every map, that is the way to do it. To win in the end. Alright, where did that roller go? Oh, there they are. Right there. If I can bail. There we go. Oh, man. See, that's the thing. Even because it takes multiple hits with the slosher to take down an opponent, even if you get them, like, they might have enough time to take you out. So... It's a little unfortunate. I think the roller is probably still my preferred means of inking, whoa, compared to the slosher, but I do like the slosher. It has some advantages. I just wonder if it's going to be uh, better than the rollers in the long run. We'll have to see. The splatling is uh, a little tough to use. Let's see if we can get this. Oh, jeez. Where did they go? Oh, I ran out of ink and I got rolled. Man, having a rough time here. Brat, brat is love. I don't. I thought it said Brett is love or brats. Or maybe they really like brats dolls. I couldn't read that. I think there were some, <laughs> some uh, other characters. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have jumped right in. I was th still thinking about that guy's name, and I got splatted. Okay, well, well, we're actually not doing that bad. If I can jump to my buddy here, I might be able to get into their territory because they're getting a lot of the sides. But oh, jeez. Whoa, that was a close one. But we're okay. I'm gonna try to get over into their base and mess this up while they're over in ours. Let's see if I can keep enough to ink strike the center. Oh, look out! <laughs> I got my ink strike. That's the problem with ink striking. You gotta look down to do it because you have to tap where you want it to shoot off, and then you're focused on doing that, and you're gonna end up getting splatted because you're not looking in the right spot. Okay, only a few seconds. If I can get a few more spots here, and whoa, somebody was hiding there. Ah, I thought I got them. They're covered in yellow, but we, uh, ooh, we ink striked at the end. This is going to be a close one. Here we go. Look at that. 
pretty mixed, but I think that ink strike might take it. Yeah, there we go. That wasn't that wasn't as close as I thought it was. We're gonna see a lot of ink strikes <laughs> because of the splatling and the slosher. Both of the new weapons have that for their special, so we'll see a lot of that. And it is good for turf wars, so it's good that the new weapons have that. I think they're both really good for turfing, but yeah, get ready for a lot of ink strikes. <laughs> okay, so. What do you guys? I want to. I want to make sure we're we're using the new weapons a good amount, but I also want to make sure that uh, we use some old ones if you guys want to see it. So I'm gonna start asking for suggestions. When you see the match ending and you want to post some comments, you know, to suggest weapons, that's when I can look because I'm not gonna be inking. I'll check out the chat and then we can we can switch it up. I think I'll probably try to use the splatling next for a little bit once we're, you know, got a few more matches with the slosher. And then once those new weapons are out of the way, and you guys have seen them for a little bit, we'll go to some old ones for a little bit. You know, we'll, we'll mix it up. We got plenty of time and plenty of turf to ink. We are almost to the next level, though, already. We're not going to be a Marshmallow fanboy for long. I always say Marshmallow, but it's Marshmallow, I guess I guess you could say either way. Malloween. How you guys doing? Let's see. Heavy Splatling. Yeah, lots of Heavy Splatling uh, recommendations. So I figure that is what we're going to do, and uh, I knew that that's a new weapon, so a lot of people want to see that, I'm sure. Figured it'd be a popular choice, but we'll see. Yeah, lots of splat lanes. Eat s'mores. Yeah, it's weird that it's like roasting marshmallows, but s'mores is like the ideal way to do that. I guess not everyone's going to like chocolate and graham crackers, so they figured just go with marshmallows versus hot dogs. I think I mentioned before, I was so tempted to join Team Hot Dogs. I think I like eating hot dogs more than marshmallows usually. But when it comes to roasting, got to go with marshmallows. Plus, hot dogs has the green color, which is my favorite color. But I'm going with with the uh, the pink marshmallows this time. Hopefully, it pays off. I'm two for two so far with Splatfest victories. Team Dog and Team Roller Coaster won those first two. But this one, if you guys remember the balancing from the new update, wins are worth four times the points. So popularity is still going to be important, but wins are way more important this time so even if team marshmallow is you know it seems like there's a lot more marshmallows with how long it's it's taken a few you know a minute here to, to match up with some hot dogs but that's as weird as that <laughs> as that sounds but in the end even if team marshmallow is popular it the wins are what really counts now so hopefully we'll do well i think uh, the more popular team can sometimes have more of a range of players so it almost seems like they're less likely to get the wins. It almost seems like it'll be split, where the popular team doesn't tend to win as much. We'll see, though. All right, good balance here. We got a squiffer on our team. Now, I got to look out for those carbon rollers. I had trouble with them during the other matches, so we got to be careful here. All right, Black Belly, it might be my favorite of the, the original maps. Ooh, I hope we don't di get disconnected here. There we go. Yeah, you can see my, uh, my pails, my little sloshes were not showing up so fast. I gotta make sure I keep my water or my ink levels high. I saw someone there. I was like, I bet they're gonna hide on that side. But yeah, I gotta keep my ink levels high with this because if you run out, you're just gonna be in trouble, obviously. My gear right now, if you guys are interested, I'm using those uh, Tentatech contacts that have the ink recovery up. And, uh, oh geez, let's look out for that ink Zuka. Those take longer to charge, but they're still really rough to battle against. Whoop! Someone's getting over there. I don't know if they got him. That was pretty close. Uh, but yeah, I've got the contacts, which have a lot of ink recovery up, which is nice to have. And then on top of that, I've got uh, got my Splatfest shirt, which has a lot of special saver as the main ability. And then, of course, my... Uh, ooh, jeez. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I've got my shoes on. The, uh, the high tops have ink resistance up. And then the uh, swim speed, so I'm moving pretty quick. I'm not using my my uh, patented ninja squid abilities. So we'll see how that works out without the ninja squid, but is that a crack on? Cause I gotta look out. Ugh, I got him, but again, they were too close. No, is this a carbon? Two carbons. So yeah, we got a pretty good mix. That person had the same shoes as me. I think those are popular ones cause they look a little, I like the look of those better than the moto boots that are like the normal three star ink resistance one, but there's there's some new shoes that I want to try to level up, and if we can get enough Super Sea Snails, that's what I'm planning on doing. But the uh, the strapping reds are what they're called, and I think they're going to be good. I'm going to try to do like a surprise jump in 
they didn't, they just failed or something. <laughs> I was like, they didn't find me there, but they, they just kind of got out of the way. There we go. That's what I got to do, back it up. I'm having a hard time getting through this one spot. I just keep running into people over here, and I'm not doing much for my team if I just stay in that one area. All right, let me see if I can get up top. If I can bail quickly up here, then we can get some more stuff. Let's throw that into their territory. Hopefully they're not coming after me here. Gotta watch out, because I know they, they could probably scale this wall pretty easily. Where did they go? I feel like we're not seeing many little inklings here. There's somebody right there, though. Shouldn't have jumped off the tower, because now I'm vulnerable. But I can go back up. All right, where did they go? Where did they go? <laughs> well, well, they're somewhere around here to ink strike me. Whoop, and they knew I was up there. Go, go, go. Oh, a few more seconds. They are really winning, though. And I don't think it's going to matter much if we can ink too much more of this. Because, yeah, they're really... Ugh, they covered so much of ours. I tried to hold the middle. I don't know what happened to my team. But maybe we lost someone. Look at this. Man, hot dogs just put us out on the grill. Or the fire, I guess. That's how you roast them. <laughs> you can tell I don't do much camping. Because, uh... Forgot how you make marshmallows. Yeah, ooh. Well, Gideon, I, they might have disconnected because zero and zero means they weren't even around. We were fighting a losing battle there, but we still got some points. And I think, are we, we're already at the next level, aren't we? We'll have to see. All right, let's, uh, let's do the splatling because you guys want to see that. We've done a bit of slosher. Yeah, we are one point away from becoming the next level. So here we go, heavy splatling. Looking good. Here's my gear, though. Some people ask about this. So we got special charge up. Uh, you can't change your shirt during a splat fest. And the uh, the nice shoes. I did find the Squid Girl clothes and that night vision helmet. So in the future, maybe we can try those out. But they're pretty good. All right. Oh, we can still do private battles during splat fest. That's new, because I knew uh, private battles have been added in the in the update. But now, if you're like, I don't want to play splat fest, and then you want to go do ranked or you know tower control or something. <laughs> you can do your own private match. That's a nice little option. Not everyone's going to want to play Turf Wars a ton, but the reward is good, So, and it's it's fun to get these different versions of the maps, different music, lots of good stuff. Okay, thank you guys again for tuning in. If you want to leave a thumbs up, I definitely appreciate it. I like, I like uh, streaming with you guys. I try to do this every week, and it's been really fun. Splatoon is uh, it's definitely the most addictive game I've played in a while, and I'm glad they con constantly put out new content. It's it's nice to be able to come back to uh, to the game pretty consistently and always have something new every few days, like a new weapon or a new map. So often, speaking of new maps, I was gonna mention we we saw two new maps recently in the like commercials for the update, and we have names for them now. One of them is called Flounder Heights which is the apartment building roof, and it looks pretty cool. And then the other is Hammerhead Bridge, and that one looks awesome as well. I know they've teased that ooh, the Rainmaker mode is coming out pretty soon as well, so that might pop up before the new maps. We'll have to see. But we just got the, the update a few days ago, so I think they're going to wait a little bit for something major, like a new game mode. But you, you never know. They're, they're constantly putting stuff out. The other thing, though, that was found in the update is that there are at least four more maps coming plus the two that we already know about that I just mentioned. So six new maps, and they're probably working on more stuff past that. So that's pretty cool that we got so much stuff coming. We're going to have so many maps. I really hope they add a three-stage rotation to the normal maps, but now that we can pick anything to play with private battles, I think that's good that we just kind of customize our own stuff and play whatever maps and modes we want instead of worrying, you know, if, if there's maps that we don't feel like playing, we don't have to. Okay, so we got over 500 people hanging out. This is awesome. I really, I'm always surprised by how many of you guys are uh, are hanging out with me, loyal watching the uh, the stream. Cause it's you know it's later at night. It's it's technically Splatter Day now. It turned over from Friday, but I definitely do appreciate it. Cause I like to play Splatoon anyways. So it's good to have you guys with me. All right. So everyone, a couple people are talking about joining in. Uh, Asking if I finished Squid Girl. Oh, so Rainbow, I missed I missed their whole name there, but Rainbow Pastel was asking. So I started watching Squid Girl a little bit because I heard it was funny, and uh, it's a, an anime that the costumes, the Squid Girl clothes, you'll probably see a few times, like the hats and stuff, and shoes. 
those are uh, new gear that they added. And it is pretty funny. It's definitely not like my favorite show or anything. I haven't gotten too far in it. It's pretty light comedy. Oh, I don't want to be charging when I jump or I'm going to fall off the side. So we have to readjust now and use the, uh, the splatling here. All right, so if you guys haven't seen the splatling yet, it's this uh, crazy heavy machine gun that you have to charge up, and I'll let that roller do that, I guess. You have to charge it up, and the longer you charge, the more, you know, oh, that, how did they, how did they dodge that? They were like right there. Okay. Oh, there's a Kraken. I'm going to try to hide and see if that person saw me. Okay, there we go. Oh, they're right there. Let's see if I can get this guy. Oh, oh no. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I was like, they saw me. I, they missed their first Inkzuka shot. They got me. But yeah, the, the heavy splatling, you gotta charge it up. It's got two layers. The first gray one is max range, I believe, and the uh, the second one is doing more shots. And, uh, ooh, jeez. Someone's over here. Just saw them get away. You don't have to charge it all the way, but you want to if you're going to uh, do more damage and cover more space. Oh, no. I'm in a bad spot here. Let me see if I can get through. Ah, I was like, there's a guy over here. There's guys coming from over there. We are just, like, entrenched. I know a lot of people complain about Moray Towers being very tough if you get locked off, like like we are. Get locked into a position, you're just going to uh, be stuck. Are they around here still? Oh, somebody else got him, I think. Oh, no, they didn't. Oh, oh, there's two guys right there. And we got both of them. Okay, good, good, good. Let me see if I can ink strike over there to distract them. My team, what is going on? I keep getting bad. Uh... <laughs> Teammates, I don't want to, you know, I'm not complaining about my team, but sometimes it feels like uh, the teammates aren't really focusing on pushing in, or they're just getting killed. You, it happens, though. You get matched up with different players. You might find people that are not as good. We got a bunch of rollers, and they're doing so good against us that we're going to have a rough time against them. Okay, that guy's coming up here. He's going to jump up, and I need to watch out because he's waiting for me to try to get out of the way. Nope, he's going to go around. Charge up quick, and if he gets up, there we go. Oh, nope. There we go. Somebody else got him. Good, good, good. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Man, we're just going against all rollers here, and it seems like haven't, I'm, I'm using a weapon I'm not so used to, so it's going to be a little rough for me. But on top of that, these guys are just taking us down so easily. Oh, he bubbled. Okay, well, somebody else is going to be here pretty soon, I'm sure. They're just getting into our main base area. Here they come. Whoop. Get him, get him, get him. Oh. <laughs> Didn't even take that one guy out before the Kraken got me. Feels like I'm just like one versus four right here. Teammates are doing okay. They're just, yeah. One of the one of the, <laughs> the worst turf wars I've had in a little while. But, oh well. Sometimes that happens. The other team was just more on the ball than we were. Look at that. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, this is, this is definitely a map where if you get stuck at your spawn... They can, you know, wait and hide, and as soon as you jump off a building, they'll get you. Welp, let's switch teams here. <laughs> That's a good sign. Yeah, zero kill. <laughs> that was rough. I didn't even see the NZAP player there. Brad, up I think... So people have started doing, like, clans and stuff for their squid squads. So you'll see a lot of, like, initials before their name. Stuff like that. The Bloop Troop. We're gonna have to do some more matches. If you guys watched the update video... The Bloop Troop was uh, is our new squad, and it's going to have a rotating membership, so I'm going to try to keep switching people in and out. The Bloop Troop needs some more matches, though, but we'll do that after the Splatfest. We can't do any, you know, you can't match up with people other than randomly during the Splatfest. We are a Marshmallow Fiend now, <laughs> so we just are craving marshmallows. Let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some good practice in with the Splatling for this, hopefully, and ooh. Got some good higher level players here. We gotta be careful. But yeah, the Splatling, because it's like a charger, and if you guys have seen my past experience with chargers, I'm not so great with them. The uh, the Splatling's gonna take a little bit getting used to. But we'll try our best. I need to, uh, man, I completely forgot about my sub weapon that whole time. I think I was so like worried about trying to charge up and shoot at the right time that I forgot I have my splash wall that I really need to be using more. There we go. One, one bad habit I noticed a few players, and me included, like to do with the Splatling gun is accidentally squid when you're firing, and it cancels your shots. So, alright, this is the time to do this, and if they are going through, there we go. A lot of these rollers are just like, I'm rolling no matter what. Doesn't matter if someone is there or not, I'm just going to be rolling. 
It's weird. I know uh, the roller is a good weapon, but I see a few people that are just like, it's time to roll. Doesn't matter who's there, what's happening. All right, let's try to get that guy with my... Ooh, almost got him. That was so close. Let's see if I can charge up. Oh, okay. My team is definitely doing better this time, I'm noticing. They're pushing in. I'm going to try to stay back here and hold the middle because I think this is a good spot for me to stay. When that guy gets over here, here he comes. And... Oh, oh no, there's an Inksuka! Oh, jeez, get around! <laughs> that was rough. Okay, I was like, that roller's coming through. I should be able to hit them when they get over. Oh, okay, they missed that <laughs> killer whale. The killer whale you might see more often now because it's easier to charge up. You only need 160 points instead of 180. Most specials take 180 points of turf to charge, and the uh, the killer was a little cheaper, but then the Ink Zooka is 220, it's more expensive, and the Echo Locator is 200. So if you're uh, if you're using a lot of uh, of those specials, you might be a little sad about this update. That guy's coming over to the wall, and as soon as he does, oh, nope, he's not, he's not going over the wall because my buddy got him. Yeah, trying to stay back as far as I can at times to protect myself here, but we gotta make sure. We're holding the middle pretty well, and if my my team can move in a little bit, we should be okay. Oh, they got him. We got two splatlings going on. Let's see if I can get this guy out of the way. We gotta charge up and be ready if he jumps over. Nope, he's dead. <laughs> I keep having, uh, I, I need to have more faith in my teammates, because they're just, like, taking them out for me. Alright, let me see if I can do this. Nope. <laughs> I was like, jump back and shoot that, uh, Flash wall up might be the way to go. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, running out of ink here. Running out of ink. Oh, oh geez. Oh, geez. Oh, oh. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I was like, you're trying to just... That's that swim speed up helped me there a little bit. I got away from so much stuff. Okay, we're still doing good. My buddies helped me out there. Yeah, we got some good people on. Maybe I should stick with this team for a little bit, because look how well we're doing. There we go. They can help carry me a little bit as I have trouble with the splatling gun. Let's see if I can get this. Man, you gotta hit him with quite a few shots to get anyone with the splatling, so I have a little rough time here. There they are. There we go. Finally got someone. And I think, yeah, they were in enemy territory. Let's stick with this team for a little bit. Get some good practice with the splatling. And I gotta learn to be a little more aggressive. I gotta use the, uh, the splash wall to my advantage and throw that out sometimes and go in. There we go. I was, yeah, you know the team is is uh, pretty good if, well, I don't want to, I'm not patting myself on the back, but if I'm on the bottom, I know that, yeah, because I think I'm kind of an average player. So you gotta, yeah, it's like there's, there's some good people on the team if you're on the bottom of the team. And if you're on the top, I always feel like then the team is not, <laughs> not as strong. But yeah, that's just, that's just me. All right. I'm seeing some aerospray suggestions, so yeah, we can switch over. That's aerospray. I don't use that much, but it is really good for turf wars. So m maybe after a match or two, we'll switch over to the aerospray next, because I've seen a few. Also, octobrush is another great one that I do enjoy using. I so there's a new uh, Japanese site for Splatoon where you can log in even if you are in a different country. You just use your Nintendo Network ID. And it tells you all of your weapons, like which ones you've inked with the most. It has a scoreboard rotating, you know, stat or uh, yeah, stats and leaderboard for you and your friends. And also it tells you what maps are currently online and the ones that are coming up in the next few rotations. So it's really cool. And I looked at that, and my highest inked weapon is the ink brush, but right behind that is the octo brush. And I'm like, geez, the octo brush didn't come out that long ago, but you can tell how much I like it because it's catching up to the ink brush already, which I used a ton when that came out, and it's been out almost since the beginning of the game. Okay, going to Black Belly. This one's gonna be a little tough. We have still have not gotten Camp Triggerfish, and I've been looking forward to that map because I figured it would be in this one because, you know, it's a camping theme, the roasting of the marshmallows, so I figured we would have some Camp Triggerfish to play, but so far we've just been unlucky with not getting it at all. All right, let's see if I can ink some of these walls up so I can kind of get into a good spot. I'm gonna try to watch the uh, sides here. There's somebody coming over there. Let's see if I can get them. All right, throw a splash wall and then be good here, sitting, sitting to uh, to ink. Whoa, almost. <laughs> Gotta watch my back. 
but they're coming through. Oh, somebody snuck up on him, I think, while I was distracting him. At least I can be a distraction, if nothing else. All right, throw that ink strike down. Here we go. The splash wall here. Yeah, the splash wall is pretty central to using the splatling gun well if you're if you're kind of having a tough, tough time staying alive when you have to charge. You can at least hold off your opponents a little bit with it. Let's see if I can get another one going. Somebody's getting close. I can see him over there, but I've got some range on him, so maybe I can get him. Oh, they're up top. Can I get him? Oh, somebody died. Oh, they're way up there, but... Okay, somebody else got him, I think. It's rough when I'm, I'm so used to weapons that make you get up close and personal, like the roller and the uh, the ink brush. But then you get the splatling going, and it's like, it's weird to hang back. I'm not used to it. I don't know if I fully like it, but, oh, got that splat. I saw them. Luckily, I was accurate enough. The splatling, you don't have to be as accurate as the charger, but it does help. <laughs> I feel like I'm better off using most of the close range weapons, because then you don't need to be as accurate. But, uh, but yeah, this will be good to, to help my accuracy a little bit and get practice with that. I threw that in a weird spot, but that's okay. Let's see if I can get that flatling up there. That might have been the same one, actually. And if we can jump over. Oh, no! Who's behind? Oh, they're not behind me. They're shooting from the ground. What do they got? I can't see. Is that the. <laughs> they died. <laughs> Splash dramatic, that's what it was. It tells you right there, obviously. So I didn't need to look at their weapon. We're having a rough time here a little bit. I think we'll be okay but this is pretty close, I think because I'm not pulling my weight so much. I can get that guy up there, and watch the other side, of course, because someone's going to get through if I'm not careful. There's someone right there to hit. Oh, almost. Oh, no, no, no. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Let's throw that. Oh, and block that off. I can help my buddies here. Go, go, go. Throw one of those right into their base, since they are... Uh, they're going through there. Go, 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 go. Whoa. Yeah, there we go. All right, getting more getting more splats here. Helping my buddies out, hopefully. Charge up, see if we can get one more splat here. Whoa. <laughs> Almost, yeah, there we go. And a little bit more ink. This should be the last bit here. Charge it up, and did we do it? I think so. The pillar in the center is, like, perfectly green. <laughs> but other than that, we did it. Okay, let's switch off. And, uh, and use some other weapons here. Get, the splatling is fun, but it, you kind of have to stay back from the action, so I feel like it's a little more, you know, lower <laughs> lower excitement than some of the other weapons, but I do love it. As you can see, my little inkling is hugging it. The inklings look like they're even nicer, like their their models look even cooler when it's like dark and shaded for whatever reason. Maybe he's just being cool looking because he's, uh, he's got a new anim fresh animation. All right. Let's jump on. So there was a kind of a toss-up. It was Aerospray and the uh, the Octobrush. We'll start with the Aerospray because this, well, this is one of the best weapon sets in the game, I think. It's Rapid Fire, tons of turf, Seekers and Ink Zooka. So good. And then we will uh, we'll switch off to the Octobrush because I see quite a few Octobrushes. Thank you guys again for your suggestions and your thumbs up if you wanna if you wanna leave them. I definitely appreciate it, Josh. Hopefully Josh pulls his weight. He's a level six, but everyone is welcome in the Splatfest. You don't. I don't think you have to be a certain level to join. You just have to have played the game right when the you know Splatfest is starting. Or maybe I, I wonder if you can get your T-shirt during the Splatfest if it's like here, here kid, grab your T-shirt, get into battle. We're fighting another Marshmallow team. All right, heading to Moray. Now this is a tough map for the Aerospray because. It's uh, it's very vertical. I don't know if my if I stay towards the middle, I think my little seekers will probably help out a little more than they normally would. But we'll see. We'll probably send a seeker down there to do a little bit of inking, and we'll just go. All right, we're doing okay. I gotta get used to. I was so used to the uh, the splatling gun that now it's like, ooh, we're using this rapid fire. Watch my turf go way up though because of this. All right, there's someone right there. Oh, I don't have enough ink, but I can lock on and maybe hit him. I'm gonna. There we go. Man, that almost looked like it killed him because of lag or something, but it got close enough for that explosion to hit, I think. Oh, let's look out. And oh no! I didn't mean to ha Somehow I backed up there. I don't know why. I thought I was uh, <laughs> just avoiding that one spot. All right, I'm going to send another Seeker over here, and we can follow it to get our ink back. This is a great way to travel. All right, and then we'll ink the rest of this. Go, go, go. It's a little uneven there, but we're getting turf. Go, go, go. 
pushing in. Just gotta be careful. Remember to, to ink the top of the containers. Oh, I forgot I, I have the ink Zuka. I thought I had the ink strike. I got someone with it at least. All right, there we go. That's something you gotta be careful. The ink Zuka knocks you back. So if you are not being cautious with that, then you're gonna get in trouble. Oh, someone's right there. Get him, get him. There we go. At that slosher. Oh, oh no. Get out of there. <laughs> Where are they? They were up on the wall. How'd they get there? How did they get over there? Ooh, they're all over the place. This is gonna be rough. I'm gonna get my seeker ready so that they, when they come over, hopefully it'll get them before they can at least got one of them. All right, let's see if we can get the other guy. They're just going through with their slosher. They were taken down, distracted. That's the best way to take out an enemy, it seems like, is uh, distract them while... <laughs> Your friend takes it. It's like the Velociraptor style from Jurassic Park. I'll usually play the decoy, and then somebody else will uh, take him down for me. Is this still? There we go. If I can just aim this right there. There we go. It takes three Seekers to get a full path. <laughs> I wasted a little time there doing that, but let me see if I can get this guy. Whoa. Sloshers are pretty rough. Whoa, look out. Nope. Don't have enough ink for that. Let me try to get over here and get the... Oh, no. I missed him. The Seekers, I've gotten a few splats with that, but this is gonna be tough, oh no. Okay, stay alive, buddy, stay alive. I don't know if I can jump to him. What is going on? We gotta hurry. This is gonna be rough. Throw a Seeker, it just like plummeted off the edge. Let's see if I can do this. Nope, oh jeez. I wonder if I can get around and, oh, I think someone's over here. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm, I've got people on both sides of me, so this is gonna be real rough, man. Trying to push through and get to the center, but I'm just like surrounded. You can see the issue a lot of people have with this map, though. When their whole team is like camping your base, it is rough. If I can get someone with the seeker, nope, didn't take them out in time. Where are they? There we go. At least I took them out with me. And yeah, they're just they just really teamed up on us there. Well, it's at least Team Marshmallow, and the win didn't count. The win and loss didn't count towards the main. The main people. It's good to see another Team Marshmallow doing well. <laughs> There's That's the bright side of it. We had a lot of really short-range stuff, so yeah, there we go. I was on top, so you know my team was having a little trouble. Crobert, some good good splats with that uh, <laughs> tech to tech. Okay, we'll do one more with the Aerospray. I'm gonna jump out though and get a fresh team. Don't tell anyone. All right. <laughs> Let's do a uh, let's do a fresh one with the aerospray, and then hopefully we'll do a little better, and then we'll switch over to the octobrush, which is my favorite weapon right now. Even with the slosher and the splatling, I uh, I don't think they're gonna dethrone the octobrush. Uh, Stacy asks, does he answer the chat? I try to. I'm trying to keep a chat a uh, an eye on the chat. All right. Kevin says, Adam, what are those? He didn't write it that way, but I'm pretty sure that's what he meant. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of people saying, oh, thank you. Lots of nice comments. Thank you, guys. Let's see. So we got, you know, over 600 people. This is pretty good for a Splatfest. And uh, especially late at night. Thanks again. And if you can't stick around the whole time, don't worry. This will go up as a video later. Okay. We're going against some hot dogs. Back onto this map. I, I think this is okay for the Aerospray. It's just, yeah, the Seekers... You gotta get them on like one of those long stretches if you're gonna make it work, or in the middle. All right, this time I'm gonna go to the side and then jump off, I think. So let's do this and I'll follow that a little bit. Kinda wasted ink there to do that, that's okay. At least threw it out there to cover some little spots. For that, Oop. the Seekers take a lot of ink, so I'm like not used to how much I need to do that. This is a weapon that is so popular, especially when the game first came out, the Aerospray probably the most popular weapon, but I didn't use it all that much. I was into the rollers a bit more. Okay, let's see if I can throw one of these down there, and then if I get into a good spot, I'm gonna ink Zuka. Let's get that guy out of here before... Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna get anyone. Oop, there's somebody right there. Oh, jeez. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the ink Zuka takes so much in terms of points to, to get it going, but it doesn't seem like that much, actually. It's 40 more than, than the uh, most of the other weapons, but... It's, it's, uh, it seems pretty quick if you're using close range wep, like the, uh, the aerospray. Wep sounds so weird. Alright, let me see if I can get someone here. You gotta be careful, because if they, yep, whoop, jump off. <laughs> Bailing on that one. And then when they get over here, I've got my seekers if they're gonna jump down. I'm 
kind of waiting a little too long. They're not they're not going over the side. They're just sloshing. They're just sloshing everywhere. Here they come. All right, let's see if I can get them there. Go, go, go. Oh, they got away somehow. Where did they go? <laughs> Where did that one go? Did they just fall off the edge? <laughs> and then a different bucket replaced them? If you, if one slosher is gone, the other will pop up to get you. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Man, I thought we were going to come out on the edge of that one because we surprised, surprised them a little bit, but they really got us there. All right, let me see if I can jump in quick. We don't want this to go the way the other match went. Let me see if I can get a... Whoa. We got a slosher going. Get him, get him, get him, get him. There we go. Took that slosher out. I'm in a rough spot here because I think my whole team is, like, gone and not here to help me. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> that guy got around. Man, I hate getting flanked, but it happens a lot on some of these maps. You got to watch both ways. And that was me against <laughs> three there, it looks like. Okay, let's see if we can get over here and... Ugh. Ink strikes! Let's try to break through while we can. Oh, get him, get him, get him! That's not gonna go around the corner. I need my ink strike, or I need my seeker, but it's not working so hot. Let's see if I can get these guys when they're down there. Man, I'm hitting them, but I'm not getting them. Go, go, go. They're just zipping all over the place. Let's see if we can get over. Oh, jeez! Ah! Ah! <laughs> He got up the wall. I'm just, yeah, I feel like I'm I'm not fully warmed up tonight, or I'm having a tough time. Again, the air spray, I'm not so used to. Let's go to the Octobrush next, and I think I'll do better. I don't want to speak too soon, but yeah, the, the air spray has never been my weapon of choice. Didn't do too bad there. I tried to really get some in the end, but they still, yeah, again, I think Moray Towers is just the map. Is uh, The map is one that can be really rough if the uh, the other team is doing well enough where they're just like camping you there all right let's switch to the octo brush and then what else do you guys want to see after that and uh, we'll, we'll get a little queue of weapons set up here I'm thinking maybe I should I don't know swim speed is definitely good but because I'm not using ninja squid I don't really need it as much so I wonder if I should switch my boots out let's check out the gear though you guys can see the other shoes I've got because I have these with ink resistance up and they make your, uh, this would make my Kraken last longer, so let's maybe do that, because yeah, there we go, and I'll quick respawn. That way I don't, I don't really need the swim speed up. These are the ones I'm going to be using later, I think, I just have to upgrade them. So we'll go back to the Moto Boots, ooh, I forgot to change my weapon. We're going Octobrush, and we hopefully will do better this way. Alright, someone said Five Nights at Freddy's TV series, I don't think that's going to happen, they're making a movie. But who knows, the chances of that being horrible are pretty high, I think. <laughs> but maybe, they're using real animatronics. Uh, they look kinda cool, I saw like a test from that. What else is everyone talking about? Let's see, a roller would be nice. We are technically using a roller. We'll do, we'll do a splat roller after this maybe, because I see a lot of roller suggestions. Th technically the Octobrush is a roller. We're almost to the next level already, we're almost to level 3. Even though we haven't been winning that much. <laughs> We're still on our way to the next level, so that's good. Make his Kraken last longer, that's what he said. I, I think I made a joke before that the, the special length one is, yeah. Having your Kraken la last longer sounds like a spam email. Well, there's another Adam that we're going to fight against, so I'm going to be a little conflicted here. But there we go, we finally, look at this, this is great. The little fires, the torches are pretty cool looking. We finally got Camp Triggerfish. Took long enough. And ooh, the other Adam is using an ink brush. It's ink brush versus octo brush. Let's see, okay. Now we gotta get used to a completely different style of ink in here using this. But hopefully it will do better. I haven't played octo brush in a little while because the update came out and I've been using the new, new stuff, new hotness. All right, let's sip over here. Gotta keep my ink levels high. There is a, you can actually leap through the middle. I didn't think it was possible. But you can leap through the middle on this map. It's just rough to do. You, it's a big risk. You might just, you know, get launched off into the water. So I don't recommend trying it. But I've seen people with, like, perfect jump timing jump through the middle. They're creeping around the side, I can tell. Because I see people inking over there. I'm going to leave a couple beacons here for my buddies. Except they just did that right on my beacons. I spent a bunch of ink on those. Wasted my allowance. All right, let's see if I can wait till someone is close enough to uh, get my Kraken going. Oh, I can super jump back to the base. Don't forget that you can do this, guys. And there's so many guys over here that this is a uh, perfect time to do this and 
gonna wait till I'm in a good spot, and as soon as I get close enough to get someone, I'm gonna crack in and hopefully take them out. Where are they? There's someone up there. All right, this is good timing. If I see someone close enough, I'm gonna crack in and go after them. But I don't want to just jump in, but they probably see me here. Let's be careful. They got so much of our turf over here. They just like got through to our base and destroyed a lot of this. Oh, another ink strike. I told you guys. I told you about those ink strikes. There's gonna be a lot of them. Prepare for that. Because all those new weapons have them. Alright, this is the time for Krakening, I think. There we go. Anyone else around? Want this Kraken? It's gonna last a little longer here, but not too much. Alright, let's sit back. We gotta be careful. Man, we're having a rough time on this one. I gotta be extra vigilant keeping this territory inked, or we're just gonna be... Yeah, they got my ink zuka, or my ink zukas. My little uh, squid beacons. Where are they? There can't be ninja squidding. Oh, there they are. Get get ah! I was like, maybe I'm right on the edge enough where that's not gonna hit me, but Demanky got me. All right. Yeah, man. Every weapon they have seems to have an ink strike. Cause look at this. There's just ink strikes all over the place. 40 seconds to bring this back. I don't know if we can do it. The team's gonna really have to pull together for this one. Let's see. Oops, somebody echo located, so that's good. I can at least see where they are. A little bit more ink, and I've got my Kraken. Here we go. Oh, can the Splatling stop it? Nope. They're not gonna be able to. Here we go. Someone's over here. And there they are. Let me see if I can get Jamanki in time. Here he is. Get him, get him, get him. There we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was like, maybe I can get him fast enough, but I don't know. Let's try to zip through and get more of this. I ran out of ink. This is rough. Gotta get this turf as much as we can. This uh, this looks pretty green to me, but I tried. You can see all the stuff on the side that I went around and did. Yeah, tried to bring it back. Hopefully I'll be high up on my team, but, but yeah, that was rough. That was, uh, I at least got to flank. Yeah, there we go, top of the team. I at least got to flank the uh, <laughs> the, other, the one guy there that got me before, so that, that was good. The ink strike got me, he didn't get me. Okay, and did we did we rank up? I missed it. We'll have to see here. Well, no, we got a little bit more, I think. I'm gonna jump into another team, though. <laughs> I keep doing this. I'm like, I want to find a good team. We switch weapons, so every time we do that, we lose the team that we're with. But if I do find a good team, I might try to stick with them for a little bit just to get a better win streak. There we go. We got some good leveled people. That should work out well. And uh, thank you guys again. Man, we got so many people in here. This is awesome. Might break a, break a record of how many people are watching for me. We gotta, I, I do try to do the normal Splatter Day Night Lives at a more regular hour. This is technically a Splatter Day morning stream, but <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's cool to see so many people staying up with me. Thank you, guys. I'm more of a night owl, too, so it's cool to, to have people around for that. All right, <laughs> Senpai noticed me. Says Roblox Master, I see ya. Dylan, I see y'all. Everybody there. All right, the minigun of death sloshed. So what do you guys stick with roller? Okay, says Nathan. We can do a little bit of Octobrush just because maybe that'll help me win some matches. But then we could go to uh, one of the other rollers, like the splat roller. All right, somebody, oh, there's a plane. Okay, I was like, I thought it was coming from in-game, but there's a plane outside. I was like, who's driving a giant truck or something at this hour past my house? All right, let's see if I can get through here. The ink savers and ink recovery are definitely uh, feel like a must with this this uh, this weapon here because the octo brush definitely guzzles down the uh, the ink. It uses a ton. I'm having a rough time keeping my ink levels up though. There we go. I need to get more uh, ink saver main and and ink recovery up. There we go. I think even when you're jumping, you do kind of passively recover ink. I've got my kraken though. So anyone wants to get through here. I'm gonna crack them. All right, let me see if I can get my squid beacon going. I'll hide another one down here, maybe. So it'll be a little nice. There's that one squid that judges me, the little pixel art squid. i put another one right there, and then hopefully we'll do enough ink in here where, ooh, okay, that was good. <laughs> I was like, that's a good mine. That's not a bad mine. All right, somebody is right over here, maybe. Oh, nope. It was just no one was around to, uh, to ink that green ink there. Oh, someone. I wonder if they recognize me, because they are uh, they're freaking out. Let's see if I can get through. Got that one. Where's the other? Got that one. <laughs> That's all. 
Okay, someone was above. I saw them up here. I'm gonna try to zip through. This is my specialty. Zipping around into the battle and getting people by flanking them. Go, 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 go! Flanking them and blanketing them with ink. Getting more splats this time. Now we're in the other position where we... Oh, jeez. I said... Or I <laughs> spoke a little too soon. We were the ones that were getting into their spawn area. I've got my beacon. Let me see if I can tap the one that's over a little bit more hidden. I don't know if we tapped the right one. Okay, this is where they were just at, so I should be careful here. And look out, because they're going to try to... Oh, man! I thought I was behind the thing, but I was a little too slow. DJ got me. That's revenge, because I probably took him out earlier. All right, I'm going to jump to this guy, because I think being... They'll... They're in our territory, but that'll be easier to clean up. I'm going to go into theirs. Go, go, go. Up the wall. There's only 50 seconds. I don't know if I have enough time to go up the wall. Let's just, let's just go normally. Zip through. Try to get enough here to ooh, zip out. <laughs> Where are they? Where are they? They're probably waiting for me to be in a better position. Yeah, they're, they're just going crazy on that wall, but at least I'm stalling them there. Oh, I think my buddy took them out. Okay, let's try to be quick here. And zip through. Go, go, go. And look out for that ink strike. Someone's going to be around here probably hiding. Okay, we're doing all right. Just be careful. Get my Kraken ready. There we go. When they jump in, I've got my Kraken to help me. There we go. They're ink striking, so they're kind of sitting ducks there. And we took them out. Try to get a little bit more going. Oh, that's a good Kraken. Go, go, go. Oh, they got a lot of our territory. I don't know about this one, guys. You can see that trail of destruction. What's... Yeah, there we go. All right. Good, good, good. Phew. That was, that was a little scary there, but we managed to do well and where are we sitting on the team in the middle not bad okay let's stick with this team for at least one more match excuse me hopefully you guys didn't hear that <laughs> I muted but I burped I drunk a huge it, my my routine for Splatfest is to drink this one energy drink uh, and then I also drink a bunch of coffee so I'm really wired right now but that's what we need to be able to play <laughs> Now, you don't want to, too much caffeine, I think, will make you play worse, but to stay up long enough to get Marshmallow King, I wanted to make sure. I've got this giant, I got a new coffee cup the last uh, couple week, a week or two ago that's like, I think it's for lattes because it's huge, but it stores like four cups of coffee, so. Anyways, be careful with your coffee consumption. Do not do as I, do as I say, not as I do. All right. Thanks again, guys, for hanging out. I'm going to check out the chat while we're waiting for some hot dogs to roll off the bun into this lobby. What's a squelcher, says Seneca? Squelchers, they're, they look like power washers, but they're kind of long-range shooters. They are not as damaging or as fast, but they, they got a good range on them, almost as much as a charger. So they're kind of cool. Never, never been my cup of tea that much, necessarily, but I think the dual squelcher is uh, kind of balanced enough that it's a good weapon. I mentioned uh, we could probably do that for uh, for Turf Wars as well, but the 96 Gal Deco is kind of my jam right now for ranked mode because it has a splash wall and a Kraken, which is like, that just seems like it's a really good combo t for defending an area and then also keeping your, uh, your butt from <laughs> getting splatted because the Kraken will get you out of a mess. All right, go, 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 go. Make sure I'm keeping my ink up. Oh, there's somebody getting around the side. Try to do this and uh, wait for them to get over here. Where are they? There they are. Get them, get them, get them. Nope, that's not working. They probably see me here. I'm just going to go through and crack them. You know, that's the easy way to get a kill sometimes. <laughs> All right, go, go, go. And get ready because, yep, I knew that was, that was happening. The ink strikes, I think they made them a little louder. I can't remember for sure, for certain. But uh, I think they made them easier to hear. They also made the charger shots easier to hear the direction that they're coming from. So that's, that's like, little improvements like that are nice as well. Not just things that are, you know, big nerfs or buffs. But the fact that you can hear where the ink strike is, uh, is approaching from is definitely a big deal. Because you need to act quickly to, uh, whoop, get him, get him, get him, get him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I hold back this crack? Nope. <laughs> oh, my... Oh my gosh, who was that? <laughs> that sounded horrible, but they saved me. Nice. That was, uh, I thought I was dead for sure there. You guys, that was, that was one for the highlight reel. Man, 
that was pretty intense. And then I'm going to jump in and get this guy if I can. Oh, nope, somebody else got him. Kind of wasted my crack in there a little bit. If I can get this guy with a ink. Oh, man, somebody is taking my, my splats every time. They're, like, going around and making the, uh, trying to make the all-star reel by going through and taking everybody out before I have a chance to. Are they going to get close? The good thing about this uh, Splatfest is, or any Splatfest, is that no one can use Ninja Squid because they have to have that Splatfest t-shirt on so you know exactly where everyone is going to be. A little bit more and I can uh, get my Kraken going. If I can get up here, it's a little safer for me to be on the high ground because I can jump off onto people. Alright, somebody's going to be coming through soon. Or not. Let's see. I thought they would really be going through to this area because I've been inking it so much. Somebody's jumping to me. Okay, we got our Kraken. Let's jump and get that guy if we can. There we are. Go through and quickly zip away before they can get us. <laughs> Kraken, you gotta be gotta be careful not going too far in enemy territory when you're feeling powered up. Go, go, go. Try to zip through here and uh, get out of harm's way before they can follow me too far. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, buddies. Let's be careful now. Let's not be so hasty. There they are. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> and this guy. There we go. Getting more of my, my splats now from before. There's a lot of ink over here. We gotta get. It's their base. But I think we can do it. There we go. All right. And an ink strike at the end. Yeah, you can definitely tell that I've the uh, the Octobrush is kind of get into a better groove with that and get a lot more splats, a lot more turf. It's just my more my style than the Splatling, I think, and the, even the Slosher. Okay, so we did pretty well with that. Let's, uh, there we go. Well, one more with the Octobrush, guys, because I do want to get some good points here. And then we'll switch to a different weapon, and I'm going to try to keep... There we go. We're our Marshmallow Defender. going to keep an eye on the chat so you guys can let me know what you want to see. Shout out, me dude, says Mary. <laughs> I, I was going to mention that a lot of people ask for shout-outs, and I think if it's if you want, uh, you know, if I'll mention your name if you have a question or some cool bit of information or something to say, so you don't have to say shout-out, you can just be like, hey, maybe use this weapon, or hey, whatever, and then I'll, uh, yeah, I think questions are a good way, because for me, if you want me to read your name, because then I'll look at the, yeah, like Jazzy says, what rank are you right now? I am a defender, which is rank three. Next we have champion and then king. So we're already almost like halfway through here. We're doing pretty well. Uh, I thought someone just said, what is Danielle? Let me see where, where is Danielle? I think was what, yeah, Amory said that. I thought she said, what is Danielle? Danielle's a human. Danielle is, uh, I think she's exercising right now. She's uh, doing her own, she usually is, goes to bed while I'm doing these because I gotta stay up to do them. There we go. Camp Triggerfish. Okay, let's see if we can redeem ourselves from that first Camp Triggerfish that did not go so hot. All right, Dread, Jace. We got a lot of J. We got another Adam on our team. James. There we go. I thought I said I saw Dread or something. <laughs> Judge, Judge Dread. There we go. All right. We got a uh, couple brushes. I didn't even notice. We got another brush on our side. Fellow brush users. It's, an, it's a uh, normal ink brush, though. Let's make a sprinkler over here. Get that out. Get that out. Excuse me. I'm a little burpy. That's okay. It happens sometimes. I'm going to try to zip through here if I can and get to their side. I think I'm just going to go, you know, around. They're going to our area, but I'm going to try to pester them in their turf so that we can take them out. But, you know, if I get a splat with a Kraken and they're so close, they're just going to respawn anyway, so... Maybe I shouldn't bother too much. All right, they're dealing with that. I'm going to go... Oh, let's just do it like this. I don't want to turn into a Kraken until I'm in a good spot, so let's be careful here. Here we go. Time to Kraken. They're looking for someone else, but I'm here to take them out. It looks like the somebody else got them first, though. My other, my other buddy who was in the area. But at least I put some pressure on. They didn't seem to realize I was there with my Kraken. All right, go, go, go. I might leave, leave some beacons over here, because they might not notice them. Let me see if I can get my ink up enough to leave a secret beacon. And someone can jump into enemy territory. There we go. I heard an ink strike. Let's be extra careful now. All right, doing okay. I think we're, we're doing pretty good. This team balance seems like it's working okay. That guy's going after my buddy, but I'm here to ink them up, hiding in the ink, and uh, getting ready for when they 
jump through. There's that slosher. There we go. <laughs> yeah, if, if you can get the jump on someone, the Octobrush is pretty crazy. Ooh, where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> it feels a little, like, sadistic to, uh, to do, whoa, the Ink Brush. Or, or the Kraken, not the Ink Brush. But the, uh, yeah, the Kraken, you're just like, hey, get over here. I'm gonna get ya. Oh, I think they're taking out my beacons there. That's okay. At least it made them use their ink strike on, on an area that wasn't really that turf covered. Oh, they have our whole side really inked. Oh, I'm gonna jump back to the uh, back to the spawn. I haven't really done this before, but I've been thinking about it more recently that you can jump back here. Floodgates are down, so I'm gonna go up there and try to get that bit. And they got some of this side as well. Take this out. Hopefully we can get this green turf. We were doing pretty well in their territory, but they seem like they're they're really covering a lot of ours. Go, go, go. Yeah, they got so much over here. Someone's coming through. Where are they? I can get him here. Get him, get him, get him. And, oh, <laughs> I took him out. But, oh, Kraken. <laughs> it's that same player. There we go. Take him down and ink, 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 ink. I don't know if we're going to get enough territory here to win because they really covered a lot. Man, I felt like we were doing good. But you look down at the map sometimes, and it's all green. <laughs> all right. Well, that was a good, well, like, run with the, with the Octobrush. We'll put it on the shelf for a little bit, and then we'll come back to it. Yeah, we had a... I didn't die at all during that, but we just weren't inking as much as we could have. They had some good rapid-fire arrow sprays on their side. Okay, let's jump off of here. And if we're using a weapon that doesn't... I have those special like length, you know, special duration ups on my boots. But remember if you use a, a weapon that has a special like the ink strike, it's not gonna affect the uh <laughs> the length of the ink strike. It'll still be the same. Okay, so I know I saw a few people say a roller would be good, but I don't know if uh if that's what we should use next. We haven't done the crack on in a while, but we just did some crackening. So maybe something else here. Uh, we just did the roller, sort of, with the Octobrush. Maybe one with the, uh, I see a couple splash o -matics. Where is the splash o -matic? We just have to find it here. There it is. Alright, let's do one with the splash o -matic. And this'll, this'll still help. Special duration ups for my, uh, my bomb rush. We'll do one with the splash o -matic and then we'll see what you guys want next. I see some splatter shots, some crack-ons. The Octobrush is basically a faster brush crack-on, because it has the same sub and special ability. Spider Dude, look at those characters on that guy's name. Lil Peanut 3 and Peter. We got a good level team. I think most people are at least level 20 if they've been playing the game a little bit, but I need to, you know, start level. We already got to level 22. Remember when we hit every five levels, which I don't know if we're going to do tonight, but we if we get to 25, we'll get a new piece of gear, which is awesome. There's, uh, I think there's four or five pieces of gear you can get from Judd for every five levels, and also a new weapon. It's the, uh, if you guys don't mind me spoiling it for you, I'll leave the gear a little secret unless you want to look it up, but the new weapon is actually the Octo Shot. Is it's, a, it's basically like a reskin of the Tentatex Splatter Shot. It has the same suction bombs and Inkzuka, but it looks like the Octolene's weapon. So that's cool. There's so many hints that the Octolene's are going to be playable or be used in more capacity in the future because people were looking at this new update and they added facial animations, they messed with the models of the Octolene's, they're pretty much almost good to go to be playable, so I really think we're going to have something, either like a horde mode with the Octolings. I don't know. I don't think they would add all those facial expressions if we weren't going to play as them, though, because we wouldn't see that stuff. So I think we might see some playable Octolings sometimes. I'd love, to, I'd love to see like a Splatfest where one team is the Octolings, but like you get assigned or something, because otherwise everyone would just want to be the Octolings. Right, let's throw some suction bombs around and see if we can get some ink going. There we go. Oh, jeez. That did last longer than I was expecting. We got a few more bombs in there because it lasted a few seconds longer, I think, because of that special duration up. Okay, here comes an ink strike. Jump off, and remember, you can shoot into the ink strike and still ink it already while it's going on. You just can't do a special... Ugh! Or you can't do a sub weapon into it. It'll just explode when it hits the ink. Man, we have almost 800 people watching. Thank you guys so much. If you're just joining in, then uh, this is the Splatfest, and we are playing Splatoon here, inking it up. I know YouTube, a lot of people say, why don't you uh, 
was going to mention this sometime, because a few people ask me, why don't you stream on Twitch? I do like to be on YouTube, because that's where I'm sure most of you are following for the uh, for the video, normal videos, but YouTube's also getting an update to its gaming stuff pretty soon here, so it'll uh, be pretty competent to Twitch, I think, before long. I've heard a lot of people say the YouTube gaming app and everything is, is pretty good, so I'm hoping that the uh, the improvements, they're going to have like streams without delays pretty soon and stuff like that, so then you guys can give me instant feedback on what... <laughs> on what weapons you want to see and stuff, and we don't have to have that 30 seconds of, or so of delay. Let me see if I can get through here. This is a pretty even match so far, but I don't know. We're getting a lot of turf. Oh, man. <laughs> Just couldn't turn around fast enough. I got to get used to... The Splyro Shot Jr. is so fast. I got to get used to the uh, turn around. Uh, I was going to say turn around, stick it out. That's the song. Maybe got back. <laughs> turn around and use the Y button to... Uh, quickly switch. You guys saw I did that there. But I never practiced doing that, and I need to, or we're just not going to get better at that. Alright, and doing that, if somebody flanks you, you can just immediately turn around and get them. Let's try to jump over here and look out. That splatling is giving me some trouble. Oh, that was somebody right there! Oh, no! Oh, oh! <laughs> they hid. They hid, and now, oh! Ah, <laughs> I got one of them. But I didn't... Oh no, I'm alive! Oh my gosh! What the? What the? I thought I was dead. But I'm alive! I got a new lease on life! Only a few seconds left. Bomb rush. I'm glad I survived, because that bomb rush was pretty important. Whoa, let's back off that splat bomb. Try to get a little more ink going. Whoa! Okay, I think we won that one pretty succinctly. splash matic did well. That bomb rush covers so much. Now people are quoting <laughs> Baby Got Back. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Splatoon should be on Smash Brothers, says Kashana. I really hope the Inklings do make it into Splash Brothers. Or Sm Splash Brothers. Super Splash Brothers. That works out. Uh, but yeah, I think the Inklings could be one of the more popular ones. I'm not sure. Have you guys been suggesting characters on the Smash Ballot? I hope anyone who likes Splatoon has been suggesting the Inklings. I think their likelihood is very high. A lot of people said maybe they're going to hold off for the next Smash, but I feel like we're just going to get some updates here for a little while, and, and we're not going to get another Smash for quite some time, so I really hope the Inklings make it in. They could be a very unique class that I would love to play. Or character, sorry. A class of character, because they're like a long, probably a mid-long-range type of character, which would be awesome. And managing your ink, I don't know if they would do that in Smash Brothers, but it could be cool. And then uh, trying to pick, make out that Miiverse post right there. We'll get a good look at it in a second. But yeah, the uh, I, I've heard King K. Rule is one of the the leaders of the, uh, the the Kremlins. No, one of the leaders of the poll. And you guys saw that K. Rule costume. I think a lot of the people or characters that are leading the Smash ballot have been turned into me costumes. So there is that. Whatever it is, it looks like trees. I think it's like some type of camping thing. There's no time to look at Miiverse post just a distraction, and we are trying to win this flat vest. Let's see if I can get that ink brush. Man, messing up my bomb rush by getting too close. There we go. We got him. Oh, what was that? I don't know what that was. It's somebody following me. We can take him out. Where did they go? What were they? Where were they? I have no idea. Purple and green looks really nice. Let's see if I can get this guy with the bamboo hat that I want. <laughs> I think they had the bamboo hat there. Get back up. I always feel really vulnerable when I'm in one of those weird spots. Oh, I happened to throw that. <laughs> I think somebody else took him out, but I happened to throw a splash bomb, or a uh, suction bomb, sorry, right where someone popped up. Little Peanut, he's doing well for us. Let me get this guy, whoa, there we go. All right, shoot into the, remember to shoot into the ink strike. Take, oh, <laughs> almost got him there. I think my aiming's getting a little better with shooters. The rapid-fire shooters definitely seem to be a little easier to make sure you're doing okay. Ooh, they got a beacon. We gotta look out for that. I have Bomb Throw up on my Splatfest t-shirt, so I'm gonna be tossing these suction bombs a little farther than I'm used to. I gotta get, get used to that. The, the Bomb Throw up is uh, really weird when you have a splash wall, because it'll just sometimes launch it like over into a weird spot that you're not used to. I keep throwing my, my suction bombs into really clutch spots and then somebody else takes them out before I can even do anything with it. Throw the- oh jeez! 
Well, my bomb rush still covered a lot of space, but I got taken out by that splosher. Emmanuel. Alright, let me see if I can get just a little bit more turf around the base. <laughs> That's not really worth the time because it's so little turf. Whoop, almost got him there. Almost got him. Throw one of those in to take that guy out. Where did that where did that slosher go? Hiding somewhere, I bet. He ran off. <laughs> we're doing okay. I think we can take this one. Just gotta be careful. There's a slosher right there. Didn't get him with my splat bomb, but I did or suction bomb, but I did get him otherwise. Yeah, the, the splash dramatic is uh I think this is my favorite of the splash slosh that whole bunch of weapons. Because it does have a really rapid fire pace and the range is pretty good as well. I like how it shoots off in a uh, straight line. If I can get them. I'm getting too close. Oh, where'd they go? They're trying to get through. Okay, bomb rush, bomb rush, bomb rush, bomb rush. Get them, get them, get them. Only got a little bit of time here. Come on. Try to get a little bit more ink there. Man, we really. Did they lose a player? Because look at this. Slaughter. <laughs> I don't know if that was even, I think that was Marshmallow versus Marshmallow, right? Because that was purple versus green, Barney colors. That was probably our most, you know, epic victory there of, uh, of dominating, yeah. It looks like either they lost or that, that one guy, TT, was just hanging out and getting splatted. We did it. All right, so I'm going to switch weapons. And I think I saw some suggestions for the splatter shot for a little bit there. But I will see what you guys are saying as I hop out. All right, let's jump in, and we gotta remember if we are using, well, this the special duration up is definitely helping with most of these, and it would help with the tent attack because the Inksuko will last longer. Look at that, looking cool. All right, so baby got splat. <laughs> this is Outcast Leo. Use the slosher. Let's do one with the, the uh, one win with the tent attack, and we'll switch back to the new weapons for you guys because it's been a little bit since we used them. We started with them. But yeah, slosher. Seeing lots of sloshers. Okay, we'll get, we got to get good with the slosher and the splatling gun. So we need to use them, even if I'm not so great with the splatling. I think I'm okay with the slosher. They're definitely both really good weapons, and I'm happy that I like both of them. But got get some practice in. Yeah, Star Peach is on our team, highest leveled one there. So that's good. All right, Miss Wonka nerd says, please play uh, Ocarina of Time. I gotta finish up Majora's Mask, but we're gonna get back to that here pretty soon. I'm planning out that revival week still, so hopefully you guys are gonna be uh, ready to let me know what what series you want to see continued or finished. We'll get to that once. Uh, yeah, we keep getting so crazy, so many crazy updates with like Splatoon and Minecraft that I have a hard time getting that stuff together. But pretty soon, okay, back to Moray. I would love to see more <laughs> Camp Triggerfish, so hopefully we get that one. Last, I think it was the last Splatfest, we kept getting Salt Spray Rig a lot, so hopefully uh, that doesn't happen with certain maps. We've gotten, I like Black Belly, and I like some of, the, you know, I like all three of these maps, so I don't think it really matters that much if we get one or the other, but I'd like to play Camp Triggerfish because that one is, uh, is one of my favorites, just aesthetically, and it's got so much turf to ink that it definitely is uh, it's fun to play on. All right, let's try to get somebody here. If they jump off, I'm gonna throw that there. They might not fall for it. I wanna see if I can, oh, we got an Inkzuka. So as soon as they are ready to go, I'm gonna Inkzuka them. Here they go, they're not ready for this, are they? Blam, get them. <laughs> see if anyone's up there. Get, oh, usually they're hiding over there, but at least I made that wall ready for me to jump up if I wanna do that. I need to take out that sprinkler, but hopefully my... Man, my suction bomb didn't take out the sprinkler. Whoa! No, 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 no! Oh, jeez. I was like, I don't know if I can get out of the way of that in time. Usually I can't dodge the, uh... Dodge the old... Inkzuka in time. Oh, they have a charger. Okay. You don't usually see that during a splat fest because it's turf wars, but the charger is, uh... Gonna be deadly here if I'm not careful. Let's see. Oh, they jumped down. Remember to... Remember to... Try to jump and shoot and uh ooh, get him get him get him they probably had their blast bomb that was gonna get him with the suction bomb anyways oh my gosh we're just going crazy got their whole team i think almost there seems like they've been respawning really quick so as soon as they try to jump off i'm going to use this okay ready guys here we go get him get him get him <laughs> see if we get, i got one got one can we get another can we get another nope 
but I can toss that up there, and hopefully that'll get someone. Yeah, the Inksuka in that one spot is really good, because everyone tends to rush towards that one area there. Alright, time to throw one of these, but look out for that Ink Strike. Somebody's jumping to me. That's what that little ping means. Go, go, go. Is that a charger that jumped off? Man, they're like a close-range combat charger. Let's get this guy. Oh, got some backup. We're doing okay. I'm holding the middle pretty well. That guy's... Ooh, they're flanking him. They're flanking him. I need to get... Yeah, I'm definitely noticing that it takes a lot more to get my Inkzuka here. I gotta charge up quite a bit. Oh, there we go. Rapid fire. Tent attack helping me out. Whoop. No, out of the way. <laughs> oh, jeez. There we go. I got that charger guy by just throwing a suction bomb. That worked out well. Okay, jump over. Try to get out of here. Oh, where did they? Someone's right there. Oh! I'm going to try to throw that and see if we can get them. Oh, where did they go? They are hiding. There they are. Whoop. Ah. <laughs> Man, I survived a really long time. I'm worried. Oh no, we only have a few seconds. Come on, come on. Come on. Ink, ink the middle. Ah, We did so well holding that spot, and then because they were. Yeah, they just got a slightly more at the end. I think we just lost. Ah. Well, they had the middle area, but that would have been so fast for us to get that. That was unfortunate. What happened? Did we lose someone? It felt like we were never getting past there. Yeah, I think we lost Ryan. And maybe even Kino, because look at that. Zero kills. Zero splats. That was tough. It felt... I got ten, though. I was really, like, holding down the fort there. That was crazy. I want to get a win with the Tentatech, because I do like this weapon. And then we'll switch back to the new ones. That was crazy. Man. At least I I'm proud that I did <laughs> pretty well in that match. I only died that one time, because I got outnumbered. But at the same time, we didn't win, because we need to be inking more turf. Alright, Jace says... Uh, Animal Crossing for Revival Week. Yeah, that's definitely up there. I've got some Animal Crossings that are uh, pretty much ready to go here. I just need to get them ready for that. And uh, let's see. What do you think of about YouTube's new setup or design? I haven't really noticed the uh, the windows being that different. I don't know if it's updated for me yet because it just came out, I think. A lot of people were like, whoa, it just changed randomly. But yeah, I haven't, I haven't really checked it out. I, I have the newer mobile one, but... Yeah, I usually watch stuff on mobile, and then obviously, you know, I make stuff to put up on the desktop one. So I didn't really notice it too much. I'm hoping Marshmallow does well. We are definitely the the team with the more inklings on it. Because we're, yeah, it's taking a little bit to find some hot dogs that are ready. A lot of these hot dogs have been sitting in the little spinner thing at 7-Eleven for too long. We need to find some prime ready hot dogs. But yeah, the uh, I'm worried that we're going to lose, and because wins are so much, you know, lose more matches, and because wins are so much more important now with the balancing of the Splatfest, it's going to be rough for Team Marshmallow. But, you know, it's you never know how the rest of the matches are going. We only get to see what we're up to, so hopefully we'll do okay. Oh, I stayed in the same group, I think, which maybe wasn't the best idea, but we'll see. I'll try to get in there as quick as I can to hold down this, the fort for people, and hopefully other guys will, uh... I said that, and then I'm going this way, because no one else is going over here. If we don't have a roller, then it seems like these pathways don't get covered as quickly, so... We yeah, have the tent attack. I'm definitely not running out of ink as much as I do with most of the other weapons, which I, I like, because I think most of the weapons, I tend to run out of ink so quickly with these. Alright, we got our, uh... Ooh, they rushed in. Or, or my guys rushed in. Let's see if I can get someone here with the, uh, there we go, someone's right there. If I can pick them off with, there we go. Anyone else? Anyone else want some of this? There we go, one more. <laughs> I at least got two of that. Let's launch one of those. Remember, if you're swimming and you jump, and, uh, and you're a bird, no. If you're swimming and you jump to throw your projectile, it goes farther. Sometimes it falls into the drink there though, but it'll go farther if you swim and launch it, so remember to do that if you can. Sometimes you just gotta throw it though. Let's be careful now. Try to shoot that guy. Where'd he go? Oh, he jumped off because he was like, that's not gonna work. Can I get away? No. Man. Delayed splat there a little bit. Hobet. I don't know if that's a name or if it's like a female hobo. Alright, let's jump in. We got our, our side pretty inked. Oh, jeez, that guy's probably dead. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, man. Sometimes I have... I, I 
try to think about which way I need to go for the, uh, for the old, uh, whatchamacallit, <laughs> the killer whale. There we go. I knew he was coming up the side. Sometimes I have to think about which way to, to go for the killer whale so that I don't get hit in the, uh, in between it. Jump up and get this guy. Oop. There we go. Gotta get the other one. They're trying to get up the side. If I throw this up there, I might be able to get him in time. Go, go, go. This is rough. They're getting up into our base, but this is when we can move into theirs if we're quick enough to lure them into a false sense of security. <laughs> not, not into a false sense. <laughs> Trying to lure them into uh, moving into a certain spot is what I meant. Go, go, go. There's someone right there. Got him, got him, got him. Okay, let's be careful now. We only have a few more seconds. Let's see if I can... They got a little into our base. Here they come. All right, Ink Zuka time. Ink Zuka. Oh no! Where did where did that come from? Somebody shot me with something. Oh, let's see if I can throw. Yeah, there might be someone behind us. There's somebody through. Oh, it's a charger. It's a charger. Did not get that ink. Okay, I think we're doing better here. As long as we can hold down the middle. They're ink striking us though. Oh, we gotta get this middle area. Try to get it, get it, get it, get it. Uh, <laughs> I ran out of ink, but I survived. Okay, I think we got this one. There's my win with the tent attack. Whew, intense. Let's check our rank here. We think we're doing okay. We're almost to the next level, not too much farther. There we are. Fighting on Moray. I think Moray Towers is the one we've gotten the most, and then almost never camp Triggerfish. So hopefully, we'll get that newest map soon. Let's jump out though. There we go. Yeah, we're halfway to being a champion already from this rank. So we're doing well, leveling up slowly. It's gonna take a while to get to level 50, but I like having a good goal in the game. And that all the gear that you unlock every five levels is really cool. So I'm excited. There's excuse me, had to burp there. There's a hat that <laughs> there's a hat that I really want that you unlock. And all the gear that you unlock for the uh, for leveling up now in the new update is related to story mode, so you guys might be able to figure that out from that hint, but I don't want to spoil it for you. Okay, so we uh, we are going to switch our weapon, so what are you guys going to want to see? I'm going to try to check out Slosher. Oh yeah, lots of people saying the Slosher, because we want to use the newer weapon. I'll switch back to my high tops, because we don't need special duration up with the Ink Strike. It doesn't do anything for you. Most specials are affected by that special duration up. Like, I like having an extra second or so with the Kraken, but it's uh, it's not going to help you with the Ink Strikes, so remember that. Most specials are, yeah, they apply, like, abilities seem to apply to most sets, but things like Bomb Range Up is not going to help you, like Bomb Throw Up or whatever, is not going to help you with the uh, Squid Beacon, yeah. So don't, don't worry about that if you're laying beacons. What's a good strat for the Octobrush, says Furious Carrot? I think trying to be a little stealthy or at least getting around, like most people are going to shoot straight at you, so if you can zip around to the side and flank them, they might not be able to turn fast enough to get you. Or jumping down on top of them, like trying to be above, or you just really have to get in close enough and know the range. It definitely helps with the Octobrush because you get a little bit more range, a little more damage. But yeah, being quick enough to, uh, and also to know when to get away. If you if you think think you're outmatched or you're running out of ink or something, try to zip away with the brush and use that to get into a better better position. Especially against chargers. You can really be a nice distraction if you zip across the the splattle field with your, your octo brush and they'll they'll try to hit you. I've had some good matches where on Moray where there's like a charger camping and just zip around and get behind them before they can even figure out where I am. Just be zippy, be speedy. All right, I think this is this is another uh, marshmallow versus marshmallow battle, and we get that new blue color. So we have a few colors of blue in the game, but in this update we got the Squid Girl blue. What are we? Oh, we're using this whole slosher. I had to remember that for a second. But yeah, the uh, this color blue is new, and it's probably my favorite color now in the game. It just looks really good. It's very vivid and uh, vibrant. <laughs> So yeah, it's, it's nice that we got this. I think they mainly added it so that the Squid Girl costume would look right and have the same shade of blue. All right, let's throw that in. We already got our Ink Strike. I'm going to take out their beacon because they got a beacon right over there. There we go. But yeah, the uh, this is a cool shade of blue, and it goes really well with the orange. The main like dark blue and orange is still in the game. They didn't take out any, any colors that I know of, but 
it's uh, still like this shade a little better, I think. Let's get that guy as they go over the wall. I think they're. <laughs> I saw someone go over there. They're probably trying to get me. Where did they go? Are they hiding? Yep, there they are on the wall. <laughs> there we go, we got them. And someone's sneaking around. If I can slosh over the wall to get them. Oh, nope, we gotta get up. Go, 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 go. Mm. Where did they go? There's someone getting through. Try to slosh <laughs> everywhere. Oh man, they snuck around and they're really getting in there. Go, go, go. Oh, they got through. They got through. Get them, get them. Mm. If I can get over and slosh them, slosh them, slosh them. Look out. Where'd they go? What? 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 Ah, man. The brush got me. Splatted with my own favorite weapon. Speaking of Squid Girl, there's the Squid Girl hat. Oh no, we're not doing hot. The, uh, Mikhail. Michael, come on, buddy. Get back into the battle. I wonder if he recognizes me. I've had that problem a few times where someone just kind of kept super jumping to me over and over. Like, they weren't focused on the fight. They were just worried about hanging out. <laughs> and I'm like, come on, we gotta win. The thing to make me happy is to, to focus on the match. All right, let's see if we can do this. I'm gonna ink strike their area, so at least we'll have a little bit of turf in there. Let's see how we do with this sloshing, because they're into our territory so much that we're gonna have a really tough time doing this. Get him, get him, get him! There we go, okay. Figured I could go around while the other guy was occupied. We're getting some more here, but they got a beacon into our zone, so we're gonna have a rough time doing this. Let's see if we can jump through. That guy's going around. Here he comes. Get him, get him. Ah! Yeah, see? There's the big weakness of the slosher. If you get caught in that situation with someone who can fire faster than you, you are just gonna get defeated because you can't slosh faster than they can do that. Yeah, see there? Got beaten again by a weapon that can do faster damage. The slosher, you really need to like hang back more. Man, we were doing pretty okay there for a little bit. Oh, jeez. But then, yeah, Michael, I think, was having a rough time. He kept ugh, staying back at the spawn point and just trying to snipe, but I guess we were kind of camped there. Look at that blue on her cheek. <laughs> Looks real cute. Okay, well, yeah, that was a rough one. We'll do some more with the slosher, though. Because I want to get used to it, but yeah, those those two colors. That's, that might be my favorite color combination now. Let's see how my teammates did. Yep, <laughs> that's okay. All right, I'm gonna jump out anyways, so we get a fresh team. But we are about halfway to champion, and then it's the last home stretch already. So we're we're doing okay. We're not winning a ton of matches here, but we're still getting points, and I'm having fun. That's the name of the game. Having fun. <laughs> Well, if that, so why don't you just make a game called, like, having fun, or fun, this is my game fun, and it ironically is, like, super boring or something. Okay, if, uh, if he, oh, my connection has been lost, well, we got our points, so I was going to jump out anyways. All right, let's jump back in here. Uh, Snooper Trooper, <laughs> who might be in the blooper troopers later, uh, do you know if there are any new sloshers on the way? So if you guys want to hear some of the new weapons... There's a tri-slosher, there's at least, there's gonna be the slosher deco, like another version, and I think one of those has the kraken and the splash wall, it might be that one, and uh, I know one has a seeker, which sounds pretty good for me, because the splash, splosher doesn't have the best range. So there's the tri-splosher, which is not gonna have as much range, but it's gonna be wider splash zone, it's like a bucket with three little slots, compartments, that looks pretty cool, it's green, and then... The heavy splatling, there's a few versions of that. We have the normal heavy splatling. There's going to be a, de a uh, deco version of that, I believe, that has the uh, the crazy bedazzle sequins all over it. And I think that one has some good stuff as well. And then uh, that one might also have a kraken or something like that. We're getting a lot of krakens, which is good because I like the krakens. But, but yeah, and there's also the mini splatling, which is cute. It looks like a little splatter shot. And it's got, you know, the same ink tank and stuff. And I think that'll be, like, maybe rapid fire charging, like a like the squiffer is to the charger. It'll be a little faster to charge, but less range. And the Hydra is the uh, the splatling that looks really cool. It's, like, this crazy three... Uh, it's got, like, a bunch of different, you know, barrels, and it looks, like, super advanced. It's, like, the Splattershot Pro of the splatling weapons. Here we go. Going back to Camp Triggerfish. So yeah, the Hydra, I'm guessing, is going to take longer to charge, kind of like the E-Leader, but do more. Okay, so what do we... I got, I'm going to get outranged by some of these guys. Speaking of Splattershot Pro, got some of those in here. 
and we got a, uh, a few splash matics or sploosh I couldn't tell which ones. I think they were squirt the splash matics We're getting so many weapons that it's going to be hard to keep all this stuff straight. I'm going to try my best. Okay, I ran out of his ink. You can move around when you're charging your ink, Alexander. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little <laughs> critical of my team because we keep losing. Oh, let's see if I can do this right here. They're going to be able to get around me, but they, they point censored me, so they know exactly where I'm at. Okay, they're going to outrange me, though, if I'm not careful. Hey, get out! <laughs> oh, man. They, uh, you know, the blitzing strategy works pretty well on Camp Triggerfish if you go around and just, yeah, he, he must have gone over to the side, gotten around. Did he jump over a weird way, or someone must have covered it? I was going to say, he had to have gone through the uh, floodgate areas to get through over here, but, oh, jeez. Ugh. Oh, he's up there. Okay, never mind. Let's try to sploosh him, though. There we go. That's what you get. Try to get into our territory, you're gonna get splooshed. Alright. <laughs> That's so weird. Let me see if I can get this guy who's back at our base. Where is he? You can probably tell him over here. Nope, he's just... I really... I try to be stealthy sometimes to make sure I can get people, but it really just pays to, you know, be cautious, but don't stop inking, because you're gonna... You're gonna be wasting time that you could be using to help your team. Okay, he got up there. Fight, fight ink right here. I can probably get over and uh, sploosh him in time. Sploosh him, sploosh him, sploosh him! Uh, <laughs> oh man! Ah! I thought I had him and the malice got down fast enough. We have not won any of our matches on Camp Triggerfish and it looks like it's gonna be the same for this one. It's pretty frustrating here. We're having a rough time on this map. They, the other team just always seems to be better at getting around. I'm really worried that Team Hot Dog... The other, the other Splatfest, we, like, won a lot more, but I'm worried that the, the quality of Team Marshmallow player... And I'm not excluding myself in this, because I'm using weapons when I was used to. But the quality of Team Marshmallow player doesn't seem to be quite up to snuff to the Team Hot Dogs. But we'll see. We'll see. Our whole team is, like, in one spot, which is not what we want to do. I'm going to try to go around the other way, because everyone's over in this one area. Okay, let's go and try to get around through the gates, because they are down. Go, go, go. They're going through this side, I'm sure. Okay, well, that guy had the same idea. Come on, guys. We gotta divide and conquer. If I can get this a little bit, make sure they're not getting too much. We're doing a little better, we just really have to get the rest of this turf in the last few seconds. If I can get an ink strike here, that would be amazing, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. I need this ink. I need this. Go, go, go. There we go. Ink strike. Ink strike. Oh, oh no. Well, did I? I don't know if that was my ink strike. I don't <laughs> I meant to tap and, oh, look. I was being, I was being down on my team and we really brought it back. Did they lose some people? Because that was crazy. There we go. Thank you, Kylas, Alexander, Jarrett. I doubted you a little bit. And look, I was on the bottom of the team, so I shouldn't have been so critical. Yeah, we had a rough time at the start, but we got in there and just, yeah. I missed my last second ink strike. I was holding out for the last second. Phew. All right. That was, <laughs> that was that's why you got to always believe in your team. Never never be down on it and try to be optimistic. There's the, there's the swimming bird tip of the day. Always have a good outlook on life, guys. Thumbs up. We're going to do it. <laughs> Sounds corny, but... Yeah, just, just being, you know, don't give up until the end, because you never know. You might just have the uh, the win there. Okay, let's see. Uh, Kishana says, how long are you going to stay up compared to your other videos? Uh, so this one, usually the Splatfests go a few hours. So we are almost to champion, so we're doing pretty well. But it takes a bit to become a Marshmallow King. you got to go through rigorous courtship trainings and learn about lawmaking and how to, you know, tax the poor. No, <laughs> if you want to be a king, you got to be ruthless and splash some turf. But yeah, it'll be a little bit. If you don't think you're going to make it through the whole thing, I don't, you know, begrudge you that. It's okay. Thank you for hanging out as much as you could. And you can always watch it later. Who was... <laughs> I am the turtle lord. I demand the use of the arrow spray, says Andrea, using the little turtle emoticons. Well, we did an arrow spray a little earlier, so I want to try to do some more variety. We're going to do a little bit more with the slosher. Then we'll switch to the splatling, and then we'll go back to, or we'll go to whatever weapon you guys want to see next. So I want to try to get enough of the new weapons in here, since they are new, and I think most people haven't seen those as much. 
Okay, this is a good map. I think Moray is a better map for the Splatling if you can get in a good position. But we'll see. Okay, we got a lot of close range guys except for the one, the one, uh, <laughs> the dual squelcher there. Sorry. There's so many weapons like I mentioned that it's going to be tough to remember the names of all these guys, but we'll try our best. This going uphill with this thing is not <laughs> not doing great. There we go. All right, we're back down. Try to get these sides here. They rushed into the center. The yeah, I do like the slosher. I just need to get a little bit better with it. All right, let's do the center in case they're there. This is about the time when they're in the center of the map. You start to get used to like when players are in certain parts of certain maps. There we go. So you kind of can time your ink strike well if you can build it up fast enough. I'm surprised they didn't make the ink strike cost more ink because of uh, how, how good it is and how frequently we see it. We might see, yeah, a nerf to the ink strike. It only covers a little bit of terrain. It's not that crazy, but be careful now. Get up here and get that player that did the, uh, the killer whale. Where did they go? Oh, there we go. Man, my team's doing pretty well here. Let's see if we can find any hiding players. All right, gonna jump, try to slosh my way up there. Oh, what did I... Did I just hit, like, a, a beacon or something? I'm gonna try to slosh... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> slosh my way to victory, maybe. Oh, let's be careful now. Ah. <laughs> I almost fell off, and I was so worried about that that the, the squelcher got me. Okay, that's what we gotta take out. They got their beacons there. I'm gonna jump to this one beacon. We're doing okay, but I'm a little worried that because we just lost most of our team, they're gonna push in now. All right, slosh it up. Try to get through. And hopefully, yeah, you gotta take out those beacons because otherwise, you're just gonna end up losing in the end because they'll keep respawning. Oh, try to slosh everyone out of here. Slosh, slosh, slosh. Nope. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, can we get out of the way enough to use an ink strike on the beacons? I don't care if I die. I ink striked. <laughs> ah, they bubbled. I wasn't gonna get them anyways, but I took out their beacons. Okay. So that'll be good. Try to get my way back in. Okay, good, good, good. That guy's taking it. Man, my buddy over here, Jarrett, with the slosher, took out two invading players. I'm gonna clean up their mess before I jump in. Go, go, go. Oh, jeez. Be careful, because that dual squelcher is gonna outrange me a bit. Get him, get him, go! Ah, there we go. Survived that one. We'll live another day and slosh some more. They're in our turf. Get out of here. This is our turf. If I can get over the wall, get him. Oh, be careful now. Where? Oh, there we go. Got him, got him, got him. We're not doing so hot, though. we got to get some more turf quickly, or we're going to be in trouble. Somebody behind me. If I can get a little bit here to the side and to the center. Mm. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be enough in the end. And they extract us. Man, you can tell. Slosh, slosh, slosh. This is giving me $20. Yeah, the, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of sloshing going on. It's definitely the, oh, we didn't do too bad, but still, that was pretty rough. They, uh, when the other team has so many ink strikes, it's like, they can get some turf. Well, they only, oh, never mind, they only had one ink strike, but they can definitely get some ink, uh, turf, the ink, <laughs> the turf inked, the ink turf, right at the end. That's always a little frustrating, like, if you win, we won by one of those earlier, but when the battle is over, but... <laughs> Somebody inks it right at the last second. It's like, hey, we woulda, we woulda won. Bob Salad says, please read my comment, Adam. I just, I just did, but I don't know what comment you mean. <laughs> Probably a different one. That Mario Gamer says, is Daniel snoring? Daniel doesn't really snore. She sleeps like an angel. How dare you? No, <laughs> she's, uh, she's probably still exercising or something. Molly says, Splatoon tip. Stay fresh. I will. Thank you, Molly. What's cracking, playa? <laughs> says Emily. Yeah, maybe we should go with some. I think I, I was doing better with the with the octo brush partly because of the kraken. So maybe we should switch to that. Okay. Yeah, I see some rollers. How about a uh, kraken roller after this, and then we'll do the splatling in a little bit. Cause yeah, I want to get some wins. <laughs> the splatling I feel like is going to be very tough for me to get a win off, but we'll see. Lots of lots of stay fresh tips there. Good, good, good. All right. This is Splatoon says. You guys won't be able to see this unless you find the comment, but Luke Games has a, the emoticon of an octopus holding a gun shooting at another octopus. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much, you know, we don't have octopus here in, uh, 
in this mode yet, but maybe someday, like I mentioned, they've been improving the Octolines, and they wouldn't do that otherwise unless they were trying to do something with them, like use them for a new mode. And also the, the Tumblr and the the Twitter account for the Splatoon, they, they had a picture of an Octoline without goggles, and they were like, hmm, what is this? This is strange. Like, they're definitely hinting towards something. Okay. Here we go. I got another... Oh, I missed the, who asked it, but they were asking my favorite Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon is Heracross, but it's definitely tough to choose. All right, this time, this time we're going to do a little better. I got to remember to aim up. The only problem is if I'm aiming up, I can't really see as well what's going on around me. Like, I want to be able to see who is uh, who's getting close. All right, slosh over this way. Complete this little area that they were doing. Someone else will get that. There we go. Jump up here, slosh it up, and now we got our ink strike. I'll hit that spot so that they have to deal with that. Sometimes even just having the ink strike to make them have to have some more busy work to ink up an area that, you know, they normally had inked previously is a nice strat. Alright, I gotta remember that I have I have my uh my good old fashioned whoop. There they are. Come on. Come on, slosh them! Slosh them! There we go. Somebody else got him. That was rough. Just couldn't take them out there. Oh, there's an Inksuka. I gotta remember I have my burst bombs, so I can throw those in to take people out as well. Got one there. Got another there. But it's not gonna do enough to take anyone out fully. Let's get that out of there and keep my. Oh, jeez. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, took him out, but I got flanked. A lot of my deaths happen because I'm just in a horrible spot where two players are taking me out. Alright, I'm gonna jump to this guy. We didn't fully get that area over there. Okay, we gotta really push in or we're gonna we're gonna be regretting it towards the end of this match because they've got so much turf ink here and they're keeping us at bay. We gotta get off this cliff though. There's a lot of a lot of players just hanging out there waiting for that cliff to uh, provide cover. Ah man! Jeez, got splatted. Alright. They, that's uh, that's actually, I think, the first equipment. If you look at that guy's head, the first equipment we're going to unlock at level 25 is that hero armor uh, helmet replica, which is uh, pretty cool. I think it's got a good ability. I can't remember, but we'll see here soon. I like the look of that. I definitely like the, the hero armor vest because it's got the cool green vest to it. Now, here's a good example. I'm not going to... I'm not complaining too much, but here's a good example of why... Ah! I shouldn't tap Ink Strike. To do that right when I was being attacked, I did that on accident. The uh, is a good example of why you should try to always fully cover your ink because I had to go over there and ink a bunch of turf that was not like done fully. I don't know. They, I think it was they were probably trying to rush the center, but if you do a you know mediocre job inking that turf, then your buddies are gonna have to ink it for you. Somebody's gonna sneak up on me. Okay, never mind. All right, let's try to get the center. See if I can take someone out. Try to get through. Go, go, go. If I can get around the side here, this would be great. I would be so happy. Let's see if we can get up here and try to ink a little more. Go, 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 go. We got a little bit left, a little bit of time. We do not have enough territory, though, I think, to win this one. I tried, but yeah, it was, wasn't that bad. We're just having a really tough time with some of these matches. Okay, let's switch weapons. And uh, hopefully that will give us a little boost. Man, we had two. <laughs> I, I mentioned earlier that I like the, uh, the the 96 gal deco, but the two bottom people were using that, and I don't think it's a great weapon for turf wars. And I think, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's it's up to you what you're gonna use because the player is more important than the weapon, I think. But some of these weapons just don't cover much turf. They're really meant for ranked battles more, so. Hopefully we'll get some people with some good inking weapons. What were we gonna, oh yeah, the crack on splat roller. That was the suggestion. Let's jump back into it. All right, can we, uh, let's see. Will we uh, play Super Smash Brothers? Yeah, I wanna get back to Smash. Let me see who asked that question. Uh, Warrior1025 Minecraft. <laughs> Will we play more Smash? Yeah, there's a tournament mode in Smash that I want to get into. It's not quite as fleshed out and, and easy to use as I thought it was going to be, because I don't think we can do one-on-one -on -one matches. Hopefully they'll improve it here. It's it's funny, because I look at Splatoon, and they add so many cool features and such tons of con content. Smash, it obviously takes a long time for them to make new characters, but the things they have been adding, other than the balancing, have not been that interesting to me. Like, the, 
The tournament mode is like, I think you can only have four player matches unless you join an official Nintendo tournament. This is very restrictive compared to Splatoon where we can play private matches set every, you know, bit of info about it, mode, map. So I'm hoping this, the, uh, the Smash developers take a little bit of a page from Splatoon here soon and, uh, and try to add more stuff that is going to be good for, for players instead of trying... I don't know, I think they just... they The developers for Smash Brothers are a little not on the ball with what a lot of the, uh, the players want from the game compared to Splatoon. These guys are definitely looking and, uh, and listening to our feedback. Like, they improved the Splatfest. They've done a lot for, uh, for players that have been very vocal about what they liked and didn't like about the game. Let's be... Ah, uh, man. I was like, let's be careful, because we're at it. Yeah. The Inkzooka is really frustrating, because other than the Charger, it's, like, the only thing that can really hit you when you're so far away from everybody. All right, I'm going to try to focus here and get over into their turf. I gotta be close. A little rusty with the crack on, but we'll do our best here. Try to use it. I always forget that on Camp Triggerfish they can jump right off of these little side things if you're not careful. Get ya. Alright, no one, no one even went over here for this whole part of this match. Go, go, go. There we go. Alright, get the tops of those if I can. So that's a little bit of turf, but they're not gonna do as much. Whoa. Where are ya? Where are ya? There they are. Oh, he tried to lure me onto that, but I wasn't going to fall for it. He was like, hey, you want to go on this grade to try to get me? Nope, not going to do it. The, uh, the Kraken, obviously, it like follows the same rules as the squid, so if you're on a grate or something, you're just going to have a bad time and fall right into the water. All right, hopefully I'll, that somebody else will get that Octobrush. I'm going over here. We really got to get into their turf if we're going to win this. Whoa. All right, going around. Going around at the speed of sound. Go, go, go. We're not using the ink brush, so not quite going that fast, but we definitely ink a lot more evenly. I'm going to wait till I get my Kraken ready, and then we're going to go into enemy territory here. There we go. All right, charge up the ink and get into there. Hopefully we can get enough going here that will serve us well enough to survive. Got to be ready to pop that Kraken. Nope, I'm not going to follow you over there. A lot of people think I'm dumb, but I'm not doing it. It kind of makes the Kraken a little useless if you do that, because they can just stand there and not get hit by you at all. All right, let's watch this and make sure they're not following me over here. We'll get another Kraken, and we'll get them. This is a good map to, to use if you hate Krakens, though, because... Or uh, to play on, because then you can just jump over those grates. These ones aren't as deadly, because you can, you know, fall onto normal turf, but... Alright, we are going into enemy turf here. Let me try to hunt anyone down that I can. Whoa. Into their area. Go, go, go. Get as much of this as we can. I don't know if we won it in the end. We got some of the side areas, but they were into ours. I f I'm having such bad luck with Camp Triggerfish, but yeah, there we go. It really does seem like the hot dogs just got most of the good players. Maybe I should have gone with my gut and stick with hot, hot dogs, but that was my initial thing. I didn't even get any splats on that one, but I still got a lot of turf. Yeah, we had a rough run on that. Let's do one more with the crack on. And uh, I'm going to jump out again. <laughs> I keep saying that. I, need, I think I just need to pick a good weapon that I can use for a little bit, and once we get a good team, stick with that for a few wins. Then we'll switch it up. Also, when you switch weapons so much that uh, you're not going to be used to one, I keep going back and forth from different weapons. So it's, uh, it's going to be a little tough for me. Uh, no Johns, though. No excuses. I just got to play better. All right. Let's see if we can... Check the chat for a little bit while we're waiting. What your fi favorite food is squid, says Ender, bro Ender Gamer Bro. I do like s calamari is good. I used to eat that a lot as a kid. We would go to a Greek restaurant and I would get the calamari. Do you like marshmallows, Adam, says Cake Man. Yes, I do, but I don't eat them that often. Uh, the Island of Animation says, did you see what I posted on Tomodachi? I did not yet, but I will look back at the comments there. We just posted that today. Hmm. Nath or Nithinth, how do you say that? Nenith said, uh, never saw a live video. Yeah, this is live. We are talking right now, unless you're watching it later. There's a weird future 
conundrum there where it's like for some people it'll be live for some it isn't but yeah we, we're doing live videos right now let's see what's your favorite least favorite weapon says Trenton ah uh, that's tough maybe I don't know I was gonna say one of the blasters but I think I like the blasters more than the chargers hmm yeah that's really tough because I feel like I don't hate any of the weapons it's just some of them I'm not great with and that I would like to be get better with Okay, hopefully this person lets me just roll here. Good, good, good. Sometimes when people follow you and try to ink the same area, I'm like, hey man, we're not doing any good here by, by inking that same spot. Go, go, go. The roller is definitely good for feeling like you're getting a lot of, uh, of turf inked because it's so even with the inking. It just looks all nice and, and perfect. All right. Now that we are on this map, I've got my beacons. I'm gonna lay some here for my buddies. I think we got a splatling on our team. Hopefully they're doing well with that. All right, there's an ink strike. I should be careful here. I do have my Kraken though. I gotta remember that. In case we get in trouble, oh, like so. And this Kraken is going down because they ran out of Kraken before I did. Whoa! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Well, we got our beacons there. My, I underestimated how fast I was moving with that Kraken. Are we, I, I don't know if we're still using the Moto. Oh no, we aren't. So I probably should switch to those Moto boots if we're gonna be using the Kraken because it will last a little longer. But yeah, that was, <laughs> that was horrible there. All right, let me see if I can sneak up on this guy. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Whoa, nope, that's a, that's a uh, slosher there. Trying to get us, get him, get him. Get him. Oh, man. I'm just having a rough time of this. Oh, did they? I think they got us there and then backed up. I lost track of that slosher. Oh, we gotta be careful here. They are really pushing in. We're getting this middle locked down. There we go. Okay. Back them up. Back them up. Try to get that slosher out of here. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, oh. If I can get this guy, I need to back up a little bit because that's not working out. <laughs> slosher's got a little bit of an advantage when you're at a higher height. Okay, someone's coming over to the side there. Try to keep, just keep this on lockdown, and we should be good. Go, go, go. Get a little bit more ink, and I'll have my Kraken. There we go. All right. Let that slosher do his sloshing. That's fine by me. Let's see what we got over here. All right, I'm going to kind of give them a little bit of time to get over here if they want and get into our turf, and then as soon as they do, I'm going to jump down and Kraken, crack them up. Kraken heads, go, 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 whatever pun you want to use. There we are. Try to take out their beacon. There we go. All right, I think their whole team went down there. So this should give us ample time to get back in the lead a little bit. They just used a beacon there. So let's jump into me. Careful, guys. If I can trick someone into coming after me here. Oh, jump and pop up and get up. Oh, no. Well, I think they fell off. So that worked out. Man, we're having a rough time. I don't have any time to jump to my buddy, but I'm gonna try. Nope. And we got a nice view of the map. This uh, this looked like it was going in our favor, but now I don't really know. Let's see. Ah, uh, man. We keep having so many close matches, but it just, whatever reason, does not work out in the end for the marshmallows. Here we are. Yeah, I'm worried that we're gonna have so many so many losses on Marshmallow's side that this is going to be really rough, even if we're more popular by a huge amount. I could see this being like Dogs vs. Cats, where Marshmallows are way more popular like Dogs were, but then the wins, now that they're worth more. Alright, let's, uh, I want to win one with the Kraken, but I also want to make sure I'm on a team that I'm happy with. <laughs> so let's jump out again and jump back in. One more with the Kraken, then we'll switch it. Jeez. Yeah, I'm a little worried to switch to the Splatling with my, my record so far. I'm just having a tough time. I can't I can't be slacking at all with these teams because we're going to need every every bit of ink we can if we're going to win this. Uh, Ender, Bro Game, or Ender Gamer Bro <laughs> asks, how long does it take to edit a video? It really depends if it's like a news video or something. It could take like an hour or more. The rendering and the uploading is the big part. A lot of people probably wonder why I only get one video done each day, but the rendering can take hours and the upload can take hours. So if I don't have a, you know, a backlog ahead, then it's going to be rough. So but yeah, there's little inside, inside videos for you guys. <laughs> That's why sometimes videos get posted later. It's because I finished the video in the morning, 
but it has to render and upload for so long that it doesn't get up until the evening or later. All right, especially the longer videos. I know a lot of people want long videos and I like making them longer, but the longer it is, yeah, they can get to be like seven, eight gigabytes. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, Senpai noticed me, MLG Wolf Cyborg 36. That's a long name. I see you, buddy. What do you like better, squid or octopus? I think squid is not quite as chewy and it's tastier if you're talking about eating, but <laughs> octopus is still good. It's just very chewy. Squid, I think, are more interesting than octopus, but they're both cool. The squid can fly occasionally. You know, <laughs> there is the flying squid. I, I learned that recently. I, I couldn't remember if that was real or not, but uh, but it was a uh, a real thing. Somebody let me know. But I think I talked about it in the uh, in one of the videos recently. All right, this is another marshmallow versus marshmallow match. It looks like. All right, so we got two rollers. We got a splatling. We'll let that roller go that way. I'll go over here. I think I should try to get into the middle quickly. I can roll, but I need to try to get over here faster. Oh man, they are splatting this whole area up. If I can, ooh, if they if they go around, I gotta be watching because they're gonna take out this uh, this whole side part. Oh, I almost squitted there to get my ink back, and I forgot. Oh no! Oh, that was very 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 close, but I survived it. Somehow, all right, they're getting they're getting close to going down on the on the, uh, the floodgate area here, so I need to keep my eyes open because if they get over here and manage to do that, then we are going to be in trouble. Here they come. Okay, let's see if I can get through here and take them out in time when they get onto the other side. They're just using a using a beat a uh, killer whale. When they jump down here, I'm going to get them. Where are they? There they are. They're taking forever. Jump on down, buddy. Jump on down. <laughs> He's waiting until the coast is clear. All right, get him. Ah, that was that was not worth the wait because I still got hit. The 52 gal only takes a few shots to uh, to take someone out, so you got to be careful there with that. All right, I'm jumping in. We can do this. Just need to we need to be playing a little bit more fast and loose and just squidding all over the place. Good that ink strike covered so much of that. All right, I got my kraken. I'm gonna do to them what they have done to us and go into their territory. <laughs> I'm all, I'm, I'm thinking back, you don't want to, <laughs> thinking back to the fact that I waited that whole time and then I got splatted. But yeah, that's that's something I, I was looking at, at, at uh, kind of positive, positive thinking things with, with, uh, somebody linked to a thing that was like a book about tennis. It was like somebody talking about how to be more victorious in, uh, in, anything competitive or any oh nope gosh ah i'm getting too focused on talking about stuff and we're losing but yeah talk, talking about how to succeed in a lot of stuff it was like an old book about tennis but it still had a lot of relevance to uh to pretty much anything if you're getting into competitive stuff or like playing games whatever you want to think of but it was mainly like don't dwell on any of the uh, whether you're winning or losing and if you're like overthinking something that already happened you're gonna be your head's not gonna be in the game and you're gonna just end up sabotaging yourself so really focus on what you're doing and try to think uh, about yeah not more than think just kind of try to imagine the uh, the next step without overthinking it I don't know it probably doesn't make much sense I'm having a hard time formulating what I want to say because we're trying to be a squid here all right, go, go, go. Yep, this one's gonna be another loss. I just, I think I'm either having rotten luck or the hot dogs are so much better than us because look at that, jeez. All right, let's switch weapons. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, it was a it was a tennis thing, but it applied to a lot of stuff. But it basically said, like, for anything in life, if you get into your own head and you're too self-conscious, like you're doubting yourself or you're too focused on the last move you made, then you're not gonna do well. So try not to overanalyze. But of course, the <laughs> when you're playing games and talking, you gotta analyze a little bit because you're, you're talking about everything. I definitely play a lot better when I'm not talking, but yeah, that's how I, I think it, most people are with games. If you're not trying to think about two different things at once. Okay, what are we using? Let's not worry about that. We're going in fresh. We're staying fresh with a new weapon. Want to see what you guys want to see? We got a load of weapons that we can be using. Uh, maybe something that has good ink coverage would be. Sweet, like the end zap, if you guys want to see that. Uh, somebody's asking about uh, Urchin Underpass. They did 
changer. I'm gonna do one with the NZAP while you guys are suggesting stuff. The Urchin Underpass did get changed pretty dramatically. If you see my, or you watch the big 2.0 update video I did, you can see the differences. I was kind of thinking Urchin Underpass was going to be in the Splatfest, but we had that in the first one, so maybe they figured too soon and to do some other maps. I'm pretty happy with the maps in this one. It just seems like I'm, uh, I'm still having a tough time winning. Okay, seeing a lot of end zaps. We're using the 89, because I do like the sprinkler and ink strike for this mode. Seeing a lot of e-leaders, but I'm going to lay off the chargers for a little bit. We could do the splatling, but I am horrible with chargers, and we want to try to get enough points to be a king here, and we're, we're not going to do so hot if we use a charger, but I need, I need to just do, like, charger boot camp. Get a lot better with chargers when it, the, you know, the game isn't on the line. The only problem is I think chargers aren't that great in turf wars where the stakes are low, and they are really good in ranks where the stakes are high, the ranked matches. Okay, let's see how we do with the end zap. This is a heavy inking weapon. I can throw my sprinkler into a good spot here and just let that do the work for me. Here we go. And that's going crazy. There we are. Jump down and try to get this all covered as much as we can. If I can throw a sprinkler over into a good spot, then it should help us a lot here. All right, I got my ink strike. I'm gonna do that over there, so they have to deal with that. Throw that sprinkler in again. <laughs> Sitting up here and uh, trying to pick people off and throw the sprinkler in is probably a pretty good strat, but we'll see here if we can outrange some of these guys. Oh, they had a bubble. Oh, jeez. The bubble, like the Kraken, can be frustrating because even if you've got the drop on them, they're going to be taking you out. That was a friendly ink strike, so that's good. That guy's probably still over here because I noticed this ink is going. Ooh. Look out! Try to... Ah! Uh, I didn't use the Y button technique. I turned around, but didn't get that slosher in time. Okay, okay. We're going to... Let's see. I need to get into the center part, because you can see it's not quite inked over there. I think I missed that. That's alright. see if we can get this going. I want to get this side area inked if we can, but if they're pushing into our base. We're just going to have a rough time. Someone's behind me and in front of me. That happens way too often. Here we go. Okay. At least I got that person out of there. Get him, get him. Okay. And then, ready to shoot, 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 shoot. There we go. <laughs> if you see someone going in, remember to watch that arrow and you can see exactly when they are on their way over. All right, if they're getting in here, I'm gonna throw that ink strike there. Didn't get anyone, but that's okay. Go, go, go. We really gotta get some more inking going or we're gonna be in trouble here in the end. They're doing so well have so much I feel like I'm having so much trouble with this map tonight there we go got that guy man they they really flanked us here what is going on with this oh ah, man <laughs> lost my uh, my trigger cream puff the uh, yeah we're getting the center but this is this is real bad they're getting this whole area I need to I need to get some matches on uh, black belly apparently because that's where I can play a little better Ugh. <laughs> this is rough this is rough, and, yep, I'm just tapping my ink strike because I know I was going to die. I didn't really hit a good spot, but we bubbled. Man, I need to... Okay, so my goal now is to find a good team of people that seem like they all know what they're doing and stick with that because it's a more valuable thing than you realize <laughs> in this game when you get these matches where they're just camping like crazy. Ah! And they bubbled, so I can't do anything. <laughs> well... Yeah, I don't usually get too frustrated with this game, but I think when my when my loses are by far outnumbering my wins, it can be a little rough. But we're going to stay positive. We're going to maybe uh, jump into another team, of course. <laughs> Almost, I wish we could jump into Hot Dog, but that's not possible. <laughs> I feel, yeah, I'm a little worried that we're going to lose this one, the Splatfest, when we're going to break our streak. But the good thing is we still, if we reach, reach uh, King rank then we still get our 18 super snee snit <laughs> super sea snails super snee snails it's almost a, uh, a tongue twister there but the super sea snails you get a lot of them just for you know getting max rank so i'm not too worried the, the difference is only six so it's not a big deal we'll do one more with the end zap man i really got to find a good team and stick with that i think is my goal here because otherwise there we go level 27s except for me 
These guys got to be good, right? Squiddo, they've been playing a lot to get that level. Okay, this might be the team that we're going to stick with. I feel like we should go back to the uh, the Octobrush, because that was when we were winning. But I don't know. If you guys want to see that again, you let me know in the chat, and I'll keep an eye on it. Stuart's trying to find me. That's creepy Stuart. I think he means in Splatoon. Sometimes you'll run into, you know, it's random, but you'll probably run into people you know sometimes. All right, here we go. We are going to, you're always the king. Hashtag you're always the king. Oh, thank you. Going back to Turf Wars on, well, always Turf Wars, on Camp Triggerfish. This is a good map for my sprinkler, though. And we got a nice balance. Gotta look out. I always forget to look at what weapons my buddies are using because that is, or the, my opponents are using, because that's very important to know what is uh, you're going up against. All right, where is my, I uh, put my sprinkler in a weird spot there, but it still worked out. Go, go, go. I keep my, my ink up here, and if I can get a sprinkler over there, that'll at least maybe cover some of this here. See if I can get over to a spot where I can get these guys a little bit. Let's look out. All right, ink strike right here. And maybe that'll get them out of my way. Throw the sprinkler in and jump. Jump and shoot. That is the old strat. Whoa, whoa. Ah, thought I had them there, but they, they definitely saw me. Oh, someone got into our territory. I didn't even see him, and they are inking it up. Man, whatever it goes on, I think it's like universal. The other team just gets into our territory and takes us down. And now that guy is... Oh, no! Do not squid there. <laughs> the uh, That guy bubbled. Lots of bubbles going on in this, making it real tough. Okay, good. Oh, jeez. They're not dead. They're definitely alive somewhere around here. All right, let's be careful now. Look out. They're going around the side. Get one of these over there. I didn't even see where that landed, but I'll try to get wherever they are. Oh, get them, get them, get them. Oh, man, they didn't even. Ugh. They, like, ignored me, and then the other team got me. But we got some of their territory. This is still going to be a tough one. Come on, guys. We are having such a tough time. And by we, I mean me, I feel like. <laughs> We gotta, we gotta turn this around sometime here. There we go. We, I think we, it's about time to switch to a weapon that I'm, I'm better with. I like to stick to suggestions though, so I want to make sure you guys are happy with it. But at the same time, I really need to uh, use something a little better. So hopefully we will uh, do better with the someone I just saw moving through here. Where did they go? Are they alive? Oh, there's, a, there's an old. Seeker. I have to remember the name there. Sometimes my my brain just like went dead. I was like, Seeker. Alright. Go, go, go. They got this spot. But I'm gonna have to ink over here a little better. Go, go, go. Through the ink and be very careful. Okay, we're doing better now. We're doing better. Don't jinx it, though. Do not jinx it. <laughs> Hopefully we can do okay here. We can get through into their territory. Throw that right there. Let them deal with that. And then ink them up. Ink them Ah! <laughs> I had them in my sights. I don't have time to get my jet, my ink strike going, but they just ink strike. Come on, respawn! If I can get a little bit of this going to take it out, and maybe we will get enough territory. There we go. Okay. I was downing my team a little bit, but we did good. Maybe I should stick with this team for a few matches. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, okay, we won one. We're still getting points either way, but it's nice to win. Look at those little squid kids dancing. All right, <laughs> when someone's like, when I saw level 27, I was like, mm, Layla. Yeah, I think the level 27s are definitely gonna be helping me out here. Okay, a few more points and we'll get to the next rank. Then we'll switch weapons. So hopefully one or two match wins we'll do <laughs> with the with this little squad here. I'm excited to do more Bloop Troop matches. I know I mentioned in the update video that we've got our squad, and it's going to rotate members a lot. And uh, a lot of people were asking, my friends list has been pretty maxed out recently for people adding me, but every time uh, we, I have a video or have a few matches, we'll do a bunch in a stream as well, but when I have a few matches with certain player, like people on my friends list, I will take them out and no personal offense, <laughs> you know, meant. No, no, uh, no hard feelings, but I'm gonna be deleting people off the friends list to add new people constantly, so it'll be more like, okay, have a match, 
and then switch it out. Match or two. Try to play as, with as many people as I can. So that is the goal. All right, let's see. This guy's rolling up that area. I'm just going to leave that sprinkler there, and hopefully that will work out. Okay, go, 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 go. Trying to keep my gamepad steady, ready. Go, go, go. I can jump. Oh, I can jump like that. Get that into their area. At least, at the very least, the sprinkler is like an annoyance for them to have to take out. So I'm going to try to throw another one and look out because they're going to be going around the side. Try to get us. Let's see if we can. There we go. Ink strike time. Take out their beacon. This team is pretty, pretty good. So hopefully they stick with me. Go, got a sprinkler going, and they got a Kraken, but they can't really do anything to me with the Kraken there. All right, watch behind us, because I know they're getting through. Ooh, Inksuka. Inksuka. Well, I ran into someone. That was weird. I've never, like, gotten caught up because I ran into a squid kid. Oh, let's try to get these guys. Oh, get them, get them, get them. Get them, get them, get them. Ah, I took them both out. Okay, at least that happened. And they've got a beacon in our side area, which I can't get to easily. That's unfortunate. All right, let me see if I can take that out. Let's, uh, let's ink this up. And if I throw a sprinkler over there, I might be able to take the beacon out. But we'll see. There we go. It's hitting, shooting somewhere, but it probably won't take that beacon out before they use it. We'll see. It's still inking. <laughs> I'm watching it on the map. Get a bunch of ink. All right, I'm just going to ink strike over here. I was going to take out their beacon, but I don't know if it's worth it. How about one on the side? Will that do it? <laughs> it hit the roof there. Yeah, their beacon is like in our territory, so I'm... Oop! Go, go, go! Remember, we can shoot and jump. Try to get through there. Alright, throw that. Let that octobrush or that ink brush deal with that sprinkler. Throw another one there. Man, I'm having a rough time. The gates are down. Okay. Their beacon is gone, so they either jump through or something. Let's go over this way, though, and I'm gonna shoot into their floodgates. We're definitely doing better. <laughs> doing better than I have a lot on this uh, on this map, this Splatfest. Go, 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 go. Okay, try to throw one of those over there. That, uh, that guy doing good. Somebody's gonna respawn, but I'm gonna throw one of these up, like, somewhere weird. Ah, <laughs> somewhere weird. Somewhere good, but I shouldn't have been so distracted about what I was doing in their base because I got taken out. Okay, go, go, go. I jumped to my buddy here. We're doing okay. We just got to be careful. This is a very stripey color of ink. It's more striped and, uh, and different ink colors than I want. Man, that sprinkler did not go where I wanted it. Go, go, go. We can jump and... Ooh, there's that splatling. Can we get him? Can we get him? Ah! <laughs> Tried, but I think we won. This is, uh, yeah. There we go. We're gonna level up here, and then we'll switch weapons. I do like the end zap, but I think it's, uh, <laughs> it's not my favorite. I'd rather use one that I'm a little better with, but the thing is, we got this good team going that I don't want to break up. Squiddo and James, and I'm the only little inkling boy on this team. Poyo. All right. So... How many points do we need? Oh, there we go. Okay, we're a champion. <laughs> so this is the last rank, guys. We're on the home stretch here. Thank you again for hanging out. We're going to break our, our loose loss streak here by by being propelled from those few wins from that team. And hopefully we'll get another good good team. What do we want to what do we want to use? We need something that I'm good with sticking with for a little while. We could do the 52 gal, because that has the seeker. And it has the uh, ink strike, but it doesn't really cover ink that well. Hmm. Maybe we could. Maybe we'll do. We'll do one with the heavy splatling at least, and just see how we fare with it. Because I know you guys wanted to see more of the heavy splatling. It is a new weapon. But I'm gonna keep. Yeah, I just saw a Kickman splatling gun, please. And uh, we'll we'll switch off to a better weapon in a second. Well, not better, but one that I can play better with in a few matches or so. All right. K says, do he just talk to himself? Well, that's how most <laughs> videos are. It's just me here. But sometimes Danielle will be in videos as well. This is kind of funny to, like, lampshade, like, talk about the, the, the Let's Play format. It's like, is this guy just talking to himself while playing a game? <laughs> All right. Octo or Inkbrush? I don't know which one I like ultimately, but I think Octo I'm leaning towards in uh, right now at least. All right, 
How you guys doing? You holding out with me? You doing well? Hopefully we are uh, gonna keep doing well to get through this last rank here. We're on a pretty good, pretty good kick though. We're we're only like half the time that it usually takes, and we're already on the last rank. So I think if we get some good wins, we'll be we'll be sitting pretty here. We just gotta wait for some hot dogs. These hot dogs, they're just in hot demand right now. <laughs> Everyone is looking for a match with them. Mommy, mom, mommy, san Sorry, <laughs> seems like Team Marshmallow were getting roasted. She says, "All right, or he." There we go. Oh, this is. Uh, we got Travis, who's lower leveled, and they're pretty high leveled. So I'm a little worried. We'll see, though. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to doubt Travis until he does horribly. We're gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. Okay. Ooh, I could get up on that wall, and unless someone has an ink zuka, I could really do some splatting from up there. So that's what we're gonna try to do. Okay, so what do we got on our team? We've got two Splatling guns, and do they have an Inkazuka weapon? They do not. So that's good. Alright, let me see if I can... I'll just let them do that, because they seem to be having a good job, good time with uh, inking that up. Alright, let's get onto the wall here, and try to get over there. Do not want to fall in. Have those rocks go in there. Alright, go, here we go. And ink that all up, so we can get up there. That's crazy how many shots you get with this thing. Go, 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 go. Alright, so actually, even if they have a longer range weapon, I can do this, and nope, threw a little farther there than I wanted. I'm going to try to keep this middle area locked down. Alright, let's see if I can ink this up as well. I just got to look out for their ink strikes, because that's going to be my uh, thing I have trouble with. Oh, no, 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 okay. Ah, uh, I fell off. <laughs> well, so much for that. Let's see, oh, we got our, we got our, ooh. Oh, it's a sprinkler. That's what's giving me trouble. I was like, what is hitting me here? All right, I'm ink, I'm ink striking. I was gonna try to stay up on that wall and uh, do that, but uh, but we fell off. So we're changing plans until we get splatted here. All right, go, go, go. Try to get that. That sprinkler was doing some good inking, but it's out of the way now. Ah, okay. Now we'll go back to our other plan. We have two splatlings and I feel like this is gonna be rough. Uh, this is kind of a weapon that the other team has to help out a lot for you to do well with, so I'm going to try my best to stay alive with this guy. All right, there's somebody over there. I can't quite reach him here, but that's okay. Here they come. They're just pestering me, and I'm... Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Ah, I'm going to I'm gonna die. <laughs> they probably saw that I fell down there. All right, go, 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 go. Get back up. Yeah, this is rough. I'm doing not so good. Oh, there's somebody right there who's green team. Can I get him? Can I get him? Can I get him? I got their sprinkler. Watch my back. So I know that they are around. Okay, going up, going up. This is what I want to do here. If I can pull it off, I want to try to throw. <laughs> yeah, I need to. I need to get that splash ball there. But I have my like my range up on my splat on my. Gear, so it's gonna be really rough to throw that splash wall in the exact right position. But we'll try. If I can get this guy here, help my buddy out. Oh, where did he go? Where did he go? We're doing okay. Not as good as I would want. There's someone over there. Let's see if I can get him. Oh, I squitted. Didn't mean to do that. Go, 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 go. Yeah, this is it's really rough getting used to the splatling gun when you are constantly squitting to get your ink back, but that interrupts your your shot. Okay, we only have a few seconds left. Time to just go in and get as much as we can. Get this guy. Whoa. There we go. I got one splat, at least. Whoa. Someone's over here. Try to get him. Whoa. Yep. I don't know. The ink striked. We were doing pretty, pretty good, and then I think that ink strike might put him over the top. We'll see. How did we do? Yeah. <laughs> Not great. We'll do, we'll do one more with the Splatling and just see how we do. I'm going to switch teams, though. We don't want two Splatlings on the team. I was having trouble there getting into a good spot. Actually, the other Splatling was the top of our team there, so I shouldn't judge. I just think most people aren't used to the new weapon, just like I'm not used to it. All right. Hopping out, and we'll hop back in. Thank you, guys, for most of our Splatfests have gone well so far with wins, so it's a little unorthodox to be losing so much, but hopefully you guys are rooting for me. Makes the wins more sweet <laughs> when, sweet like a marshmallow, when we do pull off a good win. Oh, we got one higher 
higher player there, level player and two lowers. So I don't know, but level 17 is not that low. They're still playing the game a lot. All right, please use the bucket one, says Hone. Yeah, we could, we should probably, I think I, I do better with the slosher. We just really need to get a good team. It's, it's tough finding some good players to stick with. Wolf princesses, use the freaking octobrush. <laughs> yeah, octobrush, octobrush. Okay, after we th we do this, we'll use the octobrush for a bit, and I, I will try to get back to the slosher before the stream is over. Getting losing my voice a little bit, but we're okay. We're doing good. Just need to take a drink. I try not to. I I here's a good here's a uh, pro tip if you're gonna be playing games for a while. When you know it's a few hours beforehand, drink a ton of water and stuff. And then you'll get rid of all that before the <laughs> the stream starts, or the or the gaming sesh starts, and then you won't have to go to the bathroom. But yeah, all right. So ooh, this is a good balance team, and we're finally back on Black Belly. Took a while to get back here. This is a map that I think I can do a little better on. Hopefully we will. Let's see. Try to think this all up. I'm gonna try to camp out here in the center like I've been doing the other times. Use my splash wall. Remember, I don't have to charge it all the way, but it does help. Somebody else has got a splash wall as well. Let's see if I can put mine down and get my charge going for that guy. If they can hit me, then I can hit them. I remember that. All right, time to ink strike right there. Always have to watch my back because I'm like looking down, and when you ink strike, you have to look at the gamepad, so it's like <laughs> makes you really vulnerable. All right. I think the, the splat link seems like it would be good to to do when you're on a oh, on the center here, but I don't I feel like it's gonna be a little rough to do that. Alright, go 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 go. Try to break through. See if I can get that wall going. Yeah, I'm I'm used to trying to get into the center onto the top. <laughs> yeah, I was like, is that a splat link? Nope, it's a charger. I mean, I'm used to getting uh, trying to get into the center with the octo brush and stuff, you know to get the, uh, the main position locked down, but it's uh, not always going to be the best. Man, I thought I had him, and then what was going... Okay, that, I was like, what is that roller doing? Was he the one throwing those bombs? But he helped me out. He took that guy out. It was just a little tough there. It got me before he managed to get him. Okay, go, 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 go. Yeah, this is, this is definitely a very weapon you have to be very patient with. Oh, oh, ah. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to gonna retire the the splatling for a little bit after this match I'm just not getting much this is definitely one that doesn't seem to be as good for turf it's more like this powerful machine gun for ooh, for taking down people in ranked for that there everyone's just getting real close to me because they know that I'm trying to to use this splatling here and whoop, there's someone right there Okay, I don't know if I got them, but somebody did. Somebody booyahed. Alright, go, go, go. Try my best to stay alive a little longer and get some more turf. I'm not doing horrible, it's just I'd like to do better. Oh, like the other chargers, you can charge up the splatling even if you don't have ink. Man, all my kills. All my kills are being, being taken. Alright, let's get this charged up a little bit. Or covered, I mean. Or always charging. That's my secret. I'm always charging. Go, go, go. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get into this side area. Push in a little bit. I'm not being that aggressive with the with this, the splatling, but it's a little scary to be aggressive with this weapon because somebody could take you out so easily if you're not charged up. Oh, we're doing good. We're doing okay. Here we go. Oh, almost. Oh, no. You got flanked. <laughs> I think we're... Ooh, I don't know. I'm a little worried here at the end. This is uh, looking a little more green, but maybe, maybe, come on. Ah, that was close. Jeez, we were doing so well for, so, well, not we were, but my team was doing so well. <laughs> I still, I still got some turf. I just didn't get any splats. Okay, we're switching off this weapon that I'm bad with till we can get some more practice with it. All right, you guys want to see the octo brush? We'll do the octo brush, and hopefully we'll win. It's been too too much of using weapons I'm not that great with. <laughs> Alright, switching off, and then we need to make sure we're using the right shoes for this to get our full Kraken. There we go. Also, the Octobrush, you can... I could use the uh, the Samurai Helmet to give me a bit of an edge with the uh, the damage. 
But I think I'm going to stick to the ink recovery up because that helps out more in the end. All right, jumping in. Hopefully this will kick off our win streak to become kings because we've had a rough time so far. Let's see. see. Seeing a few sloshers. I will go back to the slosher before we end. There we go. We got one lower leveled player. Both Sneaky Ninja and Cosmo Bears. Sound good? Okay. High leveled. Let's see. Use your hero blots. Oh, my hero boots? Uh, those ones I have not leveled up, and I don't think they have a great ability on them. I tend to I tend to stick to ink resistance up, just because it's really tough if you get... If you're swimming around, you get into any enemy ink, you turn back into a squid. Normally, like, the ink resistance up got nerfed a little bit, but I still think it's really good. Probably the, the main boot ability, or shoe ability, that I would use. The sneaky uh, stealth jump could help if I stealth jumped more, because then they can't tell your jump into them, but... It's tough. I tend to just not stealth, you know, super jump to people if I know they're in enemy territory enough where they could die easily. All right. Let's see. Getting lots of suggestions. Hector says, Five Nights at Freddy's 4. We're getting back to that soon. I've got one recorded. So look forward to that, please. It'll be up pretty soon here. All right. What else? May I get a shout out to Psycho Vids? No shout out, Psycho Vids. Psycho Vids. No. I, I do that joke each time, but yeah, for, for if you want to get your name read, just ask a question or something, if I can grab it. Try your Pro Trail boots, Meg says. I do like the look of the Pro Trail boots. I'm trying to trying to balance my gear abilities with looking fresh, because I think I, I want to have gear that I like. Okay, time to completely switch modes. We're not hanging back anymore, guys. We are going in. This is the time. We're not going to hang back with that charger. We're going to go straight in, but I just gotta be very careful that I don't get outranged by some of these guys. Go, go, go. Yeah, this is so much better for inking Durf than the Charger. Go, 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 go. He's going up the wall. I'm going over here. Somebody's going around the side. There they are. Try to get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, and, whoa! <laughs> almost got him there, and I almost had my Kraken. I saw that ink spot there, and I was like, oh, that must have been the, the Splatling doing that, but nope, it was that guy. Can take out one, but sometimes the buddy will get you. Like I mentioned earlier, Velociraptor strats tend to work well in this game. <laughs> you got one person as a distraction and one person doing the uh, damage. All right, let's jump up and ooh, they got their special bomb rush. But I'm gonna take them out and escape. Go 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 up to the top and make sure I keep my kraken for when I need it here. All right, we're doing better. Definitely doing better on this one. There we go. Take that guy out. I'm gonna get ready with my Kraken though, because I know someone's going around the side. There they are. They're going towards the middle, but I'm gonna. Oh, somebody else got him, I think. Go, go, go. Didn't really use my Kraken that well there. But that's okay. Go, 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 go. And I should find a good sneaky spot to put a beacon over here, because that will definitely help out. I think if I go up on this wall, the, uh, the beacon would be good. Where are they? Oh, jeez. Get out! Yeah. <laughs> I saw the guy up there, and I was like, oh no, I could probably escape, but then that slasher guy cornered me. At least I was distracting two players for a little while. Everybody died! No! Get over here. Get back into the mix. There we go. Down the side. Careful. Could be anywhere. The sprinkler is definitely over here. There we go. Get my charge up. And look out. They are, uh, oh, there's the splatling. There's the splatling. Get this guy, if I can. Nope. He's, uh, hiding there. There we go. Got the splatling. Look out, because I know there's someone around here as well. Kraken! There we go! <laughs> Helped me out there in the pinch when the slosher was coming after me. Alright, cover this up. This is where we were before. Oh, there we go. I was gonna die, <laughs> probably, if that guy cornered me, but, ah, oh, man, the slosher. I can't, like, zoom around them because their their slosh is so big that I like don't have time to be able to do that. Let's jump on this guy before he hits us with that bomb rush. Bomb rush can be bad for turf, but he has a hard time defending himself during that because he can't use his normal weapon until it's over. Let's get this going. They're distracting us with their one special did so much turf there, it's crazy. Alright, let's look out. Ten seconds. Gotta go in, gotta go, gotta go fast. Get this guy. Okay, Kraken. Kraken, Kraken. Get as much of this as I can. And 
I think we pulled it off. All right. Power of the Octobrush, guys. We're going to be winning from now on, hopefully. There we are. All right. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Feels good to win again. <laughs> that ha that happened in other Splatfests. Sometimes I would use a charger. A fool foolish notion <laughs> for my, for my uh, skill set, but... But yeah, there we go. Now we're getting points. All right. Let's see. What you got? Yay, Octobrush, you can do that. Um, thank you. I'm, I'm happy you guys are rooting for me, even after I had such a big loose streak there. Hopefully, this is... If we get the... Uh, the neck... Oh, did we, we leveled up. We're 23 now. If we get the Camp Triggerfish map, then we'll know for sure. All right, this is a good team. Lots of nice high levels on this one. But yeah, if we if we get Camp Triggerfish and I can manage to win on that, then I will be happy because that's the one we keep having trouble on. Also, Moray Towers was a a tough one. Okay, ooh, we're pretty evenly matched up in levels there, but it's another Marshmallow team. Marshmallow. Whenever we fight Marshmallow on Marshmallow too, it seems like the other Marshmallows just happen to be better. I think most people probably stick with a team that they like. If they have a weapon that they prefer to use, they're probably not jumping in and out. But we got a lot of uh, we got a lot of people using longer range rollers and, and different stuff. So I'm gonna have to be very careful here. The squelchers are gonna be causing me some trouble. Go go go! Try to get this as much as I can. And try not to do it too unevenly because I know that can be annoying. I mentioned that before. It's like they're missing little spots, and then someone has to go back through and tidy up your mess. Okay, I'm gonna throw this beacon here if I can. I'm trying to get a few different ones in different spots. Ooh, hey. Sometimes it'll be ready, but if you're moving too much, it'll be like, hey, you can't put, put that there. Right, did they, they're sneaking around. I'm gonna go into the center, though, if I can. And cracking it up. That guy's a cracking as well. I'm gonna leave that cracking behind. And zip away, zip away. Whoa. Oh man, they outranged me. That happens with the the jet squelcher. It's got so much range, but at least I distracted them a little bit. I always feel like every death is a distraction. They were spending time trying to take me down instead of ink and turf. So it'll 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 help out the team either way. Somebody over here. You can kind of tell that someone was, but they might be gone now. All right, let's see if I can. Jump in and get whoever's hiding here. Oh, let's look out! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, that was rough. I think my, uh, ooh, I forgot I had beacons, but I think they got destroyed in a horrible beacon-related accident. There's someone right there. Sorry, I got so focused, I was like, I gotta get this guy. I gotta get this guy. So many, so many weapons outranging me. I gotta be extra careful here. All right, get our ink up. That slosher someone is like hiding over there and just getting us from the side. Oh, keep that cracking away. Keep it away. Keep it away. <laughs> nope. This is when he's going to get close and try to get him out. Oh, ah, I had my kraken. I should have waited because that blaster outranged me. Okay, come on, guys. I need to get as much as I can in turf because I want to get my kraken one last time before we finish up. See if I can get close to this guy and get him, get him, get him. There we go. Gotta, gotta ink like crazy. Ink, 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 ink. Go, 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 go. Here we go. I got my Kraken. 30 seconds. Use it wisely. Do not waste your Kraken, young man. There we go. Get this guy. Get that guy. If I can, at least one of them. And try to get that guy out of here. If I can... No! Oh, jeez. That was, that was rough. But we survived it somehow. Get this guy out of here. Whoa, 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 whoa. And there's somebody else go no, coming in. Get him, get him, get him, get him. We gotta worry about turf more, though, then. Turf is more important. Go, go, go. Come on, come on. Ink it up. And let's see how we did. I think we got a little more. They ink striked their own area. They might have won if they ink striked a different spot. Okay, they were probably like panicking and, and tapping frantically. I do that sometimes. There we go, all right. Phew. Look at that little dance. He's got the creepy paintball mask, but he's doing the little dance for uh, <laughs> for the splatling gun. All right, top of the team. The Octobrush is definitely my jam. You can do it, says Kashana. Thank you very much. I keep catching her comments. I wanna make sure I'm reading as many as I can. 
Thank you guys. Ooh, again. Oh, we lost our good team. No. <laughs> we uh, we're doing pretty well. We could we could switch to the slosher real quick now because we're doing a little better. I might go back to the ink brush pretty soon if we start losing with the slosher. But yeah, the uh, or the octo brush. Sorry. But yeah, the the uh, the comments. I'm trying to keep up with them. But thank you guys again, and thank you for all the likes. We are we just passed 1,000 on this. Thank you so much. It was at 90, 999 there. That's crazy. You guys are awesome. And we've been over 600 people watching consistently pretty much this whole time. So I really appreciate it. Oh, we got Stinky on our team. Stinky's. Stinky's a quality player, I think. <laughs> Holly Angel and J J Toady. Some of these names, I'm like, how do you... There's like several T's in a row. But maybe that's their like their squad name or something. The, the little symbols or something. All right. Let's see king and then it's maxed yeah that's the top rank we just have to fill up our champion gauge there at the top you can see top left and we will be kings and that then my work is done my slosh has ended uh <laughs> and the, i i feel like i need to go back and play more splatfest even when i'm not like i'd, I'd love to do multiple streams of splatfest even if i'm not gonna get any extra super sea snails just to help out my team but usually, because it's uh, it's usually on a Friday night, I'm, a lot of the time I'm busy the next day. Like tomorrow, slash today, since it's already Saturday technically, my family is coming up to visit, so I need to... It, I live pretty far away from my folks and my sisters. So yeah, I gotta go, gotta go visit with them. Gotta keep my slosher filled up more. I'm, I tend to be flicking too often and not charging it. Alright, time for one of these right here. Hopefully that'll get that guy who's going around the side. Nope, didn't get him. They're hiding somewhere here, so we should be careful. Let's see where they went. They're going right there. Hopefully someone else will deal with them, because I don't know if I'm the right one for the job. They're uh, starting to slosh all over. Or I'm starting to slosh <laughs> all over the place. Oh, Inkzuka. We're okay, though. Just hide behind there. Throw one of those in. Okay, my buddy got him. Good, good, good. We got a good team going. Keep that, keep that ink, but we really need to push into their territory or we're going to be trouble. I think like half the team is over there. We got a good E-leader on our team, it looks like. Sniping it up. All right, let's be careful and try to get that guy. Oh, I ran out of ink or I would have been able to slap them there, I think. Try to get, ooh, that's a good cracking. Okay, good, good, good. Throw that over in, oh, no, what, what, ah. <laughs> Man, I thought I was safe because that we had a kraken defending us. But while I was doing my ink strike, I just ran into trouble. All right, jump into them. We really need to go into their territory. Ah, that was the worst. Jumped in right when the ink. The ink Zuka. A lot of people are most frustrated with the with the uh, with the Kraken encountering that. But I think like the ink Zuka is the most frustrating of the specials to deal with. Let's get this guy out of here. Get him, get him, get him. There we go. Slosh the whole way home. Go, go, go. All right, I'm gonna try to move into their territory. And I gotta make sure I'm charging up more. Because again, I'm just not, I'm running out of ink so fast with the slosher. It does seem to use a lot, but you are just kind of throwing it wholesale out. So it makes sense. There we go. Oh, no, uh, I thought we got him and then somebody else got me, Taz. Man, they're doing a number on our base. So I'm gonna stick around here, I think. Oh, somebody's got a, sp a sprinkler going. So time to jump into this spot. We only have 30 seconds. This is going to be a tough one to win. And I, I can never tell if it's the team or if it's me when uh, when we have a rough time winning these because I'm uh, using weapons I'm not as great with. Go through. Go through, little squid. All right, go, 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 go. We can get over here. I need to, I need to be sloshing and then getting in closer. Whoa. There they are. Get them, get them, get them. There we go. Flanking and strafing, or strafing to the side is a good strat. And, oh, whoa! <laughs> I, at least I got a little bit more turf. I freaked out because I was like, one second, ink strike, and I tapped myself. So that was horrible. But, yeah. <laughs> we'll do another with the slosher, just because I think I was doing okay. It was just, yeah, poor Stinky. He's so sad. Yeah, we were top of the team there. Our, our one charger user, Holly Angel, was not doing so hot. We need to find a team with some good ink and weapons. 
No E-leaders. The E-leaders can be good. You know, any charger can be good, but they think they're a little better in modes that don't involve ink and turf. Okay. Notice my tip. If you use a charger, aim at their feet so they can't get away. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if they're probably the same size target the whole way around, right? But, oh, if you aim at their feet and hit them, you know, they'll get stuck in the ink. Oh, no. Look at this team. There's babies. Dano and uh, Rodrigo are pretty low leveled. We're going to have to jump into another team here pretty soon, I think. But we'll do our best. I'm getting used to sloshing. It's just, it's just a little tough sometimes to adapt to new weapons. I think this is another weapon though that uses up ink so fast. I need to be a little, I need to be a little bit more conservative with how much I'm sloshing. I'm just used to slosh, slosh, slosh. Says Snooper Trooper. Snooper Trooper should be in the Blooper Trooper, the Bloop Troop. All right, dude, the Carbon Roller. The Carbon Roller, I think, is a little similar to the Slosher in that it flicks pretty fast. But I don't necessarily. We got Dad on the Hot Dog Team. I don't necessarily like the carbon roller that much because, again, it takes multiple hits. So just like the slosher, I think that maybe that's what I don't like about the slosher is you can't just get a one-hit kill. And with the octobrush, I can really fast spam, but with the, the slosher, it gives them enough time usually to uh, to just com completely uh, eviscerate me before <laughs> I'm done sloshing. Man, everyone's going the same way. Come on, guys. I hate when... Uh, yeah, you gotta you gotta spread out if you're gonna ink a lot of stuff, and it's up to me obviously to choose a different path. But sometimes I'm already I'm already inking away and trying to get them to go a different way. Is that? Ooh, ah! I thought I could get into a better position, but they just like waited there, and yeah, I should have backed up. I need to use my burst bombs a little more. That's another thing with the slosher. I almost never use the sub weapon because I don't like burst bombs that much, but they can be good if I can aim them right. Oh, there we go. I got somebody with it. Oh, can I slosh the guy up there with his ink zooka? Maybe not. If I can get him here. There he is. There he is. Oh, oh, oh. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> He's gone. He's just out of here. All right, time to ink strike and watch my back because I know there's somebody coming around at all times. Get me. Hopefully that Kraken is uh, not gonna not gonna take out my buddy there because I don't want him coming after me either. Whoop! There we go. Okay, finally I was able to slosh enough times to stay. Oh no 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 no! That was rough there. Almost. <laughs> Almost got Inkzuka. Usually if you see one Inkzuka shot, you're not going to survive the second, you know, get out of the way, because that gives them just more time to calibrate their aim, and they'll usually take you out. All right, let's see if I can get ink enough over here. We can get up on this wall. This is probably a good spot to stay. Oh, unless someone Inkzuka's, obviously. This is a good spot to stay as the slosher, because I got a really good vantage point here, where I can just ink this whole spot, and... There we go, ink strike the center. Doing better. Ooh, they got a a uh, suction bomb going after me. Let's be careful now. Oh, you need to I need to aim up more with the slosher, because that's gonna throw a little farther. There we go. I got room where I can avoid those suction bombs if they try to throw those at me, so it's working out okay. Be careful. They're really focused on trying to get me. Whoop, there's somebody right there. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Ah! I ran out of ink! And there we go. Ah, oh, I can't believe I survived that. Go, go, go. All right, I'm going to try to get up top. See if I can slosh my way up here. And stay alive long enough to get another ink strike. Yeah, they're, they're pushing into our turf, so this is going to be a little rough. There we go. Get them. Get these guys over here. Let's, oh, whoop. Man, I thought I tapped it. But it didn't. It didn't tap. Let's be careful now. Get back up to the top, stay alive long enough to get enough turf. They're probably waiting for me to forget them over there, but I didn't. I didn't forget them. Get them, get them, get them. Uh, I was doing my best, but I don't know if we, yeah, <laughs> too much green. Lost that one. I really think I can, yeah, that was pretty close. I think I'm getting better with the slosher. It's just rough. We need to find a good team. And remember, we had two lower leveled guy. yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, we lo I think the uh, the level 20 Justin, you messed us up there. We could have won, but he's like, hey, I'm gonna abandon this team because there's low levels. Don't do that, guys, because I know you guys didn't do it. I'm not blaming you, but him, yeah, he's like, well, I'm just gonna turn my game off and turn it back on because I'd rather 
spend the time going through the menus than have a team that might possibly lose. I don't know. I think a lot of players, like I'm trying to get into a good team as well, but a lot of players won't even try if there's a, a team that they think is going to lose. This should be better. There we go. Chicks and Bob Ross. Bob Ross, I bet he uses the ink brush because that's, uh, you know, he's a famous artist. All right. Art he's an artist, I guess, but I, I was laughing because, yeah, I think of him as an artist, obviously. Like, yeah, he definitely is one, but he's like a TV artist, so it's weird to, like, put him up there with Picasso or something. But yeah, he was definitely, he made those happy trees for so many years. All right, who do you like better? Callie and Marie says, Creeper goes Moo, AJ. Uh, I think I'm more of a fan of Marie. They both kind of remind me, I don't know if, have you guys seen Gremlins 2? Remember the one gremlin that turns into a lady? That always creeped me out as a kid. But Callie especially, she looks like, because they have those fangs. They, she looks like one of those gremlins, <laughs> those lady gremlins. I don't know. All right, let's see. This guy is uh, gonna be using. Oh, oh, excuse me. There we go. Oh, sorry. I got a little distracted. Oh no! I'm trying to scroll through the chat, and I'm trying to. <laughs> well, that was the worst. This is what happens when you're <laughs> we're trying to multitask. This is why I only look at comments when I'm not playing because I just dived off. We can still win this. Let's go. That was just one little slosh right at spawn. Go, go, go. We do have our boots that have the better respawn time, but I realized, oh no, we're using the boots that have, we're wasting a few abilities because we've got ones that are, uh, are are extending our special, but our special is the uh, the good old ink strike, which it doesn't matter if you have a duration up for that. It's always going to make the same effect. Okay, let's see. We're doing all right. My team's bailing me out, no pun intended, for that horrible death at the beginning. But yeah, I was trying to... <laughs> Trying to look at the uh, comment. Oh, jeez. Yeah, run that of ink real quick here. Let me put. Oh, I was like, let me put a beacon over here. Can you remember what my uh, my stuff was? Okay, they're not heading over to the side as much as they should. So I think we're gonna do a little better here with that. Whoop, whoop. Let's try to see if I can get that guy up there or not. Where did they go? Where did they go? Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him. <laughs> Uh, gotta keep my ink levels up. Try to keep get these guys out of here. The sooner we, oh, oh, oh. Uh, I took him out. I don't know why that's my uh, that's my weird sound effect. Every time I have, uh, I'm like bailing water on someone. What? 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 Just <laughs> some thing that has adapted to the slosher that has been there since I first started using it the other day. All right, go, go, go. Gotta be careful here, because we are in enemy ink. We could be creeping around. Actually, it's really tough for them to get to this side, unless they are, uh, the, the floodgates are down, so. Okay, we're doing good. Gates are down now, though. Let me see if I can get through. Try to get this guy. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Okay, good. Ah, uh, man. Ganged up by their whole team, but at least they're over here messing with me. Ink striking. Jeez. Okay, they're all pushing in. We're gonna have a rough time here. I don't know what's going on, but they were all trying to get me so they can get through into this spot, I think. All right, time to go through here. Get this all inked up. Got this part, yep. All right, we're doing okay. We just really need to push through. We were really winning, but then it seemed like that whole group there just all went after us. Go, 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 only 18 seconds. We're all in the same spot, that's not good. We're just gonna be hit in the same area. I guess if we can survive with uh, <laughs> with all this going, yeah, yeah, push in, push in. Five seconds. Let's see if we can get a little bit more ink going. And yeah, Ooh, maybe. Yeah, right. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> I was like, that looked like a victory. Yeah, the whole team. Usually, you don't want to group up because someone could just destroy you with one good like dynamo shot. But there we go. All right, let's switch off the slosher. We did well that time, but I think we could we could do a different weapon. We someone said, "Why do you die when you're in water if you're a squid?" Uh, Makeup girl 101. It shouldn't kill you. These squids have evolved to be creatures of pure ink, and they just dissolve in water. It's part of the game, and they aren't really squid technically. They're like weird inkling things that have evolved. Let's do maybe maybe one with the tented tech. I'm trying to pick a weapon that I can play with. Well, we could do a tent attack real quick. 
and then maybe go back to the octo brush. I want to make sure that we're winning, but I also want to make sure that we're <laughs> playing weapons that are fun for you guys to watch and ones that you uh, you like seeing. What are your thoughts on the spray can weapon? I think you mean the arrow spray. Ooh, there we go. Another atom on my team, and good levels. The arrow spray, I think, are good. They're maybe a little overrated because now we have so many weapons with range that it's a little tough to do well with them. You definitely get a lot of turf, but you get into a firefight, you're going to be in trouble unless you got your Inkzuka or you use your mine well, depending on which arrow spray. Somebody said he's a oh, Zephyro said he's a kid. I don't know. I, I could be a squid. You never know. That commercial. <laughs> I, I keep forgetting, we, for the Splatling, we need to go splat -da 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 -da, like the commercial because, oh no, we lost our good team. Because that is the signature of Splatoon, that annoying commercial. But I think it worked. A lot of people said that their little brothers or little sisters or, you know, anyone could have seen it and been interested in the game and not known otherwise. But that, that commercial was just very pure 90s, like trying to make a song out of their project or their product, like Sock and Boppers more fun than a pillow fight or I'm trying to remember there's so many that are ingrained in my head like chicken limbo and <laughs> don't wake daddy all these board games and different toys like had those jingles and that was the way they wormed their way into our heads <laughs> so that people bought them or at least bugged their parents about it all right matchbox has uh, gatling gun next we might use the splatling a little later I'm just trying to use weapons I can do well with so hopefully we will uh, do a little better with the Tentatech. I like the Tentatech a lot, and if we unlock that Octo Shot, it'll be down the road a while, but the Octo Shot is just a cooler, cooler looking Tentatech. Although I, I kind of like the Splatter Shot design. I think it's, it's cool as it is. I might like it better than the Octo Shot. We'll see, we can compare those in a little bit. I'm wondering if anyone has hit level 50 yet, because it's crazy, you have to play a ton of matches to get that level. The developers were so surprised that people hit level 20 so quickly, they were worried that it, like people weren't eating or sleeping because people hit it so fast. So I think they, they made sure that it's going to take a long time to hit max level. Like, we're only level 23 and we've been playing quite a bit since the update came out. A good amount of matches, not too many. Oh, I tend to not play too many matches because I'm trying to let get them. Oh, there we go. The uh, I, tend to, I tend to only play when I'm recording most of the time, so it's a little tough to uh, to judge that uh, I'm playing a lot of matches. It feels like I am sometimes, but probably not as many as I could be, obviously. But yeah, I, I try to keep the game fresh by playing when I'm recording. This is my favorite spot to use this thing, Zuka, and try to get people. Oh, there's a Kraken, though, that I think just fell off the edge. Put one of those up there. See how they like that. Not very much. All right, I think this spot still needs some inking. Okay, good. My buddy, my buddy helped me out. All right, here they come. There's a slosher. The, the suction bomb, uh, splatter shot, ink zuka combo. Just is probably one of the best balanced ones. You got the splatter shot for like a good mid range, but fairly rapid fire. The suction bombs are great for ambushing. Put them on a wall like that. Someone might walk around the corner and you get hit. You never know. And then the ink zuka, of course. So deadly, long range. Just gonna take a little bit to charge it up, though. Because they made that that little nerf in the update that I mentioned. Put that up there. I'm really just trying to hold the middle here, because I know if we lose this, we pretty much lose the uh, the whole map. So I want to make sure that we've got it. They're pushing into their base, though, but I think a lot of them died. So here come the green team. Just keep pelting those <laughs> suction bombs up there. I gotta I gotta stay here and make sure my buddies are safe. So let's be extra careful. There are a bunch of those up there. <laughs> Nobody's fallen for them yet, but let's at least keep an ink coverage on the edge there and keep them away from getting through. There's one for ya. Whoop! Can't outrange that slosher, but I did get him when he backed up into it. There you go. There's that pincer attack. I'm my own velociraptor. I just need to uh, spread the old ink there. Did they jump off, or what happened? Oh, there we go. Oh, lost that. Got some good ink zuka shots in there, but I think they fell off the side is what happened, rather than them. Oh, almost got him with the, with the, oh, the old, oh, jeez. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, jeez. Where are they? There they are. Okay, yeah. 
See, the, the splatter shot is just probably one of the best balanced weapons because you don't need that many shots. It's rapid fire, but you can still take down your opponents with only a few shots. All right. Let's see if I can throw a splat bomb. Oh, nope. I think we got this. There we go. Yeah, the tent attack. It's weird that the, the splatter shot is a weapon that a lot of people kind of wrote off a little bit. They were like, look at all these other weapons. Rollers and arrow sprays and yeah. But the splatter shot and the splatter shot junior too are, are really good if you stick with them and uh, and get used to them. Because I think they're just really well balanced. The splatter shot was the first weapon they made. Yeah, first they said they balanced all the other weapons based off of this one, like range and ink usage and stuff like that. All right, let's stick with this team a little bit. Jack, I see you there. I see everybody. Morika, Moriki, thank you for hanging out. Goldie, Goldie Dynamo roll. <laughs> oh no, Gold Dynamo. I read Gold and Dynamo together because it was they wrote it as one word, Jacob, and it looked like Goldie, Goldie Amino. What's your favorite weapon? Super cool chicken gaming. Uh, probably the Octobrush right now, but I don't know. It could change. I definitely like the new ones. I don't think either one is gonna de dethrone the ink brushes for me as a favorite. All right, back to Triggerfish. Okay, this is again. This is the. Uh, this is the telltale map. If my team is good, then we'll do well here. If my team is not so hot, then we'll get destroyed. Ooh, they got the hero roller. That's a good, good looking one, but it has the same stats as the normal. So they basically have two rollers, and I think they had some sloshers there. I didn't, didn't see exactly what they were using. Let's see. All right, go, go, go. This, this weapon also doesn't run out of ink super quick, which I appreciate. You get a lot of turf for your buck. Go throw one of those. Oh, and look out. That was very, very close. Almost got hit by the old killer whale. Got that slosher, though. Oh, here we go. See if anyone's over there anywhere. We need to ink Zuka. I don't think there's anyone in range. I kind of used that a little prematurely. Let's see if I can do one of these. Throw that. And did I get anybody? Doesn't look like it. They're getting through, though. See if I can throw one over there. I know they're... Yep, there they are. Throw one like that and see if I can get him to walk by it. Nope. I can outrange this roller, though. If I just keep backing up. That's the key with rollers. Don't don't let them get you by getting too close to them. Sometimes you got to back up and oop, hit that in the wrong spot, but that's okay. Go, go, go. We're doing okay. Just gotta keep it up. Oof, Watch my back. You never know when someone's gonna sneak up on you. I was just, you never. Whenever I say you never know, I was just talking about gremlins, like the the squid sisters looking a bit like gremlins, but it's like the whole you never know when a gremlin is around. It's that like tagline. He's sitting there, and I could have gotten him, but I didn't do it in time. There's that slosher. Yeah. All right. Gotta keep this covered. Whoa! Someone's behind me. Try to get him and. Get him! Ah, there we go. Okay, yeah, that was close. I was like, please, please, please. Please. Get them. Alright, I'm gonna use this ink zooka so I can get my ink back and hopefully get anyone who is uh, hiding. Probably should have saved it there now that I think about it, but I was like, I need my ink to get this area over here. I don't want to leave it. Go, go, go. And remember, the special recharges your ink, so it can be used for that. Shouldn't have wasted it so far back, but at least I put a little pressure on them. They're probably like, hey going on? Alright, now we can go up here. They're taking the middle area though, so I should be extra careful. Oh, hey. Doing good? Doing good. Alright. Let me make sure that they're not getting through. Yeah, they're kind of pushing through here. We don't want to put all our eggs in one inkling. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's see if I can throw one of those over there. A little too far, actually. My bomb throw up just uh, helped with that a bit. Alright, I'm gonna try to get over here. Doing okay. I just feel like we could be getting more turf. I heard a ink strike, but I don't know where it came from. Only 10 seconds left. I don't think we're gonna be able to get a good uh, final ink zuka. Maybe we will. Let's see if we can get a few. <laughs> All the way over there, maybe! <laughs> I think I, I inked a little bit with that. Yeah, we did it, I think. I can, I can safely say. Look at that. Mostly purple. Okay. Gremlins are more like evil Furbies, says Matthew. Yeah, Furbies came, or Gremlins came first, and then I think they, like, sued the Furby people, but they ended up coming to an agreement, and there's, like, a gizmo Furby out there. <laughs> I had a Furby, and I enjoyed it for a while, but eventually, I like all things, 
the Furby was like, the batteries were taken out. <laughs> he kept snoring. I'm like, come on, Furby, I got school in the morning. He doesn't care. He just wants belly rubs and you to stick your finger in his weird little beak to feed him. Okay, let's... <laughs> I don't know how many people in here had a Furby, but yeah, they were strange. They, I think they can do more now. They have uh, somebody, let me just check that. It was Ta Tavid1 said, I wonder if he's actually reading our comments. I tend to read the ones that are like, hey, does he read the comments? But yeah, the, the Furbies, I think they have like upgraded them and they have weird glowy eyes and stuff. And I don't know if they can hack into your computer and intercept missiles from... <laughs> From, ne from the Pentagon or something now. I remember the Furbies, it was like, people were afraid they could record people's voices and stuff, but I wonder how much more evolved the Furbies are. Will the Furby overlords take over the world? Hopefully not before the Inklings rise up and evolve. <laughs> All right. So someone said, guys, Splatfest is over. No, it's not. It just began. Splatfest goes for 24 hours, but we're almost done with our run into Splatfest. We are most of the way through here. A uh, good you know, handful more wins, and we'll have it. Okay, so what else? I'm gonna switch off the Tentatech here, and I wanna know what else you guys wanna see, but let me know when the match is over towards then, because then I can look at the chat a little better. We're just starting out now. I got distracted talking about Furbies. Okay, let's go. How many times can you say that in life? Got distracted talking about Furbies. Alright, I gotta make sure I'm uh, not spending too long inking every little bit of turf launch this right here, though, and if they get too close to me... I thought I saw someone right there. Maybe not. They're, uh, they're not pushing in as much as they usually do early on. I wonder what's going on here. Oh, oh, oh! Where are they going there? Throw that right there. Were they hiding on the wall? They were. Haha. -ha. I knew that they were there because I, uh, but then I was like, oh, maybe they left. I saw them earlier and they, like, stayed that whole time. They didn't jump out and get me. They were just like, I'll wait. There we go. Got one. If we can get any other guys here. There's another. Come on. <laughs> they were taken out before I could get them, but put that pressure on with the Ink Suko, which is always good. Let's see if we can get around the side. Gotta make sure we hold the middle, of course, but the sides are an easy place to start inking if they're not paying attention to them. Oh, look out. Somebody is up there, it looks like, or around. There they go. There they are. I got the roller. Hopefully I can trap them with the, uh, the old suction bomb. Throw one over. I always try to be moving in squid form before I throw my bomb, because it goes farther, as I mentioned a little, a little while ago. There's a tip that I learned. Alright, let's see if they inked that wall like they're trying to hide there. But I don't think they're there. That's good. Oh, someone's right. Ooh. I almost have my Inkzuka. A little bit more turf. Oop, they've got an Inkzuka, though. Try to get my turf going while they're using theirs. And here we go. Ink Suka time. Ink Suka time. Oh, someone in my face, or is that just the same? Yeah. I was like, someone is close, but I can't see because I'm getting pushed against the wall with Ink Suka. But at least I took somebody out. Okay, cool. Come on. That guy's got someone behind him. I really hope he survives. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. <laughs> Man. I shouldn't... Oh, no, they flanked him. I shouldn't have... That's what I get for super jumping to someone that is, like, deep into combat. You gotta make sure you don't do that. Not do as I did. Go, 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 go. Alright, we got turf here. That was a little squid kid back there. I just saw. Alright, we're gonna have to push in if we can. I think getting the tower is gonna be important, but they're over here so much that I feel like they might already have it. Let's be careful now. I threw one of those down there. Get that guy. He got, he got out of the way, though. Get that guy. There we go. <laughs> All right, a little bit more for an Inkzuka. No, we're going to die. Ah, man. I used my Inkzuka, but it didn't help. Come on, guys. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get in there and get more of their turf. I don't know if we won this one, but we started to get into their territory. I think they got it. All right, we're switching off. Let's see what... Oh, yeah, that was close. See what you guys are suggesting. We need a few more wins, but yeah, we're always getting points, even if we lose. We just gotta make sure we're ink. I think if you ink at least 400 worth worth of turf, then you get the extra little point. Yeah, you get the points there for doing that, even if you didn't win. All right, marshmallow. 
It's so weird seeing people write marshmallow. I want to say mallow and not mellow, but it's not marshmallow is what it sounds like usually when people say it. Do you have any tips for non-roller players, says Snooper Trooper? I think uh, just practicing your aim and being able to quickly turn around, use the Y button a lot to flip around because getting able to turn quick is very important for shooters or else you're going to be shooting the wrong direction and get destroyed really quickly by ones that don't have to aim as much, like the rollers. So be careful in the blasters. So people, let's see, Octobrush, we did do the bucket a little bit, Inkbrush Nouveau, or the normal ink brush. The, the ink brush nouveau is not great for ink and turf, but we can do the normal ink brush. I see a few people requesting that. This one is going to be good for turf wars. The only problem is I need to tap a lot faster, and gotta get my get my tapping finger ready here because you gotta tap super quick with the normal ink brush. The octo brush is a little more lenient. It's always so weird to go back to the ink brush after the octo brush because the speed is crazy. Okay, this is a good team. I hope I do well and I stay with them because one of them looks like a little octopus guy. Oh, it's like a sad little octopus face. Okay, excuse me. <laughs> if it goes quiet, you know that I'm like, oh, I got a burp. But I never want to subject you guys to that, so. All right, say marshmallow instead of marshmallow. It's way more classy, said. Try to keep up with these. Justin. Yeah, I don't know. What do you guys... Which marshmallow or marshmallow? What do you... I, marshmallow, I guess, is how you should say it. It's just strange. That white hat is the Squid Girl hat, has, says uh, Jose. Yeah, the, the Squid Girl hat is pretty... I like the look of it. On the boys, it looks like... You know, like I think I mentioned before, it looks like a little, like, Splatoon universe version of Adventure Time with Finn's little bear hat, but it's a squid. I think the ability on it, though, is the uh, opening gambit, which gives you a ton of really good abilities, like charging up ink faster, I think faster movement speed. You get a bunch of extra boosts, but only in like the first 30 seconds of the match, so I don't know if I'm that big a fan of it. Throw that over there, and zip over, let somebody else get most of this, maybe. Nope. Somebody else is uh, leaving me to do this, so that's good. I'm glad I didn't go away and have someone try to ink it at the same time. Go, 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 go. I don't know where my inkler, my sprinkler is. They should have called it the inkler. I didn't even think about that. Why didn't they call it the inkler? Let me see if I can get someone catch them in that. Nope. I should hit that one ledge where they always stand. There we go. Are they going down there? Or did they escape? I don't know where they went to. Maybe they fell off the edge. I have no idea. Gotta remember that we are playing with the ink brush, so we've gotta be quick, and we gotta jump in and just, you know, attack as fast as we can. Go, go, go. Alright, they super, super, I was like, they super jump sea snail. They ink strike there. There's so many terms that I'm like, man, hard to keep these straight sometimes. Go, go, go. Oh, mm, that was close. Luckily, I didn't want to waste too many ink zuka shots on little old me. Here we are. Oh, get this guy out of here if we can. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna go around that way. Where did they go? Oh, okay, my buddy's helping me out. I'm gonna try to jump and go down here and get this guy out of here. Go, go, go! Yeah, there we go. All right, quickly ink strike. We're doing better. Again, I do love the ink brush. I think I'm a little better with the octo brush, but the ink brush is still really good. There we go. Throw that up there for them to deal with. At least distract them a little. Time to jump and get this guy wherever they are. Oh man, took him out, but what did they have? The end zap, yeah. They were a little faster. We're doing good. We got a buddy over here. I could actually, I'm I'm using this quick little ink brush, so I might as well go get some of these spots that they ink striked. Make sure we cover them up so they don't have any extra turf. Get that going. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I almost bailed on that because I was like, wait, can I save myself? And then I was like, no, I have to commit to this. I must, I must jump. Alright, let's see if I can get a sprinkler going over here. And where did they go? Where did they go? Somewhere around here. Get him, get him! Okay, good, good, good. That was rough. Almost died on that one. Another one of these. Do a little bit of that. Get my ink strike going. Wait till I have the right moment here to take these guys out. Okay, this is when I want to move in because there's ink strikes of plenty going on. Get that guy from behind with the sprinkler. He's gonna deal with that. I don't know if he's gonna mess with it. Where'd he go? 
He's hiding. He's hiding somewhere. He ran away. Throw a sprinkler up there. Let deal with that. We're doing okay. Let's just be extra careful here. Go, go, go. I'm gonna jump off and get this, because this turf is more important here than getting more splats. Oh, there we go. Alright. Ink brush worked out well. <laughs> There's an ink strike just going off. The silence of the end of the map, or match when the music just dies out, and then they just hear a lone ink strike. Alright. Let's see how you guys are doing. I think I'm going to stick with this team if I can for a little bit. There we go, top of the team, but my team did pretty well working together. That little octopus gal at the bottom with the, you know, octopus or squid face has the gap, the splatling and wasn't doing so, so hot, but she still did well enough to be an asset to the team, so we're going to stick with this. Oh, we, ah, uh, we should jump out, actually, because I'm using the wrong shoes for this ink strike. So let's, uh, let's switch my shoes real quick. I did like that team, but I feel like I'm wasting my shoes there if I use the other ones because ink strikes aren't affected by those abilities. They're just dead weight. Alright. Notice me, Senpai, says Keenan. I see you guys. Alright. How does one live stream, says Tom Cook. You could probably Google search for it because it's a little complicated. You have to get a program like XSplit and you have to, you know, connect everything up and make sure you have the fast internet connection to do it. Especially if you're going to play a game like this where you have to play online, you got to make sure your connection can handle playing this and streaming. So it's a little tough, but it's not impossible, obviously. Everything seems really daunting. I know when I, before I started making videos, it seemed really daunting to be one of these Let's Play people that, <laughs> you know, records games and talks and balances all that and knows how to edit and all that stuff. And it's, you just learn it little by little. You can look up most of it pretty easily and get advice. People, you know, if you have questions, Twitter is the best way to talk to me directly. I'm at SwimmingBird941. Uh, so yeah, if you want to, if you want to interact, that's a good way. If you're getting into videos, let me know, because I can help you out with some tips. But, but yeah, it's just mainly le learning how to do it. Don't let it seem overwhelming, because everything is, is scary when you don't know about it. And everyone always seems like they know more, but they're just, you know, we're all just trying to get along. <laughs> And, and do what we do. A lot of people just have very specialized knowledge, so it seems like they know a lot, but maybe they only know a lot about one thing. Maybe you know a lot about making pizza, or... <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Adam Lake Marshmallows is the Minecraft Cow Productions. I do, but I still am a little regretting not going with hot dogs, because in my heart, I would rather eat a hot dog than a marshmallow. It's just the roasting. The roasting is uh, makes me think I should be playing with marshmallows, because... Roasting is uh, not something, like I mentioned, not something I think of with hot dogs. Alright, I'm gonna let my sprinkler do a lot of the inklo inklering for me. There we go. Yeah, I keep playing. I, I feel like they should make, like, different versions of the subs, maybe. I'd like to see some new subs. I wonder what they could come up with for that. But yeah, different versions of the subs, like, and uh, one that is, like, a variation. Like, you know, we have different weapons that are a little different in properties, like... Maybe a sprinkler that doesn't shoot as much, but shoots out big blobs that will, like, take out the opponent easier or something. That could be kind of cool. Throw one of these over there. Maybe that'll help me out. Just gotta look out for that suction bomb guy. Where did they go? I don't know. But they're, oh, they're bubbling. They're bubbling. Get that guy. Oh, where did the other one go? I guess that was the bubble guy, and he just died. <laughs> Alright, time to... Time to get around one of these sides and try to make my way through. Go, go, go. I think I need to get into enemy territory. I'm going to do better. Go, go, go. All right, this is a choke point here where I'm ink striking. You guys will see it. Maybe I'll get someone. Almost. Let's see if I can get over this. Around the side. And get... Oh, man. Ah, I should have had them there, but the roller just lay it down and it, and it destroys. That's why the ink brush, I think a lot of people don't like it because you really have to, you have to be tapping a lot to get some ink brush kills. I don't want to stand right there because I know that roller is gonna, yep, gonna do that. And, oh, didn't mean to, man, wasted that sprinkler a little bit because I meant to throw it over the spot where the roller was. We're still doing okay here. I'm getting most of this turf. If I can get up onto the tower put my, my sprinkler there. Go, go, go. I feel like, yeah, I feel weird that I can't play with the charger very well, but then I feel like I can play with the ink brush 
better than... Shoot, that took a while. I can play with Ink Brush better than some players, so it's like, it's a trade-off. You Sometimes you can do better with one weapon or the other. Alright, go, go, go. I'm gonna get this inked up or we're gonna lose the center area here. Alright, time to Ink Strike over there. Oh, didn't mean to go into there, but luckily Ink Resistance keeping my damage down from that. I think a lot of players are sad that, like, damage up doesn't kill, uh, doesn't help you kill faster, but the thing is the, uh, having, ooh, geez. having the, uh, the damage up means when your enemy, you know, your, your opponent's always gonna be stuck in the ink at one point or another when you're shooting them, so that extra damage plus the damage up helps you in the end, I think, but, get this guy, there we go, get that going, jump up and get that one, and, whoop, whoop, Ink strike! <laughs> I was like, I'm going out, I'm ink striking! I don't even know where I ink strike because I frantically tapped. Whenever <laughs> whenever you're uh, you're gonna die and you got that ink strike, you just gotta go. There we go. Man, that was a good team. Alright. I wanna stink with stink I wanna stink. I don't wanna stink. I wanna stick with the ink brush a little bit longer because we're getting good points with this, but we'll switch off in a few matches here. Micro 20 is uh, eating marshmallows while watching this, or marshmallows. I can't break the habit of saying marshmallows, but yeah. Somebody's given some lessons here. Fernando, blaster lesson. Every person takes two or one hit, so look at people and attack them for more ink and points. Yeah, the blasters, the normal one, because it has that one hit kill is nice, but it's so slow, yeah. I think I tend to do better with weapons that can fire a little faster than ones that are... Uh, really slow one-shot kills, because my accuracy is never <laughs> great. My my little my little ink brush and my octa brush are like the, the sword or the dagger of the the uh, Splatoon world if they were like a normal weapon or something, so I think I would be better as a rogue or something. <laughs> if this was a medieval game, then it would be better. I don't know, it's weird, because TF2, uh, Team Fortress 2 is kind of similar to this game in some ways, but I never was that great with Spy. I could do okay, but Scout was my big class that I liked, and I think that the the Ink Brush is kind of like a Scout Spy hybrid because you can dash in and out, and then you can also use the close combat weapon. Yeah, so I guess it works out there. All right, Derek has a tip. I'll have to see that after this match, buddy, because we are having a tough time uh, <laughs> looking at comments when we get into battle. So here we go. Got a good team still, hopefully. They got. Oh no, they got a. They got the E-Leader 3K scope. That's gonna be rough. I gotta be careful and make sure that they don't hit me with that extra accuracy. I'm gonna try to get over to the side and then we'll we'll rush in and try to take down that that E-Leader before it can get us. So the E-Leader, the best of the chargers in terms of range. Okay, now I'm gonna do this and hit the uh, the side right there. Cause that's what I should have done before. There we go, see I got a splat. That is like the most popular spot for people to stay and camp, especially if you're a sniper. That's like the most popular sniping post because you can see most of the stage and hit people on the other ledge. But the problem with that is everyone knows you're gonna be there, so you can just do what I did and ink strike that spot. All right, I need to get up close, remember? Because I am using the old oop, ink brush. Let's get this guy. Oh no, well I took him out at least. Ninny. That's a fun name. They got those night vision goggles. The night vision goggles look pretty cool. They're some of the new gear. The only problem is they just got sniped. Oh, uh, the only problem is they have a swim speed up, and I'm I think I've got that on enough other equipment that it seems a little silly to uh, to use that. This is gonna be rough to get through here. Whoop! If I can. Oh man! Oh, I was like that. How did the roller hit me through there? But they just flanked me. So this is what happens on Moray Towers when you have a good E-Leader or Charger user. They hold down the middle while everyone just gets around and flanks through. I'm get this guy here. I'm gonna get him. Okay. Good, good. Got that. And if I can stay to the side here right, then we should be able to get these guys out of here. Whoa. Get that guy. Get that guy. Where'd he go? <laughs> there we go. All right, now I gotta. I need to get in there and get that E-Leader out of here because if we're not careful. Whoa, whoa, nope. Ah, oh, man, I thought that blaster was gonna be dead long enough, but I need to get in there and take out the E-Leader and make sure they don't 
spawn back in because, oh no, my buddy's in trouble. Yep, I got taken out. Uh, I need to make sure that E-Leader doesn't get perched again because that's going to be what is stopping us from getting through. Okay, time to time to zip, zop, zoop away and go up there to try to get the E-Leader. Get that carbon roller. There we go. Alright, let me see if I can get in close to him here. Whoa, where'd they go? Where'd they go? There they are. Oh, jeez. See if I can ink... Oh, I know. Ink strike the same spot that they were in. Ah! They saw me because I didn't have Ninja Squid. That was rough. He backed up so fast because of the other player. But I had him at first. Come on. Throw a sprinkler. And hopefully we can get this going. Get him, get him. Ah! Rollers. Rollers! When I am a roller, I enjoy playing it. But when I'm not, it's tough for the... Uh, for the old ink brush because you have to get close and they're def definitely better close up. They get that one hit kill. Maybe? Yeah, we still won. I can't believe it. We had su such a rough time there, but we broke through. Okay, cool. Wiggles. <laughs> Wiggles, Scotty, and Draco, and Ninny. We have some great names in here. There we go. All right. So maybe uh, maybe we should jump off. We're, n we're 942 today with those points. Maybe we should jump off the ink brush because we're doing all right, but I want to keep mixing it up, keeping it fresh. Thank you guys again for sticking with me. A lot of you guys have been with me from the start, and I appreciate it. Even if you're watching this later and you are already got to this point in the video, that's awesome, and I appreciate it a lot. Uh, if you do want to leave a like, I enjoy that as well. What are we using, though? Splatling gun? Mm, I did so bad with that. I don't know if we can, uh, we can go back to that and do well, but we'll see. Try ledge peeking, says Brandon. Yeah, ledge peeking... It's a technique I've used a little bit, especially on Bluefin Depot, but it's uh, it's a little tough at some time to you know to to be able to pop up and hit them quick enough if they're far back. You got to be a little careful with that. Let's see, yellow and black splatter shot pro man. Talk about the weapons that are so fast with with destroying ink. Your ink tank. This is like the worst. It it just runs out of ink so fast and it doesn't ink much turf. So I see some more for the slosher. I see some for the Octobrush. Let's do the Octobrush a little bit because then you guys get to see the Kraken. And if you, at the end, if you want to see more of the new weapons once we're closer to the end, then uh, I'll go back to the Splatling or the Slosher. I see a lot for the Slosher. Yeah, we'll go back to the Slosher after this because I do want to use that. All right. Thanks again, guys. I'm a fox. Said uh, I missed the person there. <laughs> uh, Tugondo says, how much longer? We're we're almost to max rank, so not too much longer here. Probably within the hour, and we'll be done. Tip, says Cyberclaw, if you attempt to get away... Oop, it's gone! <laughs> I need to get back to that comment. If you attempt to get away from an enemy, and you have splat bombs, throw the splat bomb under you as you move. It'll create a little puddle little by little. And I think he might mean the burst bomb, but I don't know if that's... What he means that the splat bombs take a little bit to explode. You could leave a little splat bomb parting gift, like an ink mine. But yeah, the uh, the burst bomb, I think, is the one that can make the puddle for you to jump through. That's a technique that I need to get better at. Shooting and... Oh no! <laughs> EX MP4 is only level 1. This is going to be a little rough here. And a level 2! Oh no. We'll see how we do. I'm using my Octobrush, so maybe we can pull out a victory. But we've got two fresh-faced squid kids on our team. But yeah, the, there's a technique called splatter hopping, I think is what most people call it, where you shoot a little bit, squid, jump, shoot, like you just kind of hop through the ink to get away faster. But when I'm using the octo brush or the ink brush, I don't really need to worry about that because it's probably faster to just zip away with the brush. All right. Elijah says, Adam's cool. I want to meet him so much. Thank you. I don't know if uh, eventually it would be cool to go to some type of con and do something. I feel like I'm, I don't have the clout compared to most YouTubers to be able to do like a panel or something, but I don't know. <laughs> that would be kind of cool to, to do some type of convention thing and meet a lot of you guys, but we'll see. Billy's waiting for the Tri-Slosher. Yeah, the, the Tri-Slosher seems like it's going to be more of a like close range roller burst, so maybe it'll do more damage. I do like the Slosher though, but I think having a better sub weapon and even a better special on, the, on a new Slosher, like I think one has the Seeker or one has a splash wall and a kraken or something like that would be really cool because the slosher has those burst bombs and i feel like that's one of the, my one of my uh least liked special or sub weapons 
The point sensor I don't really use that much either, or the disruptor, but they're still they're still good. They have their uses. Man, uh, this uh, this group of hot dogs is taking a while to get in here and destroy these low levels, and maybe us as well. <laughs> That's another thing too is uh, a lot of people get mad when the rest of their team isn't pulling their weight because it is such a big team sport that it's like if one or two people are not doing as well then the other team is going to be able to surround you and just yeah you're not going to do well either but i don't know i think even if this this is one of those games where you can have a huge turnaround there's so many matches we've had even just tonight that i was like we probably lost that but then we won so man where are these dogs all the dogs are off doing something i don't know <laughs> they're getting ready for a barbecue what series are you playing to play says blue ninja uh, for the future, the 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 revival week is all you know going to be stuff that we haven't got back to in a little bit. Want to finish up, but some of the stuff for the future, I'm excited for Super Mario Maker and Yoshi's Woolly World, Animal Crossing, Happy Home Designer. That one I was a little worried about, but <laughs> it looks like it's going to be good. It got good reviews because it came out in Japan. And what else is uh, there's the Zelda game coming out for 3DS. Lots of good stuff. A few other, you know, there's. I don't only play Nintendo games, so I do, like, Cuphead looks amazing. If you haven't seen the art for that, that looks crazy. And, uh, yeah, there's a few others I can't remember. I have a list going of stuff that I'm going to try to play. But, yeah, that's a good, good question, Blue Ninja. Thank you. Let's see what else is happening here. We got the ample time to look at the chat because of these. That's, that's part of the advantage of uh, tuning in. At, like tuning in live is is definitely fun. I appreciate you guys being here. But the advantage of tuning in later is that you can skip the periods where there's <laughs> we're waiting for matches. But then you're gonna miss a bunch of commentary talking about Furbies and Gremlins and stuff. So you never know. Yeah, this is the problem where sometimes the the lobbies will make you wait a bit. Even if no one pops in, I'd rather be able to just back out and jump in another one. But we'll see. Adam Chan noticed me, says Nurikid. Are you... Isn't Chan supposed to be, like, for younger kids? <laughs> I don't know how old they are, but yeah. <laughs> what do you predict for new weapons maps for Splatoon? So, I mentioned this earlier, but if you're tuning in later, we're gonna get the bridge map, Hammerhead Bridge and Flounder Heights, the apartment roof building. Those are the next two, I think, that are coming, because they are ready, and they were in the commercials with the Rainmaker and, and new stuff. After that, we're supposed to get one that was... There's a few code names. One was called Office. One was called Pivot. I have no idea what that's going to mean. The maps are all, like, being built already. I think they're, like, working on them. So some of them, they have a little bit of data in this update. And people found that out sneaking around in the files. So, yeah, I, I think we're, we've got six more maps coming for sure. And then past that, who knows? Hopefully they'll keep making more. But, yeah, we're going to have so many new, so many maps to choose from by the time they're done making them. But yeah, I'm excited to see what other maps they're going to come up with. An office building? Are we going to be like fighting between the cubicles? Hopping on desks and just like kicking over keyboards and mice? Who knows? We'll see. Joseph says, Adam, do you watch Dory the Explorer? When my nieces and nephews were younger, I would watch that sometimes with them. But uh, in the, on, on average, I don't watch Dora that often. Man, what is going on with this match? I have a feeling that we're going to get into this and everyone is going to have left but me and they just turn you know you can turn off your system to exit but you don't really want to do that cuz it's just kind of like it's a little a little unsportsmanlike but yeah because this is taking a bit i think they're going to this is going to be bad not only do we have low level players who probably are inexperienced but we'll see maybe it's going to be me whipping my octo brush back and forth and taking out the whole team but we'll i'll try my best <laughs> regardless <laughs> All right, Pixelcrafts is saying hi. How you doing? What's with the timer on the top left? Says T-Rex. That's the timer that is counting down to when we're gonna get booted if we don't find a hot dog anytime here. But it takes a little bit. How strong is Splasher or Slosher and Splatling Gun? Says Roblox. The Slosher takes two hits to destroy an enemy inkling, but it also has pretty good, you know, ink spread and can shoot over objects, so that's good. The Splatling can do a ton of damage, but you really have to be accurate with it, and it takes a bit to charge up, so yeah. They both have their weaknesses, like any weapons and their strengths, so I enjoy them both. I just need more practice with them. We're going to go back to the slosher here in a second. Five more seconds, man. I'm kind of glad if we get booted from this, yeah, because 
I, uh, I don't really want to, you know, the, the I don't begrudge anyone just getting into the game and wanting to play the Splatfest if you're level 1 or 2, because that's the only thing you can do right now other than private matches. But at the same time, I'm like, I'd rather have a little bit more experienced players on my side. There we go. We got a level 7, but that's better than levels 1 and 2, and hopefully we'll instantly get some dogs in here. Come on, get along, little doggies. Jump in. What series will we play next, says Blue Ninja? I'm not really sure what comes out next. I think Super Mario Maker might be. That one I'm actually really looking forward to because there's going to be so many different levels that people can create. We can make our own. It's going to have a lot of replayability. So I'm excited for that. And all those different art styles. I really love, like Super Mario Bros. 3 is the one that I'm the most fond of of the old Mario. So it's cool that you get to see weird stuff like the Koopa Clown Car, Bowser's Vehicle, and Bowser Jr. like in the Mario 3 art style. Never thought that would happen, but we got those coming. All right, here we go, back into a match. We are we are going strong now, and we are gonna win this, hopefully. A lot of close range things, so I should be careful with my Octobrush, but I think we'll, we'll be better off than fighting things with longer, well, I don't know, actually. The close range ones can give you more of a fight when you're using a brush weapon. But the uh, the short range one, yeah, the the long range ones are gonna struggle a little more if you get close on them because they can't fire as quickly. Let's get this guy here. There we go. There we go. Get him. Oh, there's an Inkzuka there, so I, so I should be careful. We get that one. There we go. Watch that Ink Strike. Where did that other guy go? I think he's gone. Got our Kraken. Okay. This is the time to take the tower. So we have our Kraken ready. Alright, go, 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 go. Should be right there. Try to take them out. We're good. I just gotta keep my Kraken for when I really need it. And my buddies are all around here too, so we're really, really holding down this tower. Okay, look out. Go, go, go. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get Ink Zuka'd and lose my Kraken. Famous last words. This is, I saved it too long or something. We got this tower pretty well held down, so I should just jump in and uh, take these guys out. Yeah, there we go. I should probably go in and try to get some more turf in spots that is not so covered instead of just holding that the whole time. Go, go, go. Make sure we get all of that. Zip around. All right, we're doing okay. We'll try to get into their territory from the side here because this isn't fully inked. Go, go, go. A lot of players get so used to ranked that when they go back to Turf Wars, they I think they forget to ink as thoroughly as they could, or they just want to get into into the enemy territory, so they're doing more for the team. Let's be careful here. They can pop out of anywhere, and they probably will get me if I get into their territory. They're going to be so defensive. Inklings are very territorial, we know. And where did they go? Oh, there we go. Get them. All right, got one. Anybody else around here? I'm trying to get some of the side area. Go, 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 go. Gotta watch my back, because they're gonna try to get around me. We're doing pretty well on this. I think we got a low-level player, but we're still doing well. Here we go, that was close. But we managed to uh, get around. I'm trying to, <laughs> I always get really quiet when I'm like, there's an enemy player nearby. Like, I feel like they're not gonna hear me or something, but that's not how that works. Jump, 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 jump! I'm gonna, gonna, whoa, whoa. I'm not tapping fast enough! <laughs> Man, they just, like, danced around me all over the place. That was, that was rough. Couldn't get a beat on them. Man, okay, so that's what was happening. They were nowhere to be found, and then we turn around, and they're just all over our zone. They're ducking away, trying to lure us back into their ink, where they got the advantage. Try to be careful here. Go, 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 go. Here we go. Ah, man. I got splatted. Come on, guys. This is close. I'm a little worried about this one. Go, go, go. Man, whenever you die close to the end and then you respawn right at the end without being able to do anything, it's kind of sad. There we go. I think we had... Well, I don't know. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, we had so much turf that even though they started to bring it back, we were good. Okay, look at that Squid Girl hat. And she's got the Squid Girl boots. She just can't wear the shirt because she's uh, she's wearing her Splatfest tee. Okay, took a little bit to get into another match with the Octobrush, but I'm glad that we did, because we're doing better. There we go, we are so close to maxing out. Thank you guys again for, for uh, being with me on this journey. Let's see if we can pull out some more victories with the Octobrush, and then we'll, we'll finish up by switching to the Slosher and the Splatling again, because I do want to 
show the new weapons as much as possible. All right. Ooh. Stretching out, getting my getting my finger ready to uh, to tap 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 because that's the brushing style. Do you like regular battle music or Splatfest music better? Says Nick. The Splatfest music is cool, but it, I think there's only one song now that I think about it. I can't remember. I'm I'm missing the regular music now because we just got four new songs from the two new bands. So there's like a chiptune band and a piano like trio rock band, and both of them are really good. I like the the styles there. They're fake bands, but I'm talking about them like they're real. They're real little sea creatures. <laughs> But yeah, the there's one that's called ABXY. In in the West, they renamed it Chirpy Chips, which I, I like ABXY better because it's the the buttons on the controller and it sounds like a chip tunes type of thing. And then the uh, the other one is um, I'm actually trying to remember that their song is called Hooked, and I can't remember their name now. It's something fresh or uh, yeah, man. I already forgot I blanked on it. That was the first one revealed, though. But yeah, both, all four of the new songs are really good, so I'm glad they added more new music. And I haven't gotten to hear them too much in battle. I had a few in the, in the first episode we did with the update. But yeah, right after we, we got the update, the Splatfest came out, so it's like hearing music from uh, the Squid Sisters a little bit more. The Squid Sisters aren't the only popular ones in town, though. That slosher. He's really trying to get us. We're going to have to be careful here. The, everything's going to outrange us. I really need to get over to their side if I can. Now, let me see if I can jump through and zip around. Oh, man. They're, they're being a little bit tough to get around here. They're defending their territory really well. All right, I've got my Kraken. I just have to be able to brave getting over here without dying. Go, go, go. Do not let them get you. There we go, and... Oh, <laughs> they juked me. They juked me. They juked me. And... Oh, <laughs> there we go. We survived. That was rough there for a little bit, though. Oh, ink strike. Nice, nice, nice. Try to keep this held down as much as I can. It's really tough to be playing these fast-paced matches and glance at the map enough to know where you need to go. But we're doing okay on this side. I get as much of this as I can while I'm keeping my eyes open. We got our Kraken almost again. Let's be careful though. They're going to be pushing back. This is their turf. Go, 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 go. Alright, I got my Kraken ready. I'm just going to focus on getting this side. And if anyone pops up to try to get me, I'll have my Kraken ready. Yeah, here they come. Here they are. Gotcha. And I wasted their special. That's always a great feeling when you, uh, you, whoa. Get him, get him, get him. Ah, oh, nope. Whoa! Oh, jeez. See if I can get both of- Nah! I was like, I got two guys there, and I managed to get around that roller before they got me. I thought I was dead. But yeah, the, uh, got taken down by the old slosher. The new slosher. But yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of tough to make sure you're close enough a lot of the time with most weapons outranging you, but I think I, I do love the ink brush more than most- Hey! Jeez! Let's zip out of here. Swim speed. Swim speed up. I think that's what I'm using right now. So, up oh, and get over out of the way. Got to make sure I'm... Oh, they're just waiting for me to run into their flat bombs. They're going crazy there. Oh, and we got somebody else coming in. Get him, get him, get him, get him. There we are. All right, go, go, go. Doing well. Can I get my Kraken? Yeah, go, go, go. I could probably ink more without the Kraken. I'm going to try to... Use the. There we go, and uh, I think we got this one. That was intense, but we did it. I see. I feel like I have a lot more uh, rough time, a lot rougher time of uh, winning on Camp Triggerfish because they can get around you, and I'm not expecting it as much. Just gotta get used to this map. It's a little, a little tough to get used to. There we go, top of the team almost. But yeah, let's see. The top of the team was someone who didn't focus on splats as much and inked more turf. That's really what you should focus on, of course. And a lot of players tend to, you know, go for splats like it's ranked. All right. A little bit more with the Octobrush. We'll switch over. We're in the final stretch here. DZ, the level 7 player, is holding his own, so I'm glad he's here with us. At first, I wasn't sure. But, yeah, this this team's doing good. We're gonna we're gonna try to get most of the rest of these points here with a few more matches, and then I'll switch to the other weapons because it won't really matter too much if we win or lose if we're we're close to the end. It'll get us those last handful of points. All right, 
And then hopefully the rest of Team Marshmallow, it sounds so weird, Marshmallow, Marshmallow <laughs> will do the rest and I'll have to hang up my gun, my, uh, my brush for the night. Okay, look at those cars. They're using their headlights because it's night. I wonder if they use their headlights during the day. I can't tell. I don't tend to look at the background that much, and I need to do that more often because the backgrounds are really cool, but sometimes I ignore them. I think we lost a player because uh, they were just looking down at their shoes. Or maybe they were on their phone or something between matches. We'll see. I'm going to try to get over here and get my ink uh, squid beacons. That's what they're called. <laughs> get those beacons set up if I can. Get the bacons. Go, 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 go. Oh, I get that little bit. Run out of turf. Oh, I forgot I was going to try to go do the beacons, but I guess the beacons can work well over here, too. Make sure I got enough ink, though, just in case. Oh, they got two Krakens. Look at those dueling Krakens there. Yeah, let me see if I can... There we go. Got one of them, and... Oh, they threw their, their ink wall there. Try to ink my way up this wall, and before they can see me, hopefully... They don't know I'm here. They don't know I'm here. I can get them. Let me see. Well, they pushed in so much that I don't know if I can get them in time. Whoa! Whoa. Zip away, and... Oh, man. Did the sprinkler get me? Oh, no, the ink brush. I thought I was going to be able to survive. We're doing pretty well, though. Is this guy safe to jump to? I really hope so. So we're, uh, we're kind of holding the middle enough. Let me throw a beacon here. Get to the top of that. Man, sometimes I get focused too much on trying to ink certain spots, and then I'm like, that's uh, wasting time to be spending too long on one little area there. Alright, let's be careful. Careful, DZ. They got an Inkzuka. Or at least they had an Inkzuka going. Let me see if I can get over here. They're gonna see me zipping around, though. And. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Man, that ink brush, Andy Pandy, is very fast, because usually the ink brush won't outdo a uh, an octo brush. Okay, stay alive. My buddy there. Gonna try to put these beacons down. These beacons definitely helped us out a lot though. Whoop. I can jump up and uh, get that stuff inked up. Make it a, at least a little tougher for them to get through. Whoop. Nope. I don't want to fall off here. I gotta be extra careful. Whoop. There come here comes the brush. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Ah, there we go. They were just trying to storm through. They're going after my beacons! My beacons! Mm -hmm. Time for cracking. Time for quacking in. Oh, and jump! <laughs> that was close, but we made it through. Alright, go, 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 go! If I can get into their territory and mess with them, that would be good, but... Oh! Look at those! The two brushes laying together, and then they fell into the ink. I never thought about how the clothing and the brushes... What are you doing, DZ? The clothing and the brushes just kind of sink down into the ink and disappear, like they get destroyed or eaten. Maybe they, they transfer with your, your soul or whatever you want to call it that goes back to the uh, the old... Oh, oh no, this is rough. Goes back to the, the tea kettle where you respawn, the little spawn point. It's kind of a mix, but I really think they got this one because they went all the way to our spawn. Yeah. All right. Let's find another team. <laughs> I think DZ was like, you spending time inking the spawn point and stuff. Yeah. Well, you never you never know. He was doing good in the last match, but we gotta try to find a little bit better team. We'll switch off of the ink brush. Let's jump off of here. Look at we're almost at a hundred thousand gold. We were at like seventy something before, so we're getting lots of money. Which is definitely nice. Alright. Let's jump and uh see ya Alan. Trying to keep track of when people are heading in and out. Thank you guys for hanging out. What are we doing? Slosher? Should we do the slosher? I know people were mentioning it. We can get a lot of turf with the slosher, so... This is one that was pretty popular. Hopefully we... It's more important that you get a good team than you do well with your weapon. I Honestly, it does feel that way. But of course, one player can really help the team survive. Okay, level 25, level 20... There we go. This sounds like a good... Kid Squid 12, Charlie Woo, and Green 1. Sounds like a good match here of levels. I'm the I'm the low boy here, <laughs> the low level little squid kid. Stay fresh says I missed it. You guys are so quick with your comments. Nerd kid says stay fresh. Stay fresh, Adam John. <laughs> Don't start. Uh, hopefully that doesn't become a thing. 96 gal deco. I do really like that one. It's got the kraken and the splash wall, and it's really good for ranked. But the 96 gal isn't great for covering ink. So 
I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I see a lot of sloshers. Okay, good. We're doing the slosher. How much do you like Splatoon, says Kevin Chan. His, his name, or Chan. His last name is actually that, so it's not a... <laughs> it looks like... But, yeah, I, the Splatoon, I think... This is a bold statement, but I think I've mentioned it before. I think it's the best game on the Wii U because the other games that are really good, like Smash and Mario Kart and stuff like that, are good, but they're also iterations that aren't that different. This is a brand new thing that is so fresh, and, uh... <laughs> but, yeah, it's my favorite game. We'll have to see. I think Zelda Wii U could dethrone it, but we'll have to see, though. This one has so much replayability. All right, two sloshers, two sloshers. We got a... A, a charger on our team, so I really hope they do well. Charlie Wu. Well, we're all high leveled, so I think we'll probably do okay. Now, the slosher, I need to remember to keep my ink levels up more than, uh, whoop, there's somebody right there. Keep my ink levels up while I'm going around. There we go. So that I don't get into situations where I'm, uh, running out of ink here. Who's shooting what there? Did I get him? Nope. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to ink strike ahead of me, because I know there's someone over there. Hopefully that'll help out a little bit. Ugh, I should have just kept sloshing, and I would have gotten Brad, but I was like, I'm going to back up. We're doing good, though. Missing a bit of turf in some spots, but that's okay. This is kind of the good way to do it. If you're playing Turf Wars, you don't want to spend too long inking your home turf. Just get it when you inevitably get splatted, So it's going to happen. And, uh, just heard a ink strike behind me. I'll clean that up a little bit. Luckily, everyone is doing a good job there. Doing that as well. Look out for the ink. Like, the ink Zuka's probably going to hit me from the uh, the other side of that ink strike. And that would be very sad. I'm going to try to get the top there. Go, 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 go. Someone, someone was up top here. Get him. Oh. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, jeez. We're stuck. Get up there. Oh, there we go. All right. <laughs> That was going to be so sad if I lost that. And we got an ink strike. Throw that down there. So if anyone's trying to get in, should be able to get them. Don't want anyone to flank me and take me out. Spin around. Oop, somebody's down there. Somebody's down there. We can get them out of there. Where did they go? They went up the wall and into our territory. Out of here. Get out. Get out. Where did they, where did they go? Ah, I ran out of ink anyways. That was rough. They were just on my tail that whole time. I still see the ink zuka a lot, even though it was more exp it's more expensive, or more, you need to ink more turf to use it, but it still pops up all the time, so I guess the, the nerf wasn't a big deal. People are still getting a lot of mileage out of it. Ah, oh, man! I thought I had him there. I hit him like three times, and then still got splatted. The slosher, probably better for turfing than it is for fighting, of course, but... It has that crazy, it's got a good amount of range, and I should be aiming a little bit more up, of course. I, I tend to just get used to most weapons aiming kind of down a little bit, because you don't want to be looking up too much if you're if you're so, you know, preoccupied with looking up, then you're going to miss someone getting close to you. Alright, let's see if I can push in here. Mm -hmm. There's someone right there. There we go. Ink strike into their base. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa, whoa. Jump up and get that guy on top there, maybe. Come on, I think we got this one. My ink strike helped a little bit, it looks like. There we go. Better with the slosher than we've been doing before. The key to the slosher, I think, is just making sure you always have enough ink and you're not just facing someone straight ahead. You need to circle them so they can't hit you in time. There we go, we topped the team. Okay, the sloshers were the top turfers there. That's good. We are so close. This is the home stretch, guys. Thanks again for everyone sticking with me. I appreciate it. Because I know it's it's later for most of you guys. Some people, it's probably just in the afternoon. <laughs> it's weird that the internet just, like, connects everybody where we can be on the other side of the world and you guys are watching me play a video game. I never... Th think about a couple years ago and whether that seems like that would be a thing. It's crazy. All right, everyone stayed on my team. That's good. Charlie Wu seemed like he did pretty well for using a charger, so I'm glad. Splatoon is worth it, says Roar. Yeah, if someone was asking whether it's worth it for getting uh, the Wii U, the Wii U's probably got another year or two in its life, so if there are enough games you're interested in, I think it's worth getting. Splatoon especially. It's definitely a, uh, a good game that is not found anywhere else, really, like... 
No other no other shooter has the the unique mechanics. I feel like we're going to see a lot of copycats here in the future. Like other shooters trying to do something similar to Splatoon, like movement and stuff like that. Rechar I've mentioned before, but I really like the recharging your ammo and your health wherever you are. You're always doing something, you're inking. You don't need to be like looking for health packs and stuff. Appreciate that because it keeps the game always active. You're not really like ever stopping. It's just super hyperactive squid kids always doing stuff. There we go. This is what I gotta do. Slosh a bit, jump ahead, and uh, get my ink up a little bit by traveling through it. There we go. And this is the time to hit their perch because that's where they're gonna be maybe. Will I get another kill? Nope. Flat. There we are. It feels... This game is so like crazy like fun party time it feels weird to be like we killed this other squid <laughs> so i tend to say splat but sometimes i forget i don't think it really matters it's just a preference of uh of terms all right let's see if we can get this sl slosher well not slosher flatling gun there oh there we go if i can get through here i gotta be careful i'm starting to get a little too far into enemy ink oh squid kid you're my friend let's see if we can get all the way yeah that's that's crazy. That charger was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna still try to shoot that, even though you got it with the bucket. Maybe they had a little lag or something. But all right, try to hit there. Maybe we'll get him. Quick scratch of my head while I throw that ink strike off. All right, let me see if I can watch this spot here. All right, we're, we're pretty much locking this down. We gotta be careful because I think they're also going into the middle. But we might be doing okay here. I just heard someone. They might have been calling out that the enemies are moving in. Jeez, yeah, they're pushing through our territory. Let's see if I can slosh my way over and help my buddies out. Yeah, look, they've covered a lot of this ink here. They're coming back for me. I think they saw me. They saw me. I don't know how, Marty, but they found me. Let's, uh, <laughs> Yeah, okay, now they're pushing back in, but we got a lot of their turf, so I'm pretty happy with uh, how we're doing. I just need to watch them back. All right, ink in there. Will they, will they fall for it? Will they? Nope, yep, they, oh, I got two of them, yeah. Oh, baby, a double. There we go. All right, let's see if I can get up the wall. There's that disapproving squid. Always wondering why, or he just looks shady, like he's like, you wanna buy some, some black and white ink? Oh, the illegal ink colors. Oh man, that was my first death, I think, by launching myself off of there. Sometimes that happens. If you guys are wondering why I'm jumping so much while I'm sloshing, jumping is a way to extend your range, also to keep you a little bit of a uh, tougher target to hit. Oh, let's see if we can get this guy. Oh, where'd he go? There he is. <laughs> I had a buddy helping me out though. Oh, oh, we're in trouble, yep. That guy, man, the other slosher managed to stay alive that whole time and dance around. This team is making the mistake of super jumping to people that are in the middle of combat, I notice, because there's a lot of spots here where they're uh, they're super jumping in when they shouldn't be. Oh, they got some terrain back. I don't know about this one. I think we got it, though. Whenever someone has the middle, I'm like, that person probably won. But no, I think we got this. There we go, yeah. All right, at least one or two more matches with the slosher. Look at that bucket, spin it. Uh, one or two more matches with the slosher. There we go, top of the team. We're getting better. And we'll switch to another weapon here. We can do the splatling if you guys want to see it. There we go, man. We are... <laughs> guys, men, women, everybody. We are within a like 30 points or so of becoming Marshmallow Kings. What is your... What's your favorite title so far? Because Dog King... I, the Dog King is just a nice image. I drew a little Miiverse post of a dog with a crown. Roller Coaster King sounds like a sport team, so I don't... That one's okay, but it's not as funny. Marshmallow King sounds like... Like, if you ever watch one of those food shows where they're like, this person is a, is a jelly bean expert, I always find that really funny because I'm like, is that their profession? Like, is that their whole thing that they do, or is that a side job? But yeah, Marshmallow King sounds like someone who's just a very specific thing. Like, uh, it might be something from Adventure Time, like the king of the, you know... The slime king or something where it's all like a strange thing you wouldn't think would have a, a ruler or a monarch all right here we go guys we're getting close i'm happy you guys are sticking with me this whole time because yeah i was i'm always surprised when there's so many so many people hanging out with me and it makes me feel good 
to know that you guys enjoy watching me. Whoa, zoom the camera around. Um, we got this cool blue ink. I'm sad that we're fighting another marshmallow team because I'd rather get a good win against a uh, some some of those hot dogs because that will help us out in the end a bit more. But let me make sure I'm getting enough turf here. But we got to make sure we uh, are also going into enemy territory if we need to. There we go. Jump up. I'm gonna try to walk. Jump over here. I can throw a burst bomb if I'm crafty enough and not fall off. I can get somebody there. Slosh them. Slosh them. Slosh them till they're dead. But yeah, yeah, I'm always surprised that, yeah, there's enough of you that are willing to hang out to, uh, to watch. Appreciate it a lot. Ooh, Inksuka. I'm gonna try to get way back here because I know the Inksukas. Yeah, look at that. Look at that range on those Inksukas. Right, I'm gonna do that because I know there's someone over there somewhere. Maybe I got him. Maybe I didn't. We'll have to see. They're getting close to going up into our little side areas, so I'm gonna try to see if I can get them there. <laughs> I think they're not going in there yet. They're just, yeah. <laughs> it's like someone's probably going to go over there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's a that's an enemy. Oh, oh. <laughs> I got Jer Bear, but yeah. I always forget that little side part, the catwalk over there is where you jump down. That's always where I get in, so... It makes sense. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go over to this guy as soon as he jumps over there. Oh, or this gal. Oh. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can throw some blast bombs in there or burst bombs in there to take him out. Oh, I got got one hit on him. <laughs> At least they're probably going this way. Let's see if I can slosh in there as well. Man, I'm having a rough time of this. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe they're not going to expect me to go that more much forward. At least they're being distracted a little bit. Here they come. Oh, they got a bomb rush. I got bombs too. I got bombs for days. Let's be careful. They're going to sneak around us if we're not. Okay, this is the one. They're coming down. Get them, get them, get them, get them, get them. Get them, get them, get them. There we go. All right. I don't know if the other one survived that, but I should use my ink strike before it gets too late. Oh, where to do it? Doesn't really matter. Just do it. There wasn't any good spots. All right. This is one we can jump in, go around. Oh, we got someone else over here already doing that. Go, go, go. Remember to slosh to the sky. Eyes to the sky as you slosh. Go, go, go. All right. We're getting a lot of turf here, so we might be able to get another ink strike if we're careful. They're, somebody's got a good range over there because they're shooting, shooting like crazy. All right. Slosh over the wall. Try to get as much as we can. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this because we got... Oh, we got some bombs going. Oh, jeez. I don't know. We'll see what you guys think. They got a lot in our territory, but we were doing pretty well. Oh, yeah, barely. Nice. Okay, this is probably good to switch off the slosher. We got some good wins. My team is doing well, but there we are. It's always good to keep fresh and switch up the weapons occasionally. All right, roller coaster. Cracks black carb roller. What? <laughs> I have no idea what that means. Oh, they might be saying what the different rollers are. Fernando's just giving, he's just dropping knowledge in the comments here in the chat, leaving all these tips. Okay, what are we using, guys? Should we go back to the splatling for a little bit? This is going to be rough. If we do horrible, I know a few people were suggesting the splatling. If we do horrible with it, we will, uh, we'll switch to something else, but I'm going to try to look the uh look at what else you guys want to see I see people being like more slosher you guys can't get enough of the slosher maybe all right let's see are you gonna play animal crossing happy home designer said m luke uh yeah we we are we gotta wait for that to come out over here but i want to be able to understand the little animals there we go we got another good team i really hope i'm the only <laughs> splatling not because i want to be a unique snowflake or anything but I feel like when there's more than one splatling, it's pretty easy for the opponents to push it. Just like having more than one charger can be really bad. The splatling is similar. All right, just waiting for some hot dogs here. It's like they're in the microwave or something. Waiting for some hot dogs. Let's uh, sleep king. Oh yeah, that's a good one. So Europe had the eating versus sleeping splat fest. They have the I don't know if I think it starts pretty soon, if not already. But they have North Pole versus South Pole, which is a very strange. I think it's a, I guess it makes sense. It's two like opposite things, but I don't know if I have a strong opinion on which pole I like better because 
<laughs> I've never been to either. There's polar bears versus penguins. They're on different sides. So I guess maybe you could pick that. They should have picked polar bears versus penguins or something. Maybe they thought penguins were so cute. There would be a lot of people that jump on that. But polar bears are cool. Sky just asked if I read YouTube comments. I'm reading them right now. Yeah. All right. Do you use gyroscope or the controller? Rian says, I use the gyro. Uh, you have to still use the stick and stuff. But the gyro, I think, helps with those little little just adjustments of accuracy. Okay. I just, just dawned on me and terrified me the fact that I'm using the splatling here. Hopefully we'll do okay. No splatlings on their end. Let's see how we do. Try to charge it up and go. Yeah, this is such a weird style of play. I gotta remember that I don't have to charge it all the way. I'm so used to trying to charge it so much. But we really should be focused on inking. And uh, I think that's what happened the other times I was playing the splatling was like, I was too worried about trying to take down the enemies to where I wasn't focused enough on inking. And then I would, no, 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 no. Whoa. Just barely got out of the way of that one. And we are in the middle of the ink. Hopefully I can get through this and survive to uh, charge again. Go, 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 go. Okay, we got our ink strike. Oh, I can see somebody echolocated, so I can see exactly where everyone is. Very handy. I was hoping I would get someone there, but didn't manage to do it. All right, let me see what else we can, I can cover this while I'm waiting for someone to get into my range. But yeah, I need to I need to be careful with my uh, how much I'm I'm worried about splatting instead of inking. There we go. Oh, that was a little too far. That's what happens when you have that that uh, ability that makes your bomb throws go faster. All right, shoot that. Charge up, and here we go. Are they over there? They are. Oh, almost got them. <laughs> that was pretty close, but I think I can get them now if I'm careful enough. Let's get out of the way. And get out of here. There we go. Who was that? Oh, it might have been my own teammate that just made that horrible sound. Here they come. They're going around. I know they're over there somewhere. Let's see. Get this guy. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just having a really tough time getting anybody with the charger. I do think it... Oh, not charger. The uh, splatling. I keep thinking of it as a charger because I'm charging up. We're still getting lots of turf. It's just sometimes it's very tough to... Uh, take anyone down if they're quick enough to get all these shots in on them. Oh, someone's up there. Time to splat that spot. Alright. Should be putting the pressure on where I'm aiming a little bit to help me out, but I'm having a having a good, uh, good balance here of ink striking spots that need to be ink striked and focusing my, my shots on here. Alright, let's move in a little bit. I think we can do this. If we're ready. Maybe I'll hit people a little more often when I'm actually close enough to hit them better. To make sure they're not going the other way, though. Around and flanking me. We're pushing them into their, <laughs> into their territory, so seems like they're not getting too far here. All right. Oh, nope, they are going around. Okay, okay. Gotta hit that. Get back up here. Back to my perch. All right, let's be careful now. Where are they? There's someone. I thought I saw someone. Man, we're still winning, so it's good. It's good. Uh, man, I did it again. You gotta be careful not to accidentally squid when you're supposed to be shooting. Oh, get that little bit of ink there. I don't think I got any splats, or maybe I did for my ink strike, but at least I, I inked a lot of turf and I helped us hold down the fort. That's the thing. The octobrush and the slosher are more in your face. The, uh, the splatling is more like hold down, you know, an area. Which I think is why it probably would be good for splat zones. Yeah, zero deaths and zero splats, but I did a lot of chirping, so that's good. All right, we are so close. We actually won with the splatling. Who would have thought? <laughs> Let's see if we can get another win with it. It would be cool to finish up with one of these good, you know, new weapons. All right, cookies, polar bears. I see people talking about different splatfest teams, which side they would be on. Oh man, we got a level 28 in here. That's pretty. That's the highest level I think I've seen so far. Let's see. Paper versus rock would be awesome, says Jake. Like the rock, paper, scissors. I'm trying to think, like, what would be a good... A lot of people want Callie versus Marie, and I'm like, that should be the last Splatfest ever, like the the culmination of Splatoon or something, because that's a big thing. And uh, that would be really... That would be... Uh, <laughs> that would be kind of the end all of Splatfest if they did this. They did it so soon, so I don't expect them to do that anytime soon. They tend to like food, like if you're going to think of two foods, 
that would go against each other, that's probably a safe bet because they tend to like to do the food ones. I'm still waiting for the European or American Splatfest to get like their first sponsored one because Japan has had two out of three had like different brands of noodles from Marichan and, uh, and Kirin drinks and stuff. And Japan had that exclusive cream colored ink that I wonder if we'll ever see again. It wasn't in this update, so I don't know. It was just special for that. Okay, my first drink of water this whole time, man. It's uh, it's getting to the end, but obviously, you know, I start to feel the effects. This always happens whenever we, whenever we do these long Splatfest streams. I get tired towards the end, and then as soon as we're done and I cool off, it's mainly because the my office where I play gets really hot without the air conditioner on. But once that's done and I'm like refreshed for a little bit, then I'm like, oh, maybe I should play some Splatoon. <laughs> like I immediately want to play again. Okay, here we go, guys. See if we can get a little bit. Yeah, I just need to do a little bursts here because it's uh, it's not going to help too much to charge up this big long thing if everyone's inking the spots that I'm already at. Let's see if we can get onto the uh, onto the wall here though to get that area covered. There we go. I just talked about not doing long charges, but I'm trying to get some of this. They got us with the old ink strike. Alright, let me see if I can get a little bit here so that I can get up easy. Alright, this is our time to charge this up. Oh, jeez. Camera went weird there. What is going on? There we go. Alright. Throw one of those. Oh, a little too... A little too, uh... A little too close there. I'm trying to find a good spot for my splash wall throwing so that it lands in a spot where it'll actually protect me and also be able to reach over there. Man, that's... That's rough. Just out of reach, but I also want to get my splash wall. Oh, man, see? That's what I... Yeah, it's pretty tough with the... Especially with the range, bomb range up that I've got on my little guy here. Ah, I thought I could make it. I've got the bomb range throw up on my my gear, so it just tosses it over the wall half the time. Where'd they go? Getting our base. Yeah, this splatling is uh, giving me some trouble trying to use it. Oh, can almost get him over there. Let's see if I can cover most of this and then get back to him. Yeah, I f yeah. When I'm playing a weapon that I'm not great with, I do feel like I'm bringing my team down a little bit. It's unfortunate, but you gotta be able to practice somehow. Let's right, see if I can get some of this. They're just gonna camp out over there. I'm gonna go over here and try to cover this all up. It does seem like it's inking a good amount of turf because it's like. Getting, uh, well, I shouldn't have used it there because that's like so close to our base. Yeah, this this inks a lot of turf. It's just tough when. Uh, oh, let's see if I can get them there. Oh, the thing's down. The things are down. They have a name. They're called the floodgates. Oh, let's be careful now and charge up. Oh, oh, <laughs> I got them once. Oh, there we go. Oh, and here they come. Yep, yeah, that was the easiest splat I ever splot. They were just ready to, uh, to be destroyed there. Let me see if I can get one of these going and charge that and then throw one of those there. They're really focusing on our base, so I wonder if they're even aware that we're taking a lot of their ink. This one guy over here. Okay, good. Somebody else got him. Let's be careful now. Okay, gonna ink strike over there. Yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good despite... My experience in this match was like, oh man, they're getting so much of our turf, but I'm not seeing the uh, the rest of the map. You guys will see here in a second is mostly blue, so we're doing doing well. Try to get as much of this. Yeah, compared to the Octobrush or something, the ink spread on this is just so uneven. It's definitely more of an attacking. Look at all the spots where I tried to spray. There we go. Yeah. Luckily, my friends on this team, these guys here. Pulled, pulled their weight and uh, pulled my weight a little bit there. Oh man, what the? How did I get the top ink on the team? Was it my ink strikes? That's crazy. I felt like I was covering nothing, but maybe it's because I kept covering over the ink that they did. Okay, one more with the splatling gun since we've got a win, win streak going here. And then we'll, we'll switch to something else to finish up. You guys let me know what that's going to be. If you want to see the, uh, the old Octo Brush. Because that's, uh, <laughs> someone mentioned they were like, hey, the Octo Brush isn't old. Because I, I mentioned how the the ink brush is called Pablo in Japan. It's more of a modern brush, and that the Octo Brush is 
uh, more ancient looking because it's an old style. And someone was like, they're not old. They're both, one is just for painting and one is for painting a house or painting a picture. But the one is literally based off of, the Archer brush is literally based off an old fashioned, like ancient style ink brush used for, in Japanese stuff. So I didn't mean they were supposed to look old or anything. They're just, that's, it's literally old <laughs> the, the way that it's styled. It also uses like a really old like ink, uh, ancient ink storage technique. Okay, we gotta look out for those rollers, but we should be able to, uh, if we see them from far enough away, I think we can take them out in time. Alright, let's get a good vantage point here, and get ready, here they come. Someone's over, Oop, there they are, up there, almost got them. That slosher, that slosher, trying to get me. Oh, oh. <laughs> I just ink strike the center though, if I can, and if he jumps off, do we get him? There we go, alright, flipped him from the side, just going over around there, we just gotta be careful. Oh, uh, the, uh, when the, it's, sometimes it's tough to tell, yeah, okay, now it, it's tracking their team, so that's good to know, but yeah, sometimes it's a little tough to tell if it's tracking us or tracking them until I get close. There's probably an easy way that I haven't noticed. I don't use the echolocator or the point sensor that much, so I can't tell that often who it's tracking, but here we go. Someone's going to be trying to get over the wall there. And oh, ink strike. Let's just back up to be safe. <laughs> We're holding down. Yeah, this is a map that I like better, so I think I maybe do a little better with the splatling on here than I would normally with other maps, but we still did okay on, uh, on Camp Triggerfish. Should we move in? I don't know. This is kind of a risk. I'm gonna try. See if I can get someone over there. Oh, almost got him. <laughs> they might have lost some people, because, yeah, I'm only seeing... Okay, there's three. There's at least three on their team. If I can get this guy over... Nope. No time. <laughs> Gotta go. Oh, jeez. Ah, yeah, that was impossible. No ink on the sides, and that roller had a beat on me. Oh, man, we were doing good, but then that roller's getting into our territory so much that I'm worried. They're gonna take us down. Go, 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 go. Let's see if we can get some of this covered. Because, yeah, it's very spotty over here. Jump over. Yeah, I did it again. You charge up and then accidentally squid. Because you're so used to the impulse of trying to, you know, get your ink back. Wait till they get close enough. Or not. They probably just left. Well, there they are. Man, I'm doing, like, some damage and then... They get away before I can finish them. You gotta be quick to, uh, to be able to do enough damage with these chargers to actually kill them in time. I think it is like you should be more mid range than long range. Where's that slosher? You see him there. Oh, almost got that guy. See if I can get them here. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, where did they go? I'm trying to be more aggressive so we get some, some good splash splats for you guys to see, but it can be tough here. Oh, look out! Jeez. <laughs> All right, come on. More about it's more about inking the turf. Can I get enough here though to? Oh, almost got him there. If I had just held on long enough. Oh, and oh, I got I still got a splat. Okay, John Doe, we won. I didn't need that ink strike. I didn't even need that. <laughs> I didn't even want to use it anyways. There we go. Three wins in a row with the splat lane. We're starting to turn stuff around. It felt like earlier. When the Splatfest began, marshmallows were not doing good, but now it seems like we're doing pretty well. We even got a level 10 on our team, and we're still doing good. Okay, the last few points, guys. What are we using? What are we using to finish up the Splatfest? Only 14 points left, or no, 12 points left. Man, we are so close. Let's see, what are we switching to? I gotta make sure I switch my shoes, too, if we're using something that needs a special up. Uh, Octobrush, I'm seeing that. Any other suggestions that are gonna, are gonna be able to beat out the Octobrush? Because this is the one that I would love to finish with. It is my favorite. Look, it even clips into the, the weapons there. <laughs> Octobrush, I'm seeing a couple Octobrushes. Hmm, maybe Octo? Octo? I'll keep an eye on the chat, and if we, uh, if I see something else other than Octo, I'll do that for the next one, but... It looks like, yeah, do your favorite weapon, says Samurai Bird 941 Samurai Bird, are you, uh, <laughs> he's got the same numbers. That's a, I like that name. That's good. Do you wear your Samurai helmet in Splatoon? Hopefully you do. 
This is a cool bamboo helmet. Like, there's a lot of uh, a lot of nice looking gear, but I'm like, I kind of want that bamboo hat because it has ink ink saver mane on it, and it looks nice. It'll it seems like it would protect from ink because it like protects from rain. But yeah, there's one of the gear that is very linked to Captain Cuttlefish that you can unlock from leveling is probably the hat that I want to go with actually. But I need to level up a ton. I'm not sure what five level interval you get it from, but it's it's going to be in the future. 25 is the next level that we're going to, and that is going to be the uh, the hero armor helmet, which I think has a good ability as well. All the hero armor stuff is like three three stars, so that's nice. You don't have to use your your sea snails, but yeah, I, I want this one hat, and you guys will uh, you'll see it here hopefully soon. Okay, we got a few lower levels on their team, and I'm using my my favorite. So here we go. This might be, this is probably the second to last match. If we can win, this will be good here. I think we're, we're very close. We might even be, yeah, we're within a few points. Nice team balance. Look at those night vision goggles. Okay, I got to look out for some of these guys, though. They got some uh, good variety of weapons. The blaster, especially, I think I'm going to got to be careful with that one because I know I have a tough time with uh, anything that can kill me with one hit. I got to look out for those. Man, the, the Octobrush doesn't seem as uh, as even with some of its inking as the Ink Brush, because the Ink Brush seems to splatter a bit more ink, but not as uh, not as powerful and not as uh, long range. So, okay, I'm gonna put a thing here. I know people. Jeez, come on. There we go. The beacons sometimes it just won't use them if you're not like standing still enough. But yeah, the um, nope. Yeah, I was gonna say uh, beacons. I could put them there, but. Often they're just destroyed. At least they're a distraction sometimes. All right, we're doing okay. If I can get into their territory, I would love to just use my Kraken on them, but maybe I should fall back a little bit because it looks like they're heading into ours. Let me see who's over here. Hello. Let's jump around and flank them. There we go. My buddy died, but at least... Whoa! Uh, okay, I didn't even need to do that. I survived in the end. Let's do a loop-de-loop. -loop. And get a lot of this ink out of here. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, I should have trusted in the Octo Brush. We survived that, and I used my Kraken without needing to. But it was kind of like, oops, gotta, gotta do that. Oops, all berries. You gotta use that sometimes to, to stay alive. All right, a little bit more here. Let's charge up. As, I like to try to charge when I'm going over a wall, because it saves a little bit of time when I can't be inking anyways. Right, let's see if I can get this guy. Where is he? There he is. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, there we go. My buddy got him, but at least I did some damage. Where is the uh, pretty good, pretty good spot to uh, to protect this main walk area? If I can manage to not get sloshed, we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna try to go around into their territory. I got my kraken, and it's always fun to go into the ter into the enemy territory with with your kraken and just wreak havoc. All right, so the last few minutes here are going. Anyone around? deal with my little Kraken? Let's see. They're going to be coming after me, so I should be ready to use my Kraken at any time. Go, 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 I need to be careful here. I know they're going to come after me. They're going to ink their home base area up faster, so I'm not going to bother with that. Just try to get as much of this as I can. While they're going around, I see the Slosher guy going through. Yeah, they probably pushed into our territory here. All right. My buddies are over there. I'll let them handle that. I'm going to try to lure him into a false sense of security, and then get him with the old crackadoo. There we go. <laughs> Barely got my uh, my kraken kill in there, but we're alive and we're inking it up. Go 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 go! A little bit more, a little bit more ink. Look out for that slosher. They're coming after me. I think. Oh no! They got so much of our territory at the end there that I think we lost that one despite our efforts. And, oh, that was closer than I thought, but we, we still did good. So this last match, I think, because we lost that one, this might be the last match. Let me see what we did. Yeah, we need another team, though, maybe, because they did not. You have the blaster, not the best weapon for, uh, for Turfin. Okay, so, oh, no, that, that was my level that I was looking at. I, I missed that. Okay, we, uh, let's do one more with the Octobrush to finish up if we win. So I'm going to bank on a win here. This will be the last match. Thank you guys again. If you want to leave a thumbs up, this is going to be it. Melissa, I just saw. What did I miss? 
pretty much the whole stream, but that's okay. It'll be a video later. Young Jizo, <laughs> Angelito, and Dangos. Dongos, maybe it's those little dumpling things or whatever. Those are good. All right. Unicorns versus dragons, says Inkopolis Times. That would be interesting. I think dragons would probably win that if it was an actual fight. <laughs> Unicorns might have magical, like, healing powers, but I don't know if they could stand up to dragons, man. All right. Let's see. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, the trackling... The, sorry. So I missed their name because it's starting here and I can't look, but somebody had the pro tip. The tracking line of whatever color ink is the team that you're tracking, it looks like. So we'll have to see if that works next time we get that. Or I'm sure it does, but yeah, I need to pay more attention. So whoever, yeah, whatever the ink color is that you're tracking, that's how you know who is uh, who is on the way to be whoop, found. Whatever that means. I'm just focused. So I'm like trying to think here, but I'm not doing so hot. I'm just going to go through here because did not seem like I was uh, doing so good there. But I'm gonna, oh, thank you, my buddy. Thank you, my man. That saved me. I was like running away from that blaster earlier because I knew that the, uh, whoop, that's a good, that's a good one. Um, I was running away from that blaster because it didn't, I wasn't going to get up on top of there to, to get him in time, but okay, doing all right. Got to keep my ink levels up though. We did not really ink this side. Are we? This is going into there. No, this is our territory, I think. Otherwise, why would it be so yellow? Go, 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 go. All right, yeah. I got turned around because I like ran all the way around the map, turned over and uh, came back through. There we go. Land on you. See if I can get this roller here. Thank you very much. And get some more coverage. Where are they going? Kraken. The Kraken, I feel like I get most of my kills from that, which is kind of cheap, but I, I still do okay with the brush. That's the main thing here. Uh, anyone coming through? Ah, oh, man! Lucas! How dare you! The Luna Blaster, yeah, that's why I got killed so quick. But the, uh, I just took him down at least. That's always, like, I don't feel as bad if at least I go down fighting. Team Mallow? Is that what that said? Couldn't see there. Bully. It was handwritten with love, but it was very hard to understand. And let me see if I can get on top again and hold this position a little better this time. And hopefully no one jumps up after me. Let's see if we can... Oh, jeez. I need to remember that I can always use my... Uh, use my... Oh, we only have a minute left, so I should probably not worry about setting up beacons too much. Okay, go, 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 go. But yeah, I need to... <laughs> Make sure I'm not wasting ink on that, but and use my use my jump in range. Here we go. Someone getting over there? It's my time to move in, I think, because otherwise we're just gonna lose. Oh, whoa! There we go. Let's get my revenge on this blaster. If we can. Where did they go? They just hit that spot. There they are. Get them! Get them! Get them! Yeah, there we go. Okay. I'm glad I was able to do that because the Luna Blaster is so close range and uh, and short, quick shots with it that didn't think that was gonna work out in the end Let's see if we can get up and get that other blaster we got him and I think this is gonna be it guys thank you for watching the normal yellow lemonade beats the pink lemonade that was crazy let's see how we did it's gonna conclude a very fun splat fest team marshmallow started out with a bit of a rocky rocky beginning there but I think we're maybe gonna triumph in the end we'll see we'll know pretty soon there we go second most and only behind the arrow spray so that's pretty good for me sorry meme lord there we go we are now marshmallow kings max rank we are so close to leveling as well but i'll leave that for another day let's jump out to the plaza and uh and check out what's happening here with the dancing and the party making the merry making <laughs> and then we'll finish up thanks again guys for watching oh we should grab our our cash from this little chubby cat here here we go and look at all these fresh squids. Let me do a uh, let me do a quick check to see if there's any gear that yeah, is uh, you know tickling my fancy. Let me see if uh, so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, there's the squid girl hat. I don't think I have that. Maybe we should order it. We can order this from uh, and then the squid girl shoes too. I'll order that just to have it. Here we go. Spike's gonna grab that for me. And I want that bamboo hat, but I have not seen, I think I've seen like one or two players with it. I'll have to get it someday. Thank you guys for watching. 
Maybe if someone is uh, is going to be in the squad, they'll have it, and then they'll pop up in my lobby. I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to try to jump onto the truck. Let's see if this works. Here we go. Oh, nope. I <laughs> don't think it's possible. Hopefully you guys are rooting for Team Marshmallow, but if you're not and you're rooting for Team Hot Dog, I don't mind. I still appreciate you supporting my videos and hanging out with me. Thanks again for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time for more Splatoon.